Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome up to, welcome in, sorry, to the final day. It has been that type of weekend, Allison. Final day here, single Sunday, open number 13, comes to an end here in West Wego, Louisiana. We're at the Ilario Center. Singles action, 190 players will do battle till we crown ourselves an open number 13 singles champion. Starting off with some heavy hitters. I'm Wally K9 Castle. This is Allison Baldwin here in the booth. We're going to head down to the court. They are spinning the bags. They are ready to go. The director's hard at work this weekend. Caleb Batson, Alex Rawls set to do battle right now. This first bag is live. It is off to the side for Caleb Batson. Alex Rawls down the middle, right on the edge of the red zone. Allison, how are you doing? Final day. Everything's wrapping up nicely. We've had some exciting action. I'm sleepy, Wally. No, we, no, no, no. Wake up, wake up. I need to. Your energy is energizing me, so I appreciate that. I am faking it till I'm making it. Hey, at least one of us is. I'll get TikTok <laughs> up and running here in a second. And we'll be underway. Yeah, it was a late night but, last night after Super Hole. That was one of the most fun Super Holes that I've ever been to. Yeah, Super Hole, plenty of fun, plenty of action going on. Yesterday, I mean, that was what seemed like seven or eight broadcasts that we had. Yeah, there was, I think there were six in total. <coughs> I was right there for all of them. I got plenty of TV time. Everyone kept messaging me. <laughs> I see you on TV. I was like, the, the highlight for me, though, my daughter finally watched Cornhole on TV. She's a softball volleyball, volleyball player and absolutely too cool for dad. But she called me yesterday. She's like, I see you on TV. She's like, is this live? And I said, I'll put on this apron right now for you. And <laughs> I saw I put, you in yeah, the apron. I put on the apron. I said, love you, Jade. So she had a blast with that with her friend. She's like, oh, my God, he's live. Oh, that's funny. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. KB off the bat, going to give up points. Yeah, hard to get started. But like I said, 190 <coughs> players in action today. One notable player missing, Jeremiah Ellis. Missed his flight, but still heading home today. So he will not be in the singles brackets. See Braden Wilson in the background over there playing on the broadcast yesterday. Alex Rawls is on fire so far in this game. Up 5-0 on Caleb Batson in the first two rounds. Pick up another two points right there. KB is going to have to lock in if he wants this game to turn around. We're all going to have to lock in. Day 45 of open number 13. Vibes. Definitely Sunday vibes going on. I actually feel okay. It was just like the last hour was really frustrating for me, but <laughs> now that I see bags Sorry. hitting the boards. <laughs> Sorry about that, Walter. <laughs> Appreciate you bringing us some breakfast, though. You guys got your breakfast. <laughs> some of that New Orleans spice at the McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> 70 cents means a lot to some people. <laughs> KB not happy with taking that one in, but I think it was going no matter what. Let's see if Alex can collect. We got some AAR rippers in the hands of Alex Rawls. KB throwing some BG. Looks like Wizard L's. And he is able to get that bag in the hole, slick side down in front. It's making it very difficult for KB to sneak around this. He's stepping all the way out to get a different angle at it. Going slick. Cleans it. Oh, I can't believe that bag sat. Oh, it's going. There it goes. That's a wash. Good morning from Iowa. Hey, uh, Wally, do you know if, if Tyler has started playing yet? 
I have no idea what anything's going on. I just got here. So Hunt, Hunter came up to me. He's like, hey, you got to get our match. I was like, bro, I don't even know what's going on, dude. Right. So whatever. Got Minnesota in the chat. Bust you up cornhole. Morning. Morning, morning, everybody. I'm actually still trying to pull up the brackets as I speak. <laughs> so bear with me. It what? looks like four brackets in total. Yes, sir. Ooh, for, oh, on deck we got Braden Wilson and Jaden Ellis. That should be a good one. I feel absolutely terrible for Braden Wilson yesterday having to... Oh. Poor Do kid. battle right after his broadcast match. There's no time to rest. I know. Had well, to get it done though before the sequel hole started. It's just rough timing. We'll definitely work on that going forward. KB able to get on the board. It's seven to two. Alex Rawls in the lead. Alex cleaning most of everything up out of the way. KB got a bag out of play now. That's a wash. We got a Brian Trader fan wants to see him play. Me too. Where's he at? Let's get him up here. <coughs> Alex off to the side there. Locker might work though. KB electing not to go for the airmail. Alex stepping out to see if he can get around everything with a roll. Not able to. Helping KB out. Uh, this is the only live court. Yes. Up next, Jaden Ellis and Braden Wilson. He is able to get that air mill, so he should be getting at least a couple more points out of it. Rawls hits his on the other side as well. All right. Got my brackets pulled up. I got TikTok up and running. I could hear chasing in the truck now. We're, we're ready to roll. From West Wego, Louisiana this weekend, that is where we are. Yep, Colorado on deck. That should be fun. And very, very cold, <laughs> at least for a couple minutes of it. There might be an ice bath taken. Braden, Braden Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> Hanging out. <coughs> he knows hey. where the monitor is at. He's hiding. He's scared. <laughs> and great personality for the sport. I, I loved, I was actually talking to his dad this morning. I absolutely loved how uh, he got to... Uh, get the crowd hyped up after he had a big comeback round. I said, yeah, what, what I, kind of youngster does that? It's I crazy. heard about that. That's awesome. Seven to four now. <clears throat> Jake Brandon, you're going to be taking an ice bath. Get in there with Wally. Swim uh, around together. I think Jake and I should play one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't fair that Harbaugh and Ellis decided it. Double or nothing. I don't even know what happened, to be honest. I just know that you're taking an ice bath. Well, like, Harbaugh has had troubling, trouble finishing, you know what I mean? He's had a few brackets going deep <laughs> in it, but just can't get the win. Yeah. So I didn't think that Harbaugh was anywhere on uh, Jake's radar, so I was going to be a gentleman and let Jake go first. 
because my pick was Harbaugh. I, I felt it. You know okay, I mean? so you guys are talking who won brackets. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I said, I'll bet an ice bath on uh, picking the winners. And he's like, all right, fine. And, you know, it was like Mark Richards, Tony Smith. Like, the field was stacked. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he went with Harbaugh, and I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> and then sure enough, I said, all right, I'll go Ellis. And then sure enough, it comes down to Harbaugh, Trader, and Ellis. And then uh, he picked Harbaugh and won. Mm. Doesn't so. sound fun. Devin is here. He is playing singles. Fun fact, won this Open in New Orleans last year. That's so fun. So fun. That's like my new favorite phrase to poke at. Fun fact. Yeah. You're welcome for starting yeah. the fun fact of the yeah, weekend as fun. we fun. drove to the venue day one. If we... Uh, Get one win out of Harbaugh per year. How many will he have before? How many? How long before Ryan he catches Trader. up to Matt Guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt Guy or Ryan Trader passed him. Ryan Trader's already at two a year. <coughs> already talked to Ryan Trader's dad. And he said, "Yeah, I think we're going to go to Vegas so Ryan can win his fourth Open." I was like, "He's only got two. He's like, "Exactly." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I see what you did there. He's calling for a Ryan Trader dub." Score is seven to six. Alex gonna step out and try and sneak through these bags, and he does a great job of that. Yeah, not sure what's going on with TikTok, why it's so laggy, but we'll get that fixed in a little bit, guys. Just bear with us. You can watch on ESPN Plus, Facebook, YouTube, ACL TV. Yeah, Jeremiah Ellis is not here today. He's somewhere in an airport missing his flight. Probably sleeping. <laughs> but if uh, you guys are new to Cornhole in TikTok and you're trying to figure out where to watch this game, ESPN Plus is the way to go. Lots of live coverage. We talked about all the broadcasts. You got to see it first on ESPN Plus before it re-airs. Not to mention all the action here. And then we'll have one exclusive court at the uh, first part of these pro events. This one right here is part two. will be exclusive in Denver, Colorado in a couple weeks. Get to hear our lovely voices once more. We'll probably have 27 different camera angles at that point. <laughs> if not more. Alex going to pick up two more points right there. Going to make it 11 to 6. Alex in the lead. Hello from Virginia. That's where I'm from. Heading back there today. Good old Virginia. I heard Corey's from Virginia. I heard that too. He, apparently he looks like he's from Virginia. I don't know what that means, but it's what the Dollar General lady told us. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or Minnesota. I'm actually going to uh, end this TikTok chat. So if you guys are watching in TikTok, um, tune back in and probably about... 10, 15 minutes after this match, or you guys head over to Facebook or YouTube. And we'll restart that feed in a little bit, but we don't want to deal with it during the break. So, Alex up and in. KB going to follow. Rim out a little bit. Alex back up and off the back. Another one. Hits it that time. Almost gets the drag. No love. Looks a little frustrated there. I don't blame him. Prince George, Virginia, Portsmouth, Virginia. Oh, born in Portsmouth. I used to live in Portsmouth for a hot minute. All right, what bracket are we in here? Do you know? Um, let's see. I want to see what we got going on. I have. I don't know what bracket this is. Normally, you're the bracket guy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. The bracket guy, game picker. Trying to get started. Here we go. This is uh, C. Bracket, bracket C. C. All right. Let's go through bracket C real quick. Number one seed in bracket C, Jacob Gore. He has advanced. He is 2-0 and oh so far. He's waiting for either Landon Bass or Benjamin Frederick. Adam Hisner in this bracket. He will play the winner of this match here between KB and Alex. Other side of the bracket, Hunter Thorne, Ryan Trader, Gio Mora, Josh Holland. Gavin Hammond, Tony Smith, Mark Richards, Ryan Windsor. Holy cow. Ouch. Bracket C, what are you guys doing? 
stacked. I mean, it's kind of a stacked field when you look at it. Yeah, for sure. Bracket D, Joe Neistead, Tice Cobb, Damon Dennis, Justin Burton Jr., Vanessa Fillingham, Gavin Cano, Chase Frieden, Bryce Forbes, Mikey Hall, Zach Aiken, Moses Asueda, Logan Chamberlain defeats Mason Trader. He will now take on Matthew Conklin. I still think I don't want to be in bracket C, though. No, definitely not. Lots of lots of talent here. Jaden Ellis to take on Braden Wilson next, as you mentioned earlier. Kyle Malone already advanced in this bracket. He is 2-0. Oh. Eighteen to seven. We'll kind of take a deeper look at brackets after the first break, but just early. Tough matchups. Kyle Malone defeats Ryan Smith 21-14 and Ryan Smith's first. First matchup, KB and Alex here early. I mean, I feel like as we're getting deep into this season, Allison, there's no easy starts. It used there's to be get a couple breather matches. Right, it used to be. Whoopsie. Like. <laughs> just, it's just instinct now at this point for me. I don't even realize I say it. That's a chance for the win here. KB off to the side. Alex Ross pretty much one more tap. Everything falls down the middle, and then that's going to do it. Alex Rawls starting off strong, taking down Caleb Batson. West Wego, Louisiana, open number 13, singles action underway. I'm going to do a couple jumping jacks and cartwheels and get myself some energy drinks. Chat, do the same. We'll see you guys back here in just a little bit on court number one for some more singles action right after this. biggest stage or even in your own backyard for those moments seek a world beyond home find furniture decor grills play sets yard games and yep even cornhole backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long backyard.com let's have fun ah nuts no no what's planet's nuts it's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Way up top and hits it! What? He knows it goes up top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and oh. hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planners Nuts, it's not ah, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planners Nuts are good. Planters Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. All right, Cornhole fans, welcome back in. Day number three, we're wrapping things up. Single Sunday, open number 13, West Wego, Louisiana. Kickoff battle number two, winding down. And just as I say, Jeremiah Ellis is gone. He's flown home. I turned to my right, and there he is. Missed his flight. He's here in the building. He's not playing singles, but he's hanging out. Braden Ellis, I'm sorry, Braden Wilson and Jaden Ellis on the court now, at least Braden Wilson is. We're still looking for Jaden Ellis. 
So that's going to give me a chance to go through the brackets, guys. If you want to follow along in the ACL Fan Zone app, you guys will be able to do that. Gives me an opportunity to thank our sponsors. Corn Nuts, Bush's Best Beans, Seagram 7, All Cornhole, Lucky Bags, Backyard.com, Miller's Ale House, and Mike's Hard Lemonade. If you guys haven't already, make sure that you guys check out those sponsors. Send them some, lo some love. Let's go to the A bracket. Winner's side, Devin Harbaugh up 18 to 12 over Trey Hunt over on court number two. Winner of that one gets Trevor Kufus. Jimmy Humans takes down Gabriel Clausen 26 to 15. Jeremy Schimmerhorn 21 to 17 over Brady Foster. He will now take on Jeremiah Hector. Eric Davis headed to the loser's bracket there. Jaden Wilson, I did it again. Man, Braden Wilson and Jaden Ellis getting ready to do battle here. Maya Cup finds herself down 16 to four to Trey Baker. Scroll up a little bit, you'll see Tyler Goodwin getting ready to take on Kyle Malone. That's it for the A bracket on the winner's side. If you have a favorite player that you're looking for, you can find them on the Fan Zone app. Just go ahead and hit the favorite button, a little star in the upper corner, it should add them to your list. Heading over to the B bracket, you see the number one seed, Gage Landis, falls to Fisher Hamilton right there, 21 to 18. Fisher's next opponent will be Jackson Remick. Ian Cripps down at the bottom, up 18 to seven over Jeffrey Wright, defending his home turf. Winner of that one gets Alex Hicks. Over on the other side, Caleb Ward will be taking on Ryan Wiedenfeld on court 27. Tight matchup there, 18 to 19. Ryan Wiedenfeld in the lead. Ethan Walker taking on Linda Peralta. Up top, Tyler Cobb and Kobe Costanza doing battle. Austin Kippel was your number two seed, but he falls there. So early seed upsets. In the C bracket, your number one seed, Jacob Gore. He will now take on Landon Bass. Adam Hissner down below to take on Alex Rawls. We just saw him send KB, Caleb Batson, over to the loser's bracket. Right-hand side, Gio Mora waiting for his opponent. It's either going to be Hunter Thorne or Ryan Trader, so... No easy task there, but Hunter Thorne in the lead, 17 to 14. And then up top, Ryan Windsor and Mark Richards doing battle on court 47, 6 to 5. Richards in the lead there. Gavin Hammond and Tony Smith on deck here for the live feed court. And then finally in the D bracket, Logan Chamberlain. He's taking on Matthew Conklin a little bit below that. You got Moses Sasueta down 15 to 8 to Zach Aiken. Bryce Forbes waiting for the winner of that one. Right side of the bracket, Justin Burton Jr. taking on Gavin Cano. They were partners yesterday. Set to do battle today, Damon Dennis waiting for his opponent, Joe Neistead or Tice Cobb. So there we go. Let's head on down to the court. Jaden Ellis has made his way. These guys are finishing the down and backs. It's kind of a cool angle to see what the bag flight looks like from behind them. And again, no matter where you're watching, we appreciate it. Make sure you share the feeds. Make sure you hit the like buttons. Make sure that you tell us you guys are enjoying the content. Apologize for the rocky start, but Allison and I are here, and we are ready to rock and roll. That we are, sir. Jaden's got some stuff in his shoe, apparently. Ooh, Mark Richards and Ryan Windsor are playing together right now together against each other not so much together could be having fun you never know <laughs> ryan trader and hunter thorne battling over there 17 18. all right so those of you in the chat that like to prefer to watch on TikTok, i am going to click the button right now and boom just like that we're bringing back in TikTok. welcome back in guys doesn't look like it's choppy now so that should help things ready to roll so now we have all the platforms up and running. Eric Verdusco and Jordan Vasquez, the Flux boys hanging out. <laughs> a little bit off to the side, we got uh, Braden Wilson's dad. Said it was a big moment for him yesterday, not necessarily just being on there, but losing on there. I love the way that they handle things. So the losing was a good opportunity for him to learn form, from it and kind of regain his composure and handle the season with a little bit more care.
Blocking from Jaden off to the side. It's not going to stop Braden from sneaking around it. That bag's a little on the side. I, there it goes. <laughs> Trying to roll over that. Doesn't hit the spot that he wanted. Braden can push this in and pick up four. Gonna get two. See Tony Smith over to the right. He's made his way to the court, which is good. Is he on deck? He is on deck, so he's got the memo. I don't see Gavin, though. Unless it's Gavin Hammond over here on the left, I can't tell. Either way, we are underway with this one. Braden Wilson's composure last night, very, very impressive. If you guys were watching that live, you see a man in the making right here. He acts like more of an adult than, <laughs> That's a, good than a lot of the adults that we encounter. Jaden slicks side down, didn't get that bag to curl back to the right like he needed it to. Let's see what the chat is doing. That reminds me, I haven't pulled up my chat yet. Jaden found his glasses. Yeah, he didn't leave them at the Airbnb today like he did yesterday, my but, glasses. you know? My glasses. I can't see without my he, glasses. He saw pretty well without his glasses. He did amazing yesterday. Second place, yeah, long day. Couple pauses in the middle, but could not get restarted. Just unfortunate again. It is what it is. Are Jaden and Jeremiah related? No. Nobody in TikTok. There we go. Iron City wants to know what bags they are throwing. I believe we determined these with the Savior L's. And then we have some Ultra Viper R's. Try and get a closer look at it. Jeremiah Ellis made it here today, not playing. To the Saviors or Soldier, I can't remember. He's trying to get into Tier 2 singles since he missed Tier 1. <laughs> <laughs> Let him in. Let the man play. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he goes. See Anthony back there. Finger up. <laughs> look is, at him! Look at look at him! Making all those faces. He's watching himself in the monitors. <laughs> is it really a cornhole tournament if Anthony Eastridge isn't in the background saying "What's up, brother?" or somebody? I mean, no, it's not. That's another good kid right there. Kind of sketchy, if you ask me. No, he's see not, what I did there. Sketch. He's not you, you don't get sketch at yeah, all. Whatever. Good Some, kid. Somebody out there got my joke. Good kid that looks like a thirty-year-old adult. All right, chasing the track at least he's. Airmail off the back, gets one to fall. Could be a big round here for Jaden. Up top for the airmail, hits it clean. Made sure to <laughs> keep that foot planted. <laughs> Until the bag stopped. <laughs> no foot fouls here from him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at all three of them. You gotta love the kids of the game. I think for the most part, the players are liking the monitors, being <laughs> able to see the boards right next to it, the crowd. I think the crowd is having fun with it. Some caught off guard. I think so, too. I think they but like seeing themselves. Most of them like it anyway. Some of them run. Good addition to the live feeds. Fast Money Fred using his extra supplies wisely. Now, if we could just get an extra drone. You know I have one of those at home. I just don't have one of the vests that says yeah, I'm yeah. allowed to fly that thing like Fred has. You need the vest. Actually, I think I have two drones at home and never flown either one of them. It's actually funny because the vest costs less than the drones. You can buy one. <laughs> where, do you get, where do you get one of those from? Drone school. Dro exactly. It's like your diploma. They don't have drone schools where I'm from that I know of. I'm just kidding. They probably do, actually. It's got everything everywhere. That's that roll attempt, seven to four now. If not, you could order it on Amazon. Mayday, mayday. 
Kyle Malone sighting. All the pros Logan gathering around. Logan Chamberlain right there. Single Checking Sunday. out the so, camera. Oh, Say great. hi, Logan. On TV. Great. <laughs> He's another fun one to watch. I like watching Logan play. You like the buffalo sauce myself, Iron City says. I'm kind of surprised buffalo doesn't make a bag called wings. <laughs> You know, there's always time. Partner with B-dubs and make it happen. Gets that one to fall on the rim. I thought for a second it was going to be hung up, but it does drip. Gavin Hammond now made his way to the court, so both players are ready to go for the next matchup. Sitting right behind Kyle Malone. Right over the shoulder of Jaden Ellis there. <coughs> Jackson Remick got his call up to the big leads to his right, or left, I guess, my right. Winthrop University is going to be a tough college team to beat in Cornhole, Allison. I don't know if you've been following much, but they are uh, they are getting pretty stacked pretty quick, and I yeah. hope other colleges follow suit. Building a nice squad over there. We are tied now, 7-7, and this is what Braden Wilson does. Finds a way to get himself back into this game. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when are the players going to be mic'd up? You know, we don't have a bleep button. So once we order one of those from Amazon. We do have board mics, though, so when they take their timeouts, you can kind of hear what they're saying. Yeah, not too much action going on in singles anyway. Yeah. Singles players kind of just throw the bags. That doubles, you get a lot more chirping, a lot more talking. Yep. Which I, I thought yesterday the board mics were picking up a lot of that. You could hear a lot of what was going on. That was pretty cool. But, yeah, they are mic'd. When they're playing on the ESPN broadcast court over there, they are, they're all mic'd up. Big tone. Tony Smith, he said, stop it. Stop it. I'm stop so it. shy. <laughs> I don't know why I did a female voice for Tony Smith there. My bad. Sorry, Toe. <laughs> Maybe it's the pink shorts. Is he wearing pink? I didn't yeah. notice. <laughs> but yeah, we've been talking about micing these players up. We just don't know if it's safe. I just can't get over how stacked C bracket is. I'm sitting here looking at it. I'm like, can we hold every match in C bracket, please? No. I got a flight tonight. Hisner and Rawls, Thorne and Gio Mora, Tony Smith and Gavin, Windsor and Richards. That one just now ended. Did it? Ryan Windsor takes it down 24 to 14 over Mark Richards. It's been going on for a while. Mark Richards struggling lately in singles. Jaden able to sneak in with the final shot. Let's take a look at this again. Nine to seven off of this nasty pickup coming across the board, left to right. Stayed sticky side down on that one, Allison. I usually tell them to go slick side down, but Jaden knows his bags. It's pretty chilly in here today, so I would imagine yep. that the boards are playing a little faster than they have been. Yeah, I actually, that's why I'm kind of all discombobulated because I had to go back to the hotel and get some pants. So I was like, I'm not going to sit here for 10 hours today, however long we're going to be here, just Freezing. tight and then have to tear <laughs> down everything. My muscles would cramp up. Decision time here for Braden. One, one bag on. on the rim is Jaden's. He going wants to up. go over it. He does not. Land it on top. Maybe a little bit too aggressive there. Still had a couple bags left. A couple more bullets, if you will. Not happy with that bag. Jaden's stepping out here. He might see something or maybe trying to get a different angle at the roll. Yeah, that's yep, what it is, it and it worked. He Vincent immediately Frisch. saw that. 
Vincent Frisch in the background, not ups, or not impressed as he's yawning. Braden Wilson's bag is away for another air mill. It's just going to stick right there. Let's check this out real quick again. Stepping all the way out to get that different angle, perfect landing spot. You can see if he would have stayed center. That would have hit the bag in front and not got that bounce effect that he was looking for. I think we should just play C bracket out and let you know what's going on in the other brackets verbally. Oh <laughs> yeah, the other brackets would love that. You know, try, you start to see some to of these. Get us in trouble. <laughs> right. I'm I'm sure we'll still hear it from the Ellies in the chat, even though he's not even playing. Right. Those, fan, <laughs> those fans are a little crazy. <laughs> maybe we can get Ellis to do an interview. Oh, maybe we could. Where you is know, he? You, you look at these brackets. You start to see players. Um, just get paired up against each other. You know, we saw Trzinski and Tony Smith quite a while there. I believe it was uh, Kano and Matt Guy for a little bit. But Trevor Kufis and Devin Harbaugh seem to always get matched up against each other. Fourteen to seven. PPR check real quick. Jaden Ellis throwing a nine point five five. Braden Wilson with an eight point nine one. Only a couple four baggers right now. Let's see if he can. Do something to get re-motivated, get re-fired up. He's getting right past Braden's bag. Braden's going to step out and try and collect that one. Moves it a little closer to the hole. Jaden helps him out right there. Interesting shot here from Braden Wilson. He's got to drive through it, I think. Turn the bag over, slick side down into the pile. Gets enough of it nicely done there from Braden Wilson. There's another look at that push. Slick side down. Luckily catches enough of that left side of the red zone to get that fall. Someone's asking if we're ever going to show stats like bag flight, spin rate. We have the professor working on stuff like that. It's in there. You just got to activate the hotkeys. Spin rates, hashtag SR. Bag flights, hashtag BF. Type it in the chat. You should be able to see it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. See if Wilson can pick up some points here with that bag out of play. Mm, maybe not. Jaden again with his fourth bag blockers. <laughs> I like he's forcing Braden. Hashtag ice bath, Walter. Who's that? Dean? Hmm. hmm. How about new? No. See you in Colorado, Dean. Can't wait for everyone to be like, you come you're not streaming the ice bath. Oh, I will be streaming. You want to know where? <laughs> I'll tell you. You want to know how much it's going to cost you? I'm getting, it's going to be five cents per cube in that thing. <laughs> That's what we should do, make it look like a drink. I'll just, I'll be in there with a fancy umbrella. <laughs> A little curly straw. We will be in Windsor, Colorado in two weeks for, what is that? What's that tournament called? Cornhole Mania. Cornhole Mania, there we go. Right, Windsor's hometown. <laughs> He's from Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. <laughs> He's taking a long look at this. He's, yeah, he's getting a good look. We'll be in Colorado in two weeks, and we will be in Las Vegas in four weeks. Bringing all the action. He's wanting to figure out if he can go slick side through this or if he has to go up. He's staying sticky side down. Hard into the pile. I think he went for the airmail. Yikes. Look at that face, not happy at all. There's a bumper here, Jaden Wilson. 
Jaden, oh my goodness. If I do that one more time, we're never getting these guys on the court again. That That's a Jake Braden move right there. It is. It's the fourth time you were there talking to Athena. I did it three times introducing <laughs> them here. <laughs> Look at that Gavin. jersey Gavin's got on. JBJ, Logan. Gavin Kano rocking some nice apparel right there. Hashtag K9 Kano. Kano? K9 Kano. If you don't know, now you can know. <laughs> Good collect there from Jaden. I like the strategy Jaden's been using this game, going with the fourth back blocker, forcing Braden to hit some risky shots. But yeah, that's not a strategy most players go with. Fourth round, fourth round block. There we go. Look at that. This is what happens when you have a Texas guy at the control. He's going to find every Texas player in the building, guys. They roll deep. Back block here from Braden. Ellis with a little bump, getting his bag to fall. <laughs> Airmail drag for Braden. TikTok looks like it's lagging again. Oh, no. Look at how much talent we have right here on the court. With like a combined age of Wally, 26. Allison, <laughs> Jay, oh, Jeez, if you're talking about us, we're. <laughs> I don't know if I can count that high if you get all of our ages. Replay coming up. Look at this drag by Braden. Peels Money. the front, nicely done. All right, so here's an opportunity. I don't think Braden's had one for a while. First bag off to the right and out of play. In for four for Braden Wilson. Fourteen to eleven now. Kobe Costanza there as well. Isabella Soprenant. What do you think about the crowd cam, everyone? Do you like it? You like seeing who's around watching? I love it. Yeah, I usually don't get to pay attention to who's in the crowd here either. So I'm just usually commentating the whole time, focusing on the match. It, I know, and normally when we see us. all these players, this is what they're doing. Now mm -hmm. you get to see them, like, hanging watching. out and, yeah, cheering on their teammates. Well, I've said it time and time again. Watching Trey Ryder watch Cornhole as a fan is almost as much fun as watching him commentate. I love that they put the commentator cam on the uh, ESPN live feed. Saw Anthony and Trey have some great reactions. Whenever, who was it? Uh, I think it was Trey Baker, right? Gave up the six. I don't know. I think I think all he had to do was basically go board to force overtime, and they were up five points heading into that final round. And he front boarded it. Yeah, gave it six lost. And yeah. Trey looked like he was about to eat the camera. His jaw dropped so far. He's like, "Oh my gosh!" There was a one of the broadcasts where Anthony and, um, God, what's his name? I can't think of names today. Anyways, Trey was watching with us in the backyard.com area. Nice job by Jaden. And uh, he was, you know, still kind of commentating as he's watching, and he's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and it was just funny hearing it. Like, he's not even – he's just, that's just his personality. He just loves cornhole. Josh Christensen Look and Kim Cole love bag. the crowd cams. Robert says the bad cam flight is way better. Oh. More better. We need more cameras. If we put every cam, we should do one screen 
one image where we put every single camera that we have on the screen just to show you guys what, <laughs> all of them what we got going on here we got one, multi two, view three, of madness four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven i'm missing one there's 12 right walter 12 i believe so i'm missing one somewhere Yeah. I think 13, actually. 13. There's two sneaky cams somewhere we don't even know about. <laughs> All right, let's look at the shot again, though, by Braden. Two bags sitting on front of the hole. He's going to land and get them Ridiculous. both. Absolutely nasty. How do you see the other cams? Uh, you just put hashtag whatever camera you're looking for. Hashtag cam one. Hashtag cam two, hashtag cam three to pull it up on your screen for you. <laughs> A little side by side action here in front of the red zone. Thirty minute teardown, that would be that'd be great. Never happening. Hey, Charlie, welcome in. This is camera one. <laughs> Coming live from West Wego, Louisiana. What's happening? Oh, he looks not. To <laughs> almost slid that into the board, which in turn would have made it fall. That would have been interesting. I looked over, and they're both just standing there, no bags in hand. I'm like, what? what's happening? I missed something. <clears throat> Hey, Trenton, welcome in. This is Cam. Look at all Ryan. those players playing on their phones. Should be watching this action. Probably playing some Monopoly Go over there. Do you play Monopoly Go with players or is it by yourself? Uh, there's people that I'm, like, friends with on Facebook that are um. on there. But I don't know how to, like, get your friend. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I just push the button. Never played. I get a lot of messages from people, hey, come play with me on Monopoly Go. Someone said, I can't tell if you're being serious or joking. There's nothing serious happening <laughs> yeah. on a Sunday. It is uh, very <laughs> early. I mean, <laughs> there might be a little bit more seriousness as we get to the championship matches, but yes. If we say that they made a great shot, that's very serious, and that's as serious as it gets. Hey, Trenton, welcome in. This is Cam number three. Braden is keep this going throwing, all day. what did we say, <laughs> Buffalo Soldiers is what he's throwing? Yeah, I don't know if we got Soldiers or uh, Saviors. I can't can't get a close-up on it. If we only had a camera that can zoom in to see what that says. <laughs> <laughs> got the wheels turning in the truck back there. They're thinking. There we go. That might give us a better look at it. I can't tell. I think it says Soldier. You know, whenever you trick yourself, you can make it say soldier or savior. Soldier, there it is. Look at that. Great job, truck. There we go. Look at that. How fancy are we? Hashtag Cam 100 brought to you there by Charlie View. Big hair melt from Jaden. Um, Braden Wilson throwing a 962 and Jaden throwing a 971. That is a perfect cover. Getting hype right there. Look at him. I love that. This one's worth shooting, though. Jaden looking for a little two-for-one nope. drop. Hits oh. the front of the board. Wow. It gets the wrong bag to go. That is a four-point round and a lead change, and this is what I was talking about earlier. Braden Wilson does stuff like that to get himself fired up. Jackson Remick and Gavin Heyman in the background getting pumped. We'll be next on the live feed court against Tony Smith. Tony Smith over on the other end, yawning, not impressed. <laughs> Take a little mental time out right now, get some aiming fuel. Bag flight cam. RC5 is excited about it. Stacey Van Glider there behind the Corn Nuts billboard, still waiting for her to have her breakout. Very strong thrower. 
yet to make it towards the ACL Pro Circuit. Jaden helping Braden out right there, taking all of his bags in with him. There I see uh, Gooney to the left side as well. Right over Jaden's shoulder to the left a little bit. Ouch. He's left a lane right there for Braden just to go right through and take both of his bags. Yep. Gooney has a jersey from Europe. He's wanting people to sign. So. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to head over there to the director's table and sign those jerseys at some point. You're going to sign them? Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> Everybody wants me to sign their jerseys. Come on now. I know. We, security is over here holding the crowd back. Along with the breakfast. <laughs> yes. No signatures, no breakfast. No more mistakes from Jaden either. Braden Wilson on the verge of taking this one down. 19-15. First bag for each player is in. This has lasted 24 rounds. How much longer do we have? Again, next up, Tony Smith, Gavin Hammond. Winner of that match will get Ryan Windsor. Bracket C absolutely stacked. Yes. Bracket C is, oh, Braden going with the fourth bag block this round. And then we got another match assigned. Going up. On deck Hits after it. that. Wow. Big shot there for Jaden. Leaving Braden's bag hanging in the hole to pick up two points, making it 19 to 17. Look at this. Sheesh. 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 As I was saying, though, in B bracket after that one, Ian Cripps and Alex Hicks. I was wondering why I saw Mama Hicks in the background there. Uh, let's see. Braden throwing a 9.75 now, and Jaden throwing a 9.67. Might have us a tie game after this round. Kind of confused on the score. Wasn't it already 19-17? No, it was 15. Okay. I was going to say, he should have gotten at least two. Yeah, he did. Taking a peek over now, trying to figure out how many more he needs. Accidentally drops that bag, make it fly. It does not affect Jaden. That would have been awkward. <laughs> awkward bag dropping. That one had to be in, and it is. And we are tied 19-19, round 26. Here we come. Braden hyping himself up. Parents there behind him. Give himself a little pep on. talk. A little, little clap EPR on the way. Check 9.7684 baggers, 32% of the time. Nine of them for Jaden on the other side. Mm, uh oh. That's off to the side. A little on the hole action there. Perfect bag by Braden. That bag is better than being in. Gives Jaden the opportunity to fire a back block and force Wilson to hit the difficult shot. Go and roll. Still not a bad position to be in. This is the same thing we saw earlier. Jaden stepped out to get a different angle at this roll. He's staying tight, though. Airmail time. Missed the shot, but he actually blocks Braden's bag on the rim. I think if one goes, they both go. Yeah, he pulled that corner in. We're going to get a timeout. He's going to take a look here. Is Miranda cool here? I haven't seen her. I don't think she's here. Bag is away. He went airmail, oh, knocks no. in one of each. That's not a bad miss, though. He, uh, yeah. What is 19 to 19? All misses are. Yeah, not but I mean, he, he's got a point he can give up because there of that bag go. on the back, and now he's got a chance to win it. Uh, in for the win and one for some flair. <laughs> when in doubt, air it out. And Bag is away. That's he's going to hit it clean. Big shot, big match. Braden Wilson with an airmail to win it. Fires himself up. 
Jaden Ellis unfortunately knocks himself off the back of the board. Let's take a look at these shots down the stretch here. Braden Wilson put on a show, pushing, airmailing, rolling, collecting, getting everything he needs to knock bags in the middle and in the hole. When we come back, more singles action. Tony Smith already on the court. Gavin Hammond right after this. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com, let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's Nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planet's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram Seven is your whiskey. It goes the top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and Graves hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planners Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because Planners Nuts are good. Planters Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But maybe... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back here to the Alario Center in West Wego, Louisiana. Single Sunday action underway. Great matches so far to start things off. We got the number one player in the world, Tony Smith, making his way to the court to take on Gavin Hammond. But I guess I should say former number one player in the world because after this last kickoff battle, we have ourselves a new number one champ. His name, Jeremiah Ellis, and he joins us here in the booth. Jeremiah, what is up, my dude? What's going on? Yeah, how you feeling, man? <laughs> I'm feeling rough today. Feeling a little rough today. Hey, man, national singles champion. How did that feel yesterday? Uh, there's no other feeling that I've had like that. Let was, me ask you this. Insane. This was your second broadcast. The first one was against Ian Cripps, the championship match there. Not too bad. Two singles tournaments, two singles championships. Did the loss to Ian help you out in any way on the uh, final championship match there with Gavin? No, I don't think it helped. Uh, I felt the same going into both games. I mean, it gives you a little more motivation, but. Yeah. You know, seeing Braden Wilson after his match, I mean, the battle between him and uh, Gavin going into that, I was like, it was, it's, I was just torn the entire time. I'm rooting for everybody. I've got too many friends in this sport now, but uh, I was absolutely thrilled to see you take it down, man. Glad, uh, glad you got your first of many. Yeah, I mean, I've dreamed about that moment since I saw my pro deal, so it's pretty uh, exciting to get it the first one. Yeah, I had some friends make the trip out to root you on as well. Love seeing your boy come all the way out. Yeah, Sean? just for that. Just, uh -oh. just for me. And he's like, I'm leaving, man. I'll see you. Good seeing you again. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, <laughs> long drive. <laughs> yeah, he, I, I don't know how he does it, man. He just gets in the car and goes. It don't matter what time it is. Tony Smith, like I said, the number one player on the planet last season, teaming up with Mark Richards. They got themselves a kickoff battle championship. I think he's taking either a timeout or he's electing not to throw it here. He decides not to throw it. He's just going to take the couple points, I believe, get first throw and try to get things started. He 
Yeah, Jeremiah Ellis, though, player, if you guys aren't following, you definitely want to make sure you start following. We got ourselves a battle that we got to have, my man. One-on-one, -on -one, me versus you. If you think you can hang. I should probably play you right now. That's probably going to be the best chance I have in a while. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have a good shot right now. Matter of fact, Athena, pause the matches. I'm going to take on Ellis one-on-one -on -one next. Yeah, I tried to throw it back a second <laughs> ago, and I couldn't even get it to the board. <laughs> So you just showed up to hang out. You have absolutely no desire to play any games. No, I might play it, but... Uh, <laughs> Look at this guy. We'll Can see. Never turn it off. Gavin Hammond just throwing regular Wizards. We got some Lucky Bags in the hands of Tony Smith. Lucky Bags, throw like a champion. Throw Lucky. Life's most memorable moments. They can happen anywhere. On Six to two here, four stage, rounds in. Or even in your own backyard. For those so moments, obviously you got the Colorado the tournament in a couple home. weeks. Find furniture, decor, Vegas after that. Grills, Are you pretty much nonstop on the weekends now? Yep, even Dude, yeah, cornhole. It's like, it's like every weekend. Backyard.com has insane. everything you need to make your backyard you summer ready. Is something you coming into the season? How much time it would actually take, or how much time you would have to travel? Let's have fun. Uh, I knew it was going to be oh, beautiful a beans. Lot, Pusher's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now the official beans of the SEC. And the official so, so far, kickoff battle, two hey, tournaments. You've got two lessons. Now this guy gets it. Yeah. One gets handled doubles differently a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, no. <laughs> oh almost nuts. got it's that bar of soap. Nuts. He's sitting right on the rim. It's I believe it's nuts. all going to fall like dominoes. Because planter's nuts are yeah, good. Go planter's too. nuts. Commercial uh, music still playing this Nuts. Let's see. Oh. You can dash, sash, miss. Why are the ads playing? I'm not sure. We'll get that turn off the commercial. A lot of stuff. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean. All right, let's look at the chat. Let's catch up with the chat. Field. We got the Jeremiah mark. Ellis in the booth. If you the guys are just tuning in, fresh off of his championship. Anybody got any questions for Jeremiah? Now is your time. Shoot your shot. Unless Jeremiah Ellis is the one playing commercial ads in the background. And people are just asking him that. <laughs> Everyone's saying the commercials are still playing in the background, guys. Truck will get it figured out. Uh, why isn't Ellis playing today? First question there from Stephen Parr. Uh, because my flight was at 7 a.m. and... Two words, Bourbon Street. I celebrated a little too hard. Fixed now. There we go. There we go. Fixed now. Fixed now. Billy Anglin, are you really a Dolphins fan? Yes, diehard Dolphins fan since I can remember. They uh, they drive me more crazy than Cornell does. All right, so Super Holes obviously teaming up with the NFL this year, playing. Uh, it was off to a great start. I had a blast yesterday at the uh, Super Hole. I think we're in, in great position there with what we're doing with the Super Hole this season. So obviously – your name that people are going to want to see in the Super Bowl. Who do you want to play with on the Miami Dolphins team if you have that option? So, honestly, I would love to play with Christian Wilkins. We just got rid of him, and he's a Raider now, but uh -oh. that's, like, one of my favorite players. Okay. So you're going player over team? I don't mind yeah. it at all? Yeah, he's, uh, I love his energy. I love how he talks. He chirps. I think he would uh, he'd be awesome on the Super Bowl. Good question here from B. Duck. Ellis, did you like the two-week layoff after the National, or would you prefer to play them right there? Um, I don't I don't mind either way. Uh, playing there is cool. The two weeks is cool. I, I like the two-week thing because it gives uh, it's a little more hype getting up to it. You know, you get to tell everybody, get prepared. So I like it because, I mean, I feel like I walk in the building, I just got to get loose, and we're good to go. And you got to make adjustments, too. A lot of players have trouble making adjustments to the board speeds. And there's two different routes you can handle. You can, you can practice on it and adjust and learn, or you can kind of complain and just be upset about it. So. Yeah, we, I'm never going to take the complaining route. I mean, no, <laughs> no way. Alex Henson says, Dolphins calls hot attacks, but fins up all the way. <laughs> yeah, the uh, broadcast board actually, like, the, the board conditions changed drastically in the middle of the game with Adam. And, it was. Uh, it went from being a little quick to playing like more true, and that's why I struggled in the middle of that one. Shannon wants to know how you break in your bags. Do you have a preferred method that you do? 
Um, so now I big shot there from Tony. Sorry. I give my bags to my buddy Paul, and he I don't know what he does to them, but they come out feeling amazing. So Google Paul. Paul Copeland, yeah. You just hit him up. Big shot right there from Tony Smith, pushing through the pile. Getting in this one, eight to seven, eight rounds in. We'll go through brackets after this match when we come back from the commercial break. Guys, if you want to, you can follow along on the ACL Fan Zone app. Great app. If you haven't checked it out yet, you guys are missing out. You get a chance to look at all the PPRs, all the brackets, put a little star next to your favorite player. Yeah, put a star right next to my name. Let's see how many we got right now. We got, uh, where are we at in the streams? 763 people on YouTube, 549 of you guys on Facebook. Mm. That's at least 1,200 people that are going to go to the Fan Zone app right now and star Jeremiah Ellis and watch his journey throughout this 2024 season. Get on it. He ain't going nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nowhere. We're going to be here for a while. I guess it depends on how you look at it. He ain't going nowhere, and he's going everywhere. My man's going to be flying. Very true. You got TSA pre-check yet? Uh, no, but yeah, I'm getting get that. it. Yes. You got to get that. Uh, as soon as I get home, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to figure it out. All right, so have you played either one of these two guys on the court here? Uh, I played Tony. You played Tony? Yeah. What's it like playing Tony? What do you got to do to beat Tony Smith? Let the world know. Uh, to beat anyone, you just got to play your game. You got to remember just don't play their game. Play Stay yours. true to yourself. Yes. No, play to your strengths, not your weaknesses. But I was excited the first time I got to play Tony. You know, Number one player in the world last year. And wow. That's what you want, too. A lot of people are kind of like, oh, I got an easy route to the bracket. Heck, yeah. I think that players that have an easy route to the bracket don't really succeed. I think you got to have the tough matches to get you geared up for that championship match, personally. Yeah, you got to test your mental, your everything. So I like the, I like the big matches. Kendall Irvin wants to know what's your favorite or who's your favorite player in the ACL? Favorite player in the ACL. Mm, there's a lot to choose from. Uh, I say it's hard for uh, it's hard for us to uh, differentiate once we start hanging around all these people. They they stop being opponents and start becoming a family in a way. No, yeah, big time. Um, I'm trying to, let me think about that for a second. I got you. I've seen somebody yelling at me for not reading their question. There's so many questions coming in, I can't read them all. <laughs> 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 I'm just picking the one at the bottom that I see. But 9-9 nine, nine score here. Gavin with a hard tilt. Lands on top of the pile instead. Let's see if Tony wants to go slick side at this to kind of bully. And he's stepping out. Oh, rolled it. Kind of hopped. That was interesting. Landed on the board and just made a quick left turn off of that bag. Yeah, I feel like I put that bag in play a little more, though. I totally wants to know if you're afraid of pools. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of pools, <laughs> but they're not my friend right now. That's for sure. Side reel there for Gavin. This could be a big round for Tony Smith. Hmm. Ends up taking everything with it, but he's at least plus three in the round as Gavin's side reel is going to break the tie. Final shot right here off to the side. This could be a five spot. It's going to stop low on the board and kick off to the left. Cannon wants to know how to join the ACL. You can go to iPlayACL.com, create a profile, and look for tournaments in your area. Be able to hit hard shots like this one. Tony Smith into the pile, four bags down and one shot. <laughs> Jessica says, ask Ellis how it feels to be the first cornhole player a lot of people actually want to watch. <laughs> I, I don't even know why you guys <laughs> love watching me, but I enjoy it. I appreciate all of it. Fired up. Do you have any socials yet? You're still kind of working on the socials, getting those going. I know me and you are going to do some uh, YouTube stuff here in the near future, but you got anything uh, that you're trying to grow right now? I'm trying to grow my Instagram right now. It's, uh, I believe it's J Ellis underscore one three. I believe. Let me check. But yes, I am trying to grow my Instagram, so please go follow me if you can. The IG. Yep, JLS underscore one three. So, uh, how many people we got watching? I expect like. Let's see what we got. 
How many you at now on Instagram? Tell us that. Tell I us that am first. Not much. 775 followers. 775 right now, which is baffling to me. We got to get that up. Yeah. First of all, we got to share that on K9. You know, that we got 12,000 followers there. So yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get that out there. Uh, but oh. American Cornhole League's YouTube page right now 829, Facebook 588. So there we go, guys. Make sure you follow Jaden L. Jaden. Don't <laughs> Jeremiah my, that's Ellis. That's my son, man. Come Bro, on. I've been, I've been. Don't get that started, dude. Chat's been <laughs> on that all morning. I've been, I've been tongue tied all morning, dude. I've been so flustered. But uh, Braden Wilson played Jaden Ellis on court one to start, and I was Braden Ellis and then Jaden Wilson and the whole thing up. It was just <laughs> baffling. Get a little nervous up here. Dude, I'm so tired. It's uh, it was this was more exciting and fun than I thought it would be because. On our schedule, we only have three live streams. So I'm like, we're usually doing five, six. I'm like, okay, three live streams should be a pretty easy weekend for us. But with all the broadcasts and everything going on, it was kind of almost more exhausting in a way. Yeah, mentally taxing. Oh, yeah. Good match here, though, 12 to 10, 13 rounds in. Tony rocking the Brat Pack jersey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Think you got to be like a certain age to? I think it's a. Uh, I what? think it's just we were hung out at Shamar Morris' house. You been out? Have you oh. Got any dreams to go out there to Airmail City yet? Hey, if he wants me to come, I'm down. I'll take. I'll day. take you out there, man. It was a good time. I'll text Shamar and tell him we're on our way. Let's go. It's only a hop, skip, and a jump away from Vegas. So. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, how far is it from Vegas? A few hours. Corey would know. Corey's a California guy. How far away is Airmail City from Vegas, Corey? Five hours? Ain't none. Yeah, five ain't nothing, dude. You should still be able to go out there and make it all the way back and make your flight on time. <laughs> Lessons learned. Once I get that pre-check, <laughs> it'll be easier. <laughs> You're on your way to a private jet, my man. <laughs> that would be awesome. 12 to 10. All right, here we go. Gavin holding his own here. Yeah, he just got the uh, Cornhole Scholarship, didn't he? Yeah, that Winthrop University team is looking pretty stacked. I, yeah, that's I hear awesome. some rumblings about a couple more that are possibly siding that will yeah, just it, put that team over the top. It's kind of crazy that Cornhole's growing like that. You can get a scholarship and go to college. It's awesome. Hard tilt on that one. Roll too far to the left. I don't think Tony can go in without taking Gavin's back, but still two-for-one trade. He'll take it. Trying to get a couple more points on the board, and he does 14 to 10 now. I'm just saying if they was Viper R's, I could have got it without that one. Oh, okay, okay. You think anyone can throw Viper R's, though, or is it a special talent? Uh, Yeah, anybody Put it can work? throw them. Okay. Makes you better. What about Ryan Trader? You think you can throw him? We're going to find out, huh? We're going to find out, huh? Corey says under four hours to Airmail City there. It's even better. Yeah. You've been to Airmail City? I have. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it looks cool in the pictures. I mean, not just that, but just when you you walk in. I mean, if you've never met Shamar Moore, just being within three feet of him screams Hollywood. I mean, the dude lights up the entire room. Great guy. You know, he, he'll go out of his way to make sure anyone's having a good time and happy and stuff like that. Plus, I mean, he'll, he'll sit there and talk to you about some. He'll drop some knowledge on you. It's kind of shocking. Kind of think it's just party, but it's not party, man. He's... He really cares about the people he's talking to. That's dope. That's how I try to do. I like to make everybody feel like, you know. Oh, missed roll. Eh, not necessarily. It's just sitting on the back. It Ends up being a cover, a little blocker. Yeah. I think if he goes roll here, it's going to clog. But I was trying to get you over here on the live feeds quite a bit, but Corey and Chase to the right in the truck. Hey, that, that's a good trade. Ends up washing out the round. Take a look at this real quick, then I'll get back to lying and bashing the truck. <laughs> Airmail on top of the pile, slick side down, gets that one to fall. And like you talked about, that bag on the back from Tony does fall in. But you didn't really get a chance to play here on the live feed courts that much this weekend. But what do you think about the TVs on the side? Uh, you, you like the TVs I or like distracting? Them, yes. No, you like them? I like them. Yeah, it, uh, it, it makes it easier. Sometimes you can't see very well. So glancing over at the TV gives you a little better view. And you were talking about wanting to see the score over on the big stage. Yes. Um, so we're kind of talking about adding some tablets to the trusses if we can figure out a way to make that happen to get the scores on that as well. So 
Yeah, because it's a little unnatural to have to look over to your side to see the score because, you know, most of the time you, you can just look down. <laughs> James says, me, or I think he's trying to say, we need Ellis and Harbaugh to team up next season. They teamed up for one. You guys had a, a open in Ohio, I believe. Yeah, that was the uh, first time, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. Not counting my boy Ryan Hart out. Yeah, I don't think uh, Mark Pryor would have a problem with you and Harbaugh teaming up for a few. Kyle Malone doesn't travel too much, so Harbaugh will be available. Yeah, I played with uh, Kyle De yesterday in doubles. Definitely miss Ryan, though. That's my dude. Yeah, I know. I tried to get him to come, and he was like, nah, you ain't good enough. I don't care to watch you. <laughs> the one open uh, Ryan Hart misses, you end up winning the national championship. Yeah, maybe he should just <laughs> stop showing up. Huh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're bad luck, Ryan. No, we love Ryan. Oh, yeah. Ryan's awesome. Uh, Brandon, next match up here is going to be Alex Hicks against Ian Cripps. Plenty of great matches. There's actually a lot of talent here in the room, so we're, I don't think we're going to get a bad match here today. You can't walk into an ACL event, and there, there's talent is just insane all the way across the board. So Ian Cripps and Alex Hicks next. After that, Ethan Walker and Ryan Wiedenfeld. The hits just keep coming. Ethan and Ryan will be a fun one. Maybe a little roll battle. All right, so we'll do a PPR check when we get to round 20. We're also going to do an Instagram check when we get to round 20. So All right. hit him with that handle one more time. It's J Ellis underscore one three. There you go. Mama Hammond trying to <laughs> trying to maintain her composure there with some some more Westerners. <laughs> D-Boy, Ashley Bannister, Yeti, Irwan. Lucy Eldy in the chat. What up, Nana? How uh, how deep is this game in the bracket? This is third round. Third round. Yep. I think Tony needs some uh, pink socks. Got to get a hold of Pucks. I believe Pucks sponsors his socks for the uh, live feeds. Yeah. You got some with local legends on yesterday? Uh, AKL, Asheville, AKLs, okay. current whole league, my uh, home club I yeah. play at. I'm gonna sneak out there one day. You're not even know it. Is it hey. a league or is it a blind draw? Uh, it's a so it's a blind it's a blind draw, but it's league. Like we just do random random partner, get points based off where you finish. So can anybody show up? Um, I believe the first three weeks. So um, we're planning, we're hoping to get somebody come out, hang out in uh, like before can. I was going to say, I'll just pop up one day and uh, set the cameras up. Yeah, be just ready. have fun. Yeah, be, yeah, it's awesome. You, it's no better place. We play in storms, ice. It don't matter what's going on. As long as there's no lightning, we're throwing bags. Stephen Pohl in the chat says, Big Ellis fan here in Canada. Keep doing you, brother. Top player for sure. Hey, appreciate that. All right, final question here in the chat from Garrett Burnett. Ellis, how do you manage practicing, working, raising kids, and the wife? It's cool being able to relate in that aspect. Um, so I really don't practice because of all that. Uh, I feel like my my mental game is, is where I, I like to keep myself honed in. Just got to knock the dust off every week. Now, do you feel like that's something that you have to develop a certain skill to get to and then you can implement that, or do you think that's the key like right off the bat. Yeah, you got you got to build the muscle memory up at the beginning. I mean, when I first started, I, I probably threw two hours a day, every single day. And then I feel like it, once you throw that much, it just it, it gets exhausting. You kind of teach yourself bad habits because uh, you're trying to get through that fatigue and build the stamina to go long distances. That's my thing is the long distance, the fatigue. You saw the PPR check there at the bottom of the screen. Gavin Hammond with a 9-3-2, four total fa four baggers there, 21%. Tony Smith with a 9-2-1, a couple of his own. This has been kind of a muddy game. These guys are manipulating points and trying to get things going. Roll shot attempt coming here. Takes away that lane. You see Tony Smith hopping back in now. Yeah, I feel like uh, BG throwers are usually dirty game guys, you know, going to block and roll. And that's where board conditions play a huge factor. Live feed boards always play a little bit differently. I like him, though. This could be a huge push if he's able to grab that bag. That'd be tough. Put him on 20. 
He might get it. Nope. And he misses too far to the right. Stares it down. Still not going to redirect it in. He's going to keep it 16 to 18. Take a look at this roll one more time. Good landing spot right on top of the Stevie. Pops in there. Jeremiah, if you were here, man, you'd want to be in bracket C, although you'd be in bracket A since you're the number one player in the world. But this is who we got. Jacob Gore, Landon Bass, Adam Hisner, Alex Rawls. What's the score to Adam? And, uh, Hunter Thorne takes Alex. down uh, Gio Mora after he defeated Ryan Trader. And Tony Smith, Gavin Hammond, and then Ryan Windsor defeats Mark Richards. Which one? It's Adam. Oh, uh, Alex yeah. told me before that game, he said Adam missed like 10 bags all day. He's missing a few more there, 20 to 14. Alex Rawls in the lead. There's a good look at the bag flight. Cam coming right at you. Good push there from Gavin Hammond. Tony Smith, final shot here down the middle and in. There's one on the ground, though, so that's going to be a point for Gavin. 19-16, trying to finish it out here. Four brackets in action. Again, if you guys are just tuning in. All right, so let's do that uh, Instagram check now. How many followers you got now, man? Let's Did we do you any see. justice? Did the chat let me down? Oh, they did great. We're at the 834 now. That's a hundo. Yes, sir. Keep on climbing, chat. Let's see if Gavin wants to leave this in place. He goes through it. Watching Tony, I, I didn't realize how much he just looks around while he, while he throws. Like He just looks Pretty to the side. Yeah. I feel like I like to stay down the middle and just focus on what I'm doing. Maybe that's something Tony can go back. At. I mean, I don't think Tony goes back and watches his matches. Oh. But maybe that's something he could focus on. He's not going to have much time. He's going to head over to the loser's bracket. He's got some work to do. Gavin Hammond, strong win right there, taking Tony Smith down. Jeremiah, my man, I'm proud of you, brother. Got a mad respect for you. Love you, dude. I will uh, be following you on Instagram myself once I figure out my login is. But, <laughs> yeah. chat, if you guys aren't already, make sure you click on that. One more time, Jeremiah, what is it? Hit him with the IG handle. J Ellis underscore one three. There you go, chat. Make sure that you guys do it when we come back. We're getting a little younger here. Alex Hicks, Ian Cripp, when we come back. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com, let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's Nuts? It's not ah, nuts. It's ah, nuts. Because Planter's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. It goes the top and hits it! What a shot! Ticket to the championship and oh. hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planner's Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, uh, nuts. Because Planner's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey.
life's most memorable moments. They can happen anywhere, on sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Oh, nuts. No, no. What platter's nuts? It's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Goes way up top and hits it! What? He knows it goes up top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and... Cornhole fans, welcome back to the Alario Center here in West Wego, Louisiana. Single Sunday action continues with the youngsters. Alex Hicks and Ian Cripps make their way to the broadcast court. We're going to go through the brackets real quick before we get into it. It's been kind of a long match. You see right there, upset alert. Devin Harbaugh falls to Jimmy Humans, 21 to 15. Winner of that one will get either, I'm sorry, Shermerhorn or Hector will get Humans. Over on the other side of that bracket, Braden Wilson. We saw him earlier. He advances over Trey Baker. Tyler Goodwin taking on Kyle Malone. Kyle Malone in the lead there. We're going to head over to the B bracket, though. You see Ian Cripps and Alex Hicks right there trying to get to the uh, king seat match. But first, Fisher Hamilton in the way. On the right-hand side of that bracket, Kobe Costanza waiting for his next opponent. It's either going to be Ethan Walker or Ryan Wiedenfeld. We'll figure that out after this match. But let's head down to the court. Alex Hicks, Ian Cripps, set and ready to do battle. Live feeds brought to you this weekend by Backyard.com, Bush's Best Beans, Seagram 7, Corn Nuts, Mike's Hard Lemonade, Miller's Ale House, All Cornhole, and Lucky Bags. I am Wally K9 Castler. If you guys haven't heard of me yet, you're missing out. I'm a great person. Everything is amazing. But I'm also joined by the amazing Allison Baldwin to my left now. Jeremiah Ellis stepped in for a little bit. Appreciate you letting me talk to my man after his fresh win. But welcome back, Allison. How was that? It was cool. It was cool. Nice. Got some good questions there from the chat. I, awesome. Again, sorry, I can't read all of them, guys. It's uh, only allowing a few comments on my screen, so I can only see what I can see. But yeah, exciting weekend for him. You know, and me and my, my peoples. I know the truck doesn't like me talking about, but <laughs> proud papa. Canine unit has uh, been very, very well. All your pups this did weekend. good. Yes. <laughs> All my pups, that's what I'm going to call them. <laughs> my pound puppies. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see this one. Six nothing start for Alex Hicks, Ian Cripps. Some people were talking about, you know, that was kind of an upset, don't you think? I was like, absolutely not. Yeah. You guys just haven't been watching Ian Cripps like you should because Ian Cripps is a grown man now. I mean, he won his bracket, so. Not just won his bracket, but just the way he's throwing, the composure he's got going into it. Yeah. And if you look at his posts on Facebook and you see, you know, all the glory to God, first thing, everything he says, all the glory goes to God. I mean, the composure. Mm -hmm. He's one of these kids who shows up at a tournament gets done, gets eliminated, gets ready to leave, comes over and shakes our hands, says, hey, thank you for everything you guys do. Yeah. I mean, at Worlds last year, he brought, what, 20, 30 gift bags for us? 
Did he? Yeah. He, he was like, had all those gift bags at the table, at the director's <laughs> table. Gave gift bags and prize, and uh, I think it was like keychains and stuff like that to the directors and the live Aww, stream team. That's so that's awesome. It's like, what kind of kid does that? Matter of fact, all, all these youngsters, Braden Wilson, Alex Hicks as well. Alex Hicks would, every win, he would go and donate some backpacks to schools for kids that couldn't afford to go buy backpacks. Mm, I mean, the parents awesome. are just doing it right. Alex Darnell says, Ian is him. You ain't lying. I think we're in for a treat here, though. Five rounds in, six to two. The pacing of this is going to be pretty quick. These guys are going to throw some bags. We're going to see a lot of skilled shots, blocks, rolls, whatever. I'm looking forward to this game. The all slide's kind of off a little bit right now. He's throwing the all slide 2.0s. A little, little bit of a slower version of the original all slide. Good opportunity again to thank All Cornhole for the sponsorship from the backyard to your pro journey. AllCornhole.com has you covered. Right now, Alex Hicks covering the spread, eight to two. Again, Ethan Walker and Alec Ryan up next. Oh, Alec Ryan. Mm. <laughs> I am just absolutely terrible with names today. You're on your Jake Brannon today. Oh, it is not good. All right, let me start over. Ethan Walker and Ryan Wiedenfeld set to do battle next. I mean, in my defense, Alec Ryan is Ethan's partner, so I yes, say those are. names quite a bit. But after that, Logan Chamberlain and Zach Aiken will square off. Oh, here we go. Cornhole Mish in the chat for the first time working in her life. Yeah, I bet you're super tired, Wally. Jeff and I only did 12 hours of broadcasting in three days. 12 hours of broadcasting in three days compared to each day for us. Holy. Well, Mish, I mean, for you it was only 12 hours of broadcasting. For us, it was 12 hours of broadcasting, plus we had to pick out our own clothes. So, I mean, that was exhausting for us, you know. We can't all... We can't all have our niche. They found my headphones. Found your headphones. Let's go. I'm going to need one of you guys to uh, grab those and bring them to Colorado, please. <laughs> Got you. Maybe. Unless I forget. I will I'll send the group a chat text reminder. I didn't get to hang out with Misha at all this weekend. Yeah, we saw her just while she was exactly. broadcasting. That's it. Side by side here, but it's out of play for Ian. Alex in great position. Good bounce on the first one. Here we go with the youngster roll game. Three in a row. That one almost over the top. Makes it a more difficult roll here for Alex. I'm surprised he's not trying to push through this instead. He flung that bag. Ian going roll. Rips rolls in with the collect. Big rolls there for both these youngsters. Alex Hicks and Ian Cripps putting on a show. All that work, and it's a wash. I feel like I'm missing out on my golf game, though. I got all these group messages from back home. They're all going golfing probably four or five times this week. <laughs> and I'll be on the road nonstop, so... They're going to pass me up. i got too many things i got to work on. Live feeds, cornhole game, golf game, losing weight, working out, eating healthy. There you go. <sighs> it ain't hard out or it, whatever. It's hard <laughs> out here for a pimp. I, I'm just done. I'm, Alice, I'm going with you. Chase Pep, and Corey can hold this easy. down. <laughs> Man. Matter of fact, get Jake on the phone. We'll just patch him in. He can commentate from home. <laughs> Alex too far off to the side. I mean, this is a different mindset whenever I play. In my mind, I just want to clean this board up and take my two points when I can. I agree. These kids are just <laughs> continuing to roll over it. In here for a couple from Ian, and he is able to go in there, so he's finally back on the right track. 
eight to four now. Ian Cripps will have first shot. Let's look at this push that got him those points in the round. Turn that bag over. Drives right through it, nicely done, eight to four. I know he's gonna go back and watch this one. So Ian, I'm gonna call you out, man. It was at Worlds or right before Worlds, Ian's like, hey, what size t-shirt do you wanna wear? And back <laughs> then I was a large, now I'm an extra large. <laughs> and, uh, and he said, all right, I'll bring you a t-shirt next time. And uh, I still haven't got my Ian Cripps t-shirt. So, uh, just notice his dad in the background there wearing the Ian Cripps shield. Actually three of them in a row there. Alex taking a minute to look at the monitor over here, see what his bags are doing. Go and roll, gets it. And I hope Alex Hicks is back. This is what I love to see. First roll attempt right there, hits the left side and goes in. And then to finish up the round, another big roll for Alex Hicks, 13 to four. He's in great side, great command here. That one's off to the side. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna position my monitors here. Just the delayed one, I keep watching it. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. He just made the shot a second ago and it disappeared. He's still <laughs> throwing on this one. Another replay. These guys are putting in a highlight reel. Slick side down, able to get that one to drip back in. 13 to 8. Going left to right now, throwing in front of the corn nuts banner. Got a lot of Jeremiah Hector requests in the chat. All right, if you get to <laughs> William Axon, please head on over to the director. Athena and Michael have that handled. Well, handled. They've been uh, signing some pretty good matches. They are doing a great job over there. Appreciate all the hard work. <laughs> Ian Cripps' dad flexing in the background. <laughs> I got a champion, son. Alex wants to play this. He is going up top, lands on the pile, gets the bag in front to go, but there's a lane now for Ian to push through and do exactly that. Big push, Hicks goes in with the final shot. Two more, 13-10. Kid Wonder. Working his way back. There, there it is, go. boom, strong. My man, strong. Who's that guy? Ian's dad, I believe. That's not Ian's dad. It's not his dad? Uh-uh. Ian's family member of some port. I've met his dad like 10 times. So I'm absolutely terrible with this stuff. <laughs> oh, there's Ian's dad. There's his dad. There's his dad. Carson Getty there off to the side with a nice K-9 jersey on. Have to get Ian Cripps K-9 jersey. I'm sure he'd rock it. Although he might be like Wiedenfeld. He might be a t-shirt thrower. Maybe that's what I gotta do to get my Ian Cripps t-shirt. I gotta trade him one. Yeah, there you go. Little tradesies. He's gonna step out and try and go around, use that bag as a bumper. Well, he's laughing, I love that. He's like, mm, that was too. <laughs> Alex is following him right over. There it is. Oh, wow, look at that one. Bounces over the pile with the bag in front that does not go. Hicks up top for the air mill again. Another one off the back. And I believe we are tied off of this nasty roll. Three bags in a line, hits it perfectly, gets enough pop for it to drip. Well done. Let's see uh, 
I believe the mamas are sitting over there. Brandy Cripps. Angela Wiedenfeld. Just missing his airmails barely. That one's sitting right there. And that's a nice cover. Kind of takes away that lane. Final shot here for for uh, Hicks. I think it's going to go. Whoa! Mid shot, it falls. <laughs> a regroup. Now he's going to reassess the situation. I think it's kind of the same shot. He's got a little bit easier for him though. He elects to go roll instead, all the way out. Collects Ian's bag. Nicely done. How old are Ian and Alex? I believe 14. They get older every year. Can't keep track. Stepping out, going airmail, hits it nicely done, gets the drag. Replay after replay after replay. Now we got a chance for an and one just to wash out the round. Bag is away, lands shorter than he wanted to, but still gets the airmail. I believe Cripps is going to break the tie, getting out of that with one, 14 to 13. Big collect, big finish there from Hicks. Are the roll bags being thrown with a low arc or a high arc? St. Keith wants to know. We'll show you with this bag flight camera angle. You'll be able to see the rolls. Love that new camera angle. Yeah, Ian's is pretty low. Ooh, that one took off on him. He did not like that release. But it's still somehow going to work out. It's Alex Hicks unable to finish the final shot right there. Mm. No, my son is not interested in playing cornhole yet. He's uh, almost six. He's into t-ball right now and Mario. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get him started on cornhole in a couple of years. We don't want him to get to get burnt out by the time he's actually old enough to do something. Not a whole lot of cornhole going on at the Baldwin house these days also. No? No? Nah. All work and no play. Makes uh, James a dull boy. Oh, I would not say that. He plays very much on his boat and in the woods and just doing other things. The downstream camera angle is money. More of that each match, Seaball says. I'm going to toot my own horn, but I invented that. <laughs> I invented that camera angle. It was all me. Fifteen, fifteen, round twenty-one. Here we go with the rolls. I love a roll game. Not happy. See Ethan Walker there in the background watching on. He's trying to figure out why these rolls aren't working because he loves to roll. We're gonna, if you think about a lot of rolls now, wait till the next match. <laughs> oh, that is what we call unfortunate in the business. He's going to give up the point. Up. Yeah. I don't blame him. One's better than two. Smart play as he throws the bag on the board. Everything falls in. Sixteen to fifteen. It looked to me like he hit it perfectly. You see that bag lifted up a little bit when it all comes down, just creates a perfect wedge. And he's shaking his head as he looks at the monitor. Oh, 
Oh, oh off that one, the back. Yeah, that one did not look like a great angle. Too much of a rocket. Lots of bounce in that one. Big airmail. This could be a huge round here. Hicks sitting on 15. He's going to take a minute and go look at it. To Walsh right now. He's trying to see if he could figure out a way to push through this and get these bags to go. If he can, we're looking at possibly 12 on seven. If he can get all of them. If he can get it clean, that's a win. Get five, put them on 20, right? Well, if he can get them clean, it's a seven point round. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hard push into the pile, gets everything to fall. Does not leave that bag there to get the win, but five points is good enough. Huge shot, Alex Hicks. Retakes the lead, 20 to 16 right now. Take a look at that after the match. That shot was Put crazy. together a little package for you guys. This has been a highlight, real match. That one off to the side. Cripps had an opportunity to regain control. He can still grab that one. It's a risky shot right now, though. Don't want to chase when you can't afford to give up a point. Hicks gave it back to him. Go. Up top for the airmail. Knocks the bag in. That's a decent trade. 20 to 16. Now let's take a look at that huge push here from Alex Hicks. Line drive right at you. <laughs> Kept the foot right. Did you see that? He's like bouncing, trying not to move. 20 to 16 <laughs> off of that one. Imagine shooting that shot, and at the same time, you're thinking, don't move your foot, don't move your foot. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was talking about. A lot of people are like, would you stay behind the line the entire time? I don't think Alex Hicks hits that shot <laughs> without stepping across the line. And that's one thing I do not want to take out of the game. Ian is throwing the all slide 2.0s. Cripps going board right here, forcing Ian to hit the shot. I call this the and banana. He, he does. doesn't get it. He no peel. It. Oh, that's all right. He's not out. He's just heading down to the loser bracket. What a battle. Ian Cripps, Alex Hicks, shout out to the directors, giving us banger after banger. Ethan Walker making his way to the court. He's going to take on Ryan Wiedenfeld when we come back. Four brackets in action here in West Wego, Louisiana. Single Sunday underway. Hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. Hit the share. We'll be right back right after this. Life's most memorable moments. They can happen anywhere on sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's Baked Beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Oh, nuts. No, no. With planter's nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Goes way up top and hits it! What? A 
He knows it goes the top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and hits it! What a shot! Welcome in, Cornhole fans. We are bringing you live singles coverage from West Wego, Louisiana. We have Ryan Wiedenfeld getting ready to take on Ethan Walker in this winter bracket game. Should be a fun one. We should see lots of rolls and cuts. Should be an interesting match. Ooh, that was. I didn't miss anything, huh? All right, let's go. About three bags. That was it. That's it. We got, <laughs> what do we got here? Witchers and then the copycats. Off the back for Ethan. Ryan follows him. Again, if you guys are just tuning in, next match will be Logan Chamberlain against Zach Aiken. You can follow along on the Fan Zone app if you want. We'll go through the C and D brackets now. Jacob Gore taking on Alex Rawls to get to the king seat. Jacob Gore currently in the lead there, four to nothing. Hunter Thorne over on the other side, taking on Ryan Windsor on court 18. This here is a D bracket matchup. I'm sorry, the next one's a D bracket matchup with Logan and uh, Zach. Damon Dennis on the other side of that, taking on Gavin Cano. Damon Dennis in the lead there, 2 0. This here is a B bracket matchup where the winner of this one gets Kobe Costanza. Ryan Wiedenfeld been very impressive in both singles and doubles. I think if we had to look at it between Eric Davis and Ryan Wiedenfeld, those are probably the top two standouts for me as far as the all around player in singles and doubles. For the weekend or just, all together? Just the entire season so far. Season, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, Eric Davis, he's definitely a different player this year. I remember I had a lot of people, and you guys know who you are because I know you're all watching right now in our group chat telling me that I was insane for putting Ryan Wiedenfeld in my top 10. I would like you guys to comment now in the chat if I am still <laughs> insane. <laughs> There's Corey right there commenting. Go ahead and say it again. What were, you, what were you saying? West Coast Corey, where are you at? Ooh, look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> Truck playing jokes on each other. All right. You got the wrong buttons over there, Corey. Ryan Wiedenfeld thinking this is a joke right now. Can't get started. Good roll right there. Hard push from Walker. Bunches on him. Wiedenfeld looking at a triple bar of soap. Oh, that would have been or shot of the year. block. That would have been shot of the year. Ethan taking a break to come see what's going on over here. I don't think I've ever seen a triple bar of soap. Would have been pretty cool. Would have been pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan taps so, himself on the chest that I could have done it. That's the most I've ever heard him talk. Oh, yeah, D. I mean... I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I guess I have to say Jeremiah Ellis, but yes, that's a given. Jeremiah Ellis is a very consistent player as well. That's a good trade. Ethan Walker will take that one. Wiedenfield down the middle in with the final shot, 11 nothing. He's going to kind of pace this out and get his time to get started. Never count Ryan Wiedenfield out of a game. It almost feel, I almost feel like he plays better when he's down. We're about to find out. I don't know what this post is about, but I hate seeing it. Dylan Turpin says, just ain't fun anymore, man. I hope that's yeah. uh, not a sign of things to come. I know I all about that. I want that man to enjoy life in the cornhole world. It's a lot better. This is uh, winter side, bringing you all winter bracket until we have no more options. Usually after these tournaments, uh, sitting on the airplane, you know, getting ready to take off, I catch up on all my cornhole drama on the on the interwebs. Yeah. Looks like there's some good stuff to read. 
This is indeed winner's side. This is B bracket again. You can follow along on the fan zone app. B bracket action here, trying to get to the final four on the winner's side to take on Kobe Costanza. Was in the restroom talking to somebody a second ago. Says Fisher Hamilton is absolutely cooking today. Well, then he's just continuing from yesterday because he was doing the same thing then. First game for him, an 11.23. Had a tight game there with Gage Landis. Looks like a dirtier one, 9.35 there. Then again, back to the 11s, a little 10.77, 10.57. So wow. Alex Hicks will be his next opponent. We'll see how that one gets played out. But we're almost getting to the king seat matches. That's usually a pretty good sign about uh, things wrapping up and when to tear down and see if I could figure out how to put this uh, puzzle back on its pallet. That's what we always think. And we have a we're getting to the winners. We're getting close. No, the, the games just get longer. <laughs> I think the Versa Court is a great addition. I love, love, love the Versa Court. I'm hoping I can remember how to take it apart. It looks so clean. Professional. You're welcome. Yeah, you did a great job. You spelled cornhole wrong, though. We fixed we almost it did, for actually. you. We almost did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we almost uh, did. Trying to figure out uh, which direction it goes so that we could see the ACL Pro logo from us. But <laughs> push through. Doesn't get the bag on the left to go. And here we go. Wiedenfeld getting a couple more points. All you need is a chip and a chair. You a poker player, Allison? Um, I used to play a lot of poker. We used to have games at our house like once or twice a week, no limit tournament style. Are you a poker player, Walter? I want to be. Yeah? We've, we've been the golf group I was talking about earlier. We've been watching the UFC fights and playing poker recently. They it's used been fun. To, I used to just sit there and wait, wait, wait for the good cards. And then I never got any, and I would just then I'm just done here. Just, I'm gonna play my five six and hope something cool happens. It's usually where you bust people up. If you get lucky. Yeah, I mean you're the type of person that we're gonna put up against Ryan Windsor, which we consider a professional player in our world. <laughs> and. Uh, you're going to beat Ryan Windsor, and he's just going to be like, I can't read her. I don't know what she's exactly. doing. <laughs> no read on her. That's because I'm wild. And you'll never guess what I'm going to do because I don't even know what I'm going to do. Good push through there to collect from Ethan. Ryan, final shot down and in. Walker does the same thing on the other side. That's a Social. <laughs> he looks over at him trying to get a read on him. Ryan Wiedenfeld giving him absolutely nothing. I do have a hard time <laughs> bluffing in poker, though. I will say that. Ethan not, Walker not already that. looking at the camera and just staring in the soul of Ryan Weefeld and trying to get a read. Actually, I used to play a lot with Anthony Eastridge and his family. Poker? Mm-hmm. Yep. We used to play over there every Saturday during the summer. They have a pool in their backyard. Go over there, hang out in the pool. End of the night, play a poker tournament. Hope you're still able to drive home at the end of it. <laughs> Myself and the fellow Yacht Club members, we play Monopoly with real money. <laughs> sounds, sounds risky. Yeah. <laughs> when you got it, you got it, you know. I this haven't had a comment in the chat in like five minutes. Hey, that never fun. happens. So I was talking about, though, Wiedenfeld just kind of waits for his moment. He feel, I feel like he plays better when he's down. 15 to nothing start, and then since then, 15-2, 15-5, 15-7, 15-8, 15-12. Just finds a way to get back into it. Yeah, sometimes you got to wait it out. And that is not one of those ways. Does not know what happened there, but he's got to be clean with this final shot or else this is it, uh -oh. and he is not. One blow up around at the wrong time. As soon as he I give, I <laughs> as soon as I give him a compliment, Ethan Walker finishes it off. 
At Look, least. Ethan doesn't even know what just happened. He's in the loser's bracket with a smile on his face, though, so he didn't know <laughs> what that was. Kind of look at his hand after that one. All right, we're going to head to break. Chat, when we come back, you see already Logan Chamberlain making his way to take on Zach Aiken on the court. We'll see you guys here in just a little bit back in West Wego, Louisiana. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Oh, nuts. No, no. With planters and nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because planters nuts are good. Planters nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Goes way up top and hits it! What? He knows it, goes up top and hits it! What a shot! Ticket to the championship and... Welcome back. Single Sunday continues here in West Wego, Louisiana. We're at the Alario Center for open number 13. Zach Aiken has made his way to the court. They're going down and back. Wally and Allison here on the call. Corey and Chase in the booth pushing the buttons. Big matchup here for Zach Aiken taking on Logan Chamberlain, who has emerged as one of the singles players to watch. He's on my list. I said, okay, I guess he's just going to be good at singles now. Already with one Let's open championship. Over there. Truck just loves putting us on camera. Look at that crazy hair. Let's go. Crazy. Sunday vibes. <laughs> Shout out to Dragon Bags with the, with the hat. You know, hooking it up, keeping my ugly, nappy, non-haircutted hair out of the picture as long as possible. Good morning, Heather. Say good morning to Heather Wally. She's like, good morning, morning. Heather. Good morning. There we good go. Morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Although we're running out of morning, we are now into the afternoon portion here in Louisiana. Louisiana. That Cajun flavor. So we kind of got a little bit of Ryan Trader without the step here in the wind up from Aiken. Looks like he's rocking a Lucky Bags jersey. So he is trying to throw like a champion. Throw Lucky. Trying to take a look at these bags. I believe these are snipers, but I will not say anything until I get confirmation. I have confirmation. Well, yes, they is. Jamelin first bag down the middle and then. Got a whole lot of uh, heckling from my, my friends that watched around the ACL in Fisher Hamilton and Landon Crabtree. 
They were like, oh, such a weird pairing, huh? Weird pairing wins the title, weird pairing. I was like, okay, <laughs> whatever. I said, I thought it was strange. I said, I said fish and crabs when coming to Louisiana <laughs> just makes sense. Right. Alex Hicks and Fisher Hamilton getting ready to do battle. They are heading over to court 13. If you're following along on the score zone, court 14 for Kobe Costanza and Ethan Walker. So, Kobe Costanza trying to defend his home turf as well. Jacob Gore 16 to 16 on court 23 against Alex Rawls. Hunter Thorne down 8-7 to Ryan Windsor. Other side of this bracket, Damon Dennis taking on Gavin Cano. Eight to six, Dennis in the lead. Look at Zach's backswing. It goes up to where Logan's head is. That's what I said. We got a lot of uh, Ryan Trader here without that. the step. It's hurting my shoulder already. Did you see that? My tendonitis has gone up to an 11. Watch this. Watch the backswing. Boom. We call it 11-itis. Yeah, stepping in this uh, match, I was like, huh, not who I thought Zach Aiken was. <laughs> I've been following someone all weekend thinking it was him, and it's <laughs> definitely not this guy. The guy I was thinking was six foot five with a beard. So <laughs> whoever Maybe that, there's two. Well, whoever that guy was, he was throwing well. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. First chance for me to get a look at him here. Mason Trey, Mason... Wiedenfeld, sorry, in the background there, texting me, trying to get me to throw with him in Vegas. <laughs> you guys want to see me message him back and be like, I'm not going to be able to throw in Vegas and get his natural reaction? Thought you were going to try and play in Vegas. They're not Change going. I'm too valuable. The live feeds would fall apart if Jake was in charge. <laughs> Yep, there he is. Where's Kat Kat? Right That's there at the BG tent. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> oh, wow. Push into the pile. His bag is somehow it's hung up over moving. on the right side of the hole. Oh, it is moving a little bit. Is it moving a lot of bit? Because that's what it needs to fall back in. Being hung up right there by that one bag. I think if you would have waited a minute, it might have fallen. Logan stepping up his singles game this year. Yesterday, yesterday. Sheesh. Last year was a very big breakout season in doubles for him. This year he's shining in singles also. Yeah, one thing I said on the show Tuesday for around the ACL. These are surefires. The truck has lied to us. They are surefires. I don't think I'm going to trust the truck ever again. I don't blame you. Anyway, like I was saying, I was talking about uh, last year at the final chase in Detroit. I, I noticed something, and I said, I think Logan Chamberlain has passed up Justin Burton Jr. Now he's the A. Justin yeah. Burton Jr. is the B. Okay. And no knock at all on Justin Burton Jr. I was saying, I think Logan Chamberlain has gotten that good. Yeah, for sure. Head on over to the uh, All Corn, I'm sorry, All Cornhole booth. Uh, pick up your merchandise there. The ACL tent ran there by Rich Chamness' daughter. <laughs> Anyone from Montana out here? Not sure. I don't even know where Montana is on the map. <laughs> the stream is messed up? What's happening? You're messed up. Are we coming in clear, everyone? Having any issues? I mean, the stream is probably messed up because the truck lied to us about the... Uh, bag choice? Yeah, the bags being surefires. Plenty of room in the back. Let's see if he wants to go. Oh, <laughs> just right, a little bit short. Let's get a replay short. on that. Yep, bloop, bloop, there bloop, they bloop. go. 
Logan throwing his bag right here. Logan here we go. In his contention for the long <laughs> toss. Might have, might have foot fouled. Might have foot fouled. Keep an eye on that. Oh man, that's awesome. Uh, next on our stop, we will be in Windsor, Colorado for the next national. Following that, we will be in Las Vegas. Yeah, I need to uh, figure out my plans right meow, actually, because I got New Hampshire, and I might just go straight from there to Colorado. I would, other, if I don't, I land on Monday, fly out Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very much fun. But then I have all my equipment with me, so like, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Ooh. Too deep on that roll. He's not happy, but this could be a huge round for Zach. Zach's pushed oh, through. Man. Again, kind of clogs up around the hole. A couple more points for him right there, though. Six to one. Chamberlain getting out easy right there. No scoreboard on ESPN+. Plus. Well, ESPN uh, Plus should the be the exact feed, same thing, so yeah. I mean, we, 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 don't, we don't leave it up there the entire time. We pop <coughs> it in and out. And just, uh, just it'll be all right. If you, if you need a scoreboard, though, you can always follow along on the Fan Zone app. Uh, we will be in Windsor, Colorado in not, we get there not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after that. We'll be there setting up. Tournament start Thursday. Shootout singles on Thursday. Logan gonna step out and try and get around all of these bags. Had to put a little bit more on it if he wanted it to go in. Getting to that magical moment now with these king seat matches. Let's go. Next one up, Jacob Gore will take on Ryan Windsor here in the live feeds. That should be a pretty fun one. There's a look at the bag flight gam. Bag's coming right at you. Count the rotations. I'm not gonna lie. I'm loving all the JMO chat in the in the groups. JMO supporters coming out in plethoras. Jeremiah Hector getting a lot of love. Jeremy, a big hit right there from Aiken. Round number ten, eight points on the board. Blockers in front. Logan with the answer. That one looks short, and it was. Hits the pile. Logan not happy that the bag's moved up the board. Let's see if he just wants to clean it. He's going to roll. Hard cut, tilt into the pile. Ends up covering. And there's another airmail opportunity here for Aiken. Bag is away. That one looks better, and it is better. In it goes. Somehow, the bag <laughs> on the front stays there, and Logan Chamberlain is shocked. And, and excited. Wow. Oh, I'm right there with that. him. I don't think <laughs> he even hit it. Let's take a look at this. First air mail there from Aiken. Second air mail from Logan. And then this final one even clips the bag, just doesn't get it to drag. Unreal. Got Corey in the chat looking for a round 10 PPR check brought to you by Seagram 7. Number one American blended whiskey. 9.2 there for Zach Aiken with four four baggers. Logan Chamberlain with the 8.9, three four baggers as well. ACL Pro Michael Allen says Zach Aiken swept a regional in North Carolina with some pretty good talent like two months ago. Kid can play with anybody. No ain't lying. 
Great shot there, but Chamberlain sneaking around. Aiken trying to decide how he wants to play this. Shoot it. When in doubt, air it out. And he tried. And he does, but just no love on the rim. Off the board it goes. Eight to six. Logan off to the right, not loving that bumper bag that he laid up there for Zach. Yeah, he yells Cheez-Its after that one. Must be a big fan of Cheez-Its. <laughs> I like Cheez-Its. <laughs> They're pretty good. They are good. I haven't had one in a while, though, but Same. I feel like it needs to happen. Good shot right there. Eight, eight. Round 13. I don't know how old Zach is. We talk about players adjusting the throw as they get older. He keeps this up and ends up being six foot tall. He's thrown over the top of the trusses. That arm movement is ridiculous. Ooh. That bag looked good when he left his hand. It's 14, Heather and Matthew say. Tell me he doesn't play baseball. plays baseball, I don't know how he's doing it. Well, that shoulder would give out. <laughs> uh, these are sure fires. <coughs> According to the truck, they're snipers, but <coughs> excuse me, came out of nowhere. I know how to read. <laughs> truck, no idea. All right, here we go. Big shot here for Logan. Uh oh, well, that's all right. It's a good trade. One of each gets his bag to go. Aiken's bag is out of play. You used to play bait. Well, sheesh. <coughs> Ryan Windsor has made his way to the court. Not see Jacob Gore yet. Have you talked about any of the King Seat games yet? I have not. Bracket A, Jeremiah Hector and Braden Wilson waiting to play their King Seat match. I think we should keep J Mo off the live feeds just so we can keep our counts up. <laughs> chat. Chat would love to see that. And again another trick. How is that bag not falling? Look at oh we're not gonna be able to see it in time. Wow. Side camera on that would have been amazing. If only we had one. If only we had Hmm. Is that a five spot? Nope. He has got one off the back too. Nice. Nice look at what we thought would have been a great angle. <laughs> Take a look at those shoes, ladies and gentlemen. You know, they say better late than never, but I don't believe it. That would have actually been better on time there. Yeah, that's right. I'm just messing. We're having fun. Single Sunday, kind of a, I don't know. I feel like we have a, like a Friday vibe for us where it's like, all right, here we go. We got done setting up. Let's, let's, get, let's get into it. Saturday is always kind of like, let's go. We're yep. fired up. And then Sunday is kind of like, we're chilling. Yeah. We're having a good time. We're commentating. Single Sunday. We were having fun last night, too. <laughs> That's going to be our uh, intro next week. Corey's going to remix that. Dustin says it would be cool before every broadcast game started. The players had to yell what bags they were throwing. 
Uh, I used to do that. Uh, it was a, it's actually a sponsored segment that nobody's paid for in a while. So we uh, yeah. we like to pl we like to guess. Keeps us entertained for a yeah. little while, trying to squint and read the bags. I like to uh, I like to uh, I like to have sponsors buy segments like that. <laughs> we, we have we have it for for sale. If you have a company, and you're wanting to sponsor live feeds. Great roll there. Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew it was coming. I knew you were going to. There's the roll from Logan. You Perfect landing spot. Good speed. Where's the audio oh. replay <laughs> of me and Walter? Won't be the last time. There he is, Kevin Smith. I sponsor in Bruise. Absolutely. Yeah, you do. Helped us out, man. We were struggling in West Palm Beach before you. Chamberlain misses the hole, sitting right there. Opportunity for Aiken. Can he cut around it? Puts the tilt on it, gets the right side. Nice drop. Four point round right there. Aiken making it happen. 15 14. Let's go. Again, winner of this match goes to the king seat to either take on Gavin Cano or Damon Dennis. Damon Dennis always does this. You know, he kind of sneaks up for one bracket championship and takes it down at some point, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Once, once a year. Yep. Number 19 now. Just dangling right there. Yeah, it is. She gone. Zach gonna pick up two right there. 17, 14. Round 20 PPR check coming after this round here. Logan Chamberlain taking a slow walk down, trying to figure out what he's gotta do to score some points. Blocker here from Logan, trying to mix it up a little bit. That's not really designed to stop Zach, just giving him something to think about. It does its job right there. Yep, kicked off to the side. Logan trying to hype himself up. Logan's loving that. We'll see a roll attempt here. Logan trying to figure out where to put it. Missed the roll. <laughs> 
gets his bag to fall. And Zach makes him pay. Clean it up for a 10-10 wash. As they head back down to the left-hand side, this PPR check, once they type it in the system, will be brought to you by Corn Nuts. Corn Nuts, crunchy corn kernels. 9.25 there for Aiken, eight four-baggers. That's 40% of them in the hole. 9.1 for Logan, four four-baggers, 20% of the time in the hole. And that one is short and to the left. Short and to the left. Great job collecting it, though. So far, so good. Can he finish the collect? If not, Aiken could win with the four-bagger. Again, doing such a great job of hugging that right-hand side. And he does get it, so we're going to play at least one more round. Double four-bagger right there. Seagram 7 social. Social, Social is brought to you now by the number one American blended whiskey, Seagram 7. 7 and 7s might be my new favorite drink for these things. Just saying. Very good. I hadn't had it. I tried it this weekend, and it was pretty good. I had them back in the day, and they were just okay, but as I get Older, that nearing my 30s here. The taste buds change. That apple one. Very good. We're going to give that one to you, Wally. I'm a baby. Zach does have amazing composure. Logan not upset with that hard shot here from Logan, but he hits it. Oh, Nicely oh, done. Oh, Awkward game. knuckles. Yep. <laughs> Shakes his head. Like, how are you going to deny me my knuckles like that, man? Uh, Great job here from Logan going left to right on the board. Zach oh, is like, hey, oh, oh, got I'll, it. I'll, uh, I got it. I'll talk to, my, I'll, I'll talk to <laughs> myself later. Bye. <laughs> Gavin Cano takes down Damon Dennis, 22 to 18. What a battle that one was. 21 rounds lasted about 45 hours. Gavin Cano takes it down, so the winner of this match will take on Cano for the king seat here in the D bracket. Two bags left for Aiken to get those to fall. Logan trying to do everything he can. That's perfect spot. As Anthony Allen would say, better there than in. Ouch. Slick side down off to the Not side. Helping. This could be huge. Boop. Booped it in. Logan thinking about a collect. I don't think that's the play. I think you want to sneak in here, get your four points, take the lead. I believe if he collects that bag, everything's going to fall like dominoes. Coming right at you. Coming right at you there for that 4.18 to 17. Again, just kind of something for Zach to look at here. I believe Chris Fontaine to court 56. Chris Fontaine. Does not 56. work this time. He goes right through it. <laughs> These comments are hilarious. Chat on point. Chat is on point. Gotta love them. I don't have any more off time. Hitting that stop start button over there. <laughs> I'm on the clock. You're almost on the plane here in a little bit. <laughs> You're not going to make it to the end. Not at this pace. 
because these matches are kind of slowing us Dick down. Dick They're Dick all Dick going 20 rounds. See, that's what I, I, that's what I said. You were like, we're getting down to the finals. We're getting ready to be done. I was like, no, these games just take an hour yeah. apiece. I feel like I, I feel like I do got to go have my fresh air regroup like right around this time. So once we get to the king seat matches, we're like, okay, only only a few more matches to go. But in all actuality, it's probably three more hours. Unable to get that one over. Let's see how this finishes up here. Logan trying to go in here. He's looking for a 10 on five. He's trying to finish this off this round. Let's see if he can cut this one in. Hard tilt, trying to get around the corner. Oh, he hit the no. spot. Look just at a that. little bit too much speed <laughs> on it. He just got electrocuted over there. Airmail right there with the drag. Big shot, put him on 19. 1918, what a turn of events. Chamberlain misses the cut. Aiken Look at this. up ah, top. So angry. <laughs> Get over here. Whatever happened to Creek Killer? Big he collect. is Ryan Windsor's pro partner this year. Yeah, this is uh, open. No need to be here at this one unless you qualify for the broadcast. Let's him off the hook. Brings that bag a little closer. Still think it's out of play, though. It's going to be a ridiculous collect if he's able to get it. Needs help right here from Zach. That ain't going to be it. Chamberlain hard tilt again, Ooh. trying to get around it, not enough on it. Not getting up on the board enough either. There's Jacob Gore now has made his way to the background. Speaking of Ryan Windsor, Gore Windsor up next. As the kill shot crew makes their way over to the bleachers to cheer him on. Locker right there, kicks Logan off the side a little bit with Zach sitting on 19, this could be it. Seven misses the slick side collect. Chamberlain cleans it up though. Gotta be in. And he is. 10 10 wash. We continue to round number 28. Been a while since we've had a round 30 PPR check. How are we going to get there? <laughs> I don't know. We're pretty close. 18, 19. One miss. It's been 84 years. there from Logan and that's off to the side Logan trying to get to 20 bag number three replaces perfectly he's happy with it Aiken's gonna step out to try and sneak around he is Perfect. able to get that one to go nicely done no. that one looks short and it's not gonna go he was in position to score instead he does not collect Zach Aiken takes it one down. He is headed to the King seat match to take on Gavin Cano. Logan Chamberlain, he's gonna have to head to Miller's Ale House, eat, <laughs> drink, and stay a while. He's not done yet, loses bracket for him. Be right back, right after this. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com, let's have fun. 
Ah, nuts. No, no. What's planet's nuts? It's not ah, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Goes way up top and hits it! What? He knows it, goes up top and hits it! What a shot! Ticket to the championship and oh. hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planner's Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because Planner's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Welcome back, Cornhole fans. We are here in West Wego, Louisiana at the Alario Center. Wally and Allison on the call. Brackets starting to wind themselves down. Four brackets in total. We have our first king seat match of the evening. Hope you guys are enjoying the content so far this weekend. We're winding things down. Day number three here. Kickoff battle number two, open number 13. We'll be back in a couple weeks in Colorado. Windsor, Colorado for Cornhole Mania. Allison, I think uh, the kickoff battle for me was amazing. It's uh, concluding here two weeks later, I think, was a huge success. Uh -huh, I've I had agree. a lot of fun. What about you? I've had a lot of fun. I love all the broadcasts, like one right after the other, right after the other. Lots of action, yeah. super hole going on. Doesn't get any better. Yeah, we'll head down to the courts. Show you guys all the bracket matchups here in a little bit. Looks like Gore has won the spin. Rocking that Cutters jersey. I, I think talking trash on the Cutters this year is my new favorite thing to do. They they all chirp back at me. <laughs> I'm sitting right behind them. I said, I don't even care who you play. 5-2 against you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do feel for them, though. It's awfully, awfully hard. I mean, same thing with the Missouri Mays. Ryan Windsor on the other side was kind of experiencing the same thing. Hard to fill a roster whenever you have to have your team's matchup on the road. Yeah. And uh, it's really not a good answer for that. It's just really hard to get everyone to travel. I've been talking to some of the Las Vegas High Rollers players, though, and they've uh, you know, kind of planned ahead, you know, tr plan their trips accordingly mm -hmm. to make sure they don't miss their broadcast time. So king seat matches are set. C bracket king seat right here. Jacob Gore, Ryan Windsor set to do battle. Next on the live feeds, Jeremiah Hector will take on Braden Wilson. Over in the B bracket, Fisher Hamilton will take on Ethan Walker. And then the D bracket, Zach Aiken, Gavin Cano. Windsor took a look at it. He knows what he wants to do now. Sticky side down, line drive, backside, wow, airmail, good hit. Plus two, two nothing. Someone said, I hope Logan isn't as big a jerk in everyday life as he seems on TV. Logan's a good guy. No. He's not a jerk at all. He's actually very nice. We went through this with, uh, who was it? Jordan Power. We went through this with Jordan Power. It's like what you guys see on TV compared to having face-to-face -face conversations with people, entirely different. Like, Logan likes talking trash and having fun with it, but. Yeah. But he's not really talking trash to his opponent. He's talking yeah. trash to himself the whole time. Yeah. I mean, the second the cameras went off, went to commercial break, he you know, dabbed him up and gave him congratulations. So he shot great. So yeah. but that's stuff you guys don't see at home, but definitely get it. Logan's very high energy, high emotion all the time. So that's what you're seeing. It's not him being a jerk or anything. It's just yeah. him being in his feels. That's why I don't have feels. 
Cold as ice. <laughs> Cold as that ice bath you're going to jump in? Ten cents per cube. Two to two here. For some reason, I feel like oh. this one is another mid-20 round matchup. Ryan taking a second thought right there before he threw that bag. Gore going up. Look at that. Good shot right there. He's not messing around. He did not get gored this time. <laughs> Yeah, this one's probably gonna go another 30 rounds. Blaine Rozier and his mustache in the background, in it for the long haul. <laughs> Back there hanging out, playing in Super Hole last night. He looked like he was having a good time. I see Katie Bartell with her hood up behind Ryan Windsor there in the shoulder. That usually means nap time. Although it is chilly in here. Definitely colder today than it has been. It's The weather is a very big change from what we've seen all week. It's been sunny and nice out today. It's rainy and cold. Ones are looking to go in here for four. They will not go in. The hesitation, maybe thinking about that a little bit too much. Going to get two. There's Blaine. <laughs> He's like, you got me in the middle of snacking on some corn nuts. Come on now, why you gotta do me dirty like that? <laughs> Wonder what flavor he's eating. Got to try the ranch ones this weekend. How'd you like them? Not bad, not bad. I stuck with the Seagram's instead of the corn nuts. While I was in the backyard.com area over there. I double dipped just like you are with the sponsor reads. Kudos to <laughs> us. <laughs> Yeah, everything down the middle and in. Let's go. More Seagram 7 for us. Cheers. Oh, we got more eating going on. Everybody's hungry. Everybody's snacking. Got Mason Look Trader. <laughs> Mason Trader on the other side, snacking as well. JBJ right to behind the, the board, yep. snacking. It's Can't that see time. him because let's see the flight cam. That'll get JBJ over there eating. Mama Gore over there on the bleachers as well. Yep. Making me hungry. I was going to say, I was fine for a little bit. I never ate my breakfast that you fought for in the McDonald's drive through <laughs> Argument. I was like, are we really fighting over 70 cents, lady? <laughs> oh, what a great bag by Jake. Not doing what he wanted it to. There you go, Caleb Smoot says, talked so much about Bush's baked beans this weekend, having some dinner tonight. Let's go. That's right. Enjoy those beautiful beans. Good pop on that one. Does not get the love around the rim, though. Going hard at it again. Gets one of his to fall. I don't know what happened right there. One of his fell. Let's take a look at Justin Burton Jr. They're chomping. <laughs> <laughs> Mid shot. We're getting, we're getting the chew cam. Look, there's Gabe. He's back yeah, there. Mason Trader in yeah. the background as well, chomping down. <laughs> right next to Gabriel. This is the this is the Landon's like, I'm now. getting out of here. Before <laughs> 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 they catch me. Oh, that's funny. Ryan just took down Mark. Ryan Windsor, Mark Richards. That was a while ago. Wasn't it? Yeah, that was early. They played early in the bracket. I mean, this has been a tough route. We talked about how stacked this bracket is. Let's take a look at their routes to get here. C bracket. Jake Gore came in as your number one seed, then defeated Austin Cameron 22 to 16. Took down wow. Rich McKee 24 to five, and then 26 to 10 over Landon Bass. 22 to 16 over Alex Rawls to get to this point. Brian Windsor over on the other side, comes as your two seed. Let's take a look at this shot real quick though. Jacob Gore, another airmail. 
Ooh, just perfect Ryan timing. Windsor got out of the way just in time <laughs> with that airmail. He almost got clipped in the back of the head. <laughs> 25 to 7 over Paul Avila. 24 to 14 over Mark Richards. Then 21 to 6 over Gavin Hammond. And then defeating Hunter Thorne 21 to 9 to get to this point. <laughs> Take a look at Mace. We got everybody else on the camera. Let's take a look at Mace in there in the background chomping now. Yep, there he is. We got to get everybody just chomping. There, there we go. Is. Oh, come on, Jake, get Jake your head out of the way. way. dude. <laughs> Trying to show people eating. That's what people are tuning in to see. Everybody, everybody in the comments is always like, these guys don't talk about the game. They only talk about food. That's why. Because Cornell players throw bags and eat food. <laughs> right in front of us. People want to know. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky right there. Jake getting around those bags. All right, now that, now that Jacob's out of the way, now we can probably get Mason. There he is. There he He's is. He's not eating anymore, though. <laughs> Look at that jersey he's got on, though. Look what you done did now, oh truck. It's a nice jersey. See, I, I baited them, and they fell for it, Allison. You got all these cameras going around about food, and I just wanted to get another shot. Whoopsie. Sorry. Another <laughs> Whoopsie. shot of the jersey. Oh, you're going to move it. The walk of shame. I guess it's only the walk of shame if it's your own bag, right? Yeah. I didn't know whose bag it was, so just rolling with it. <laughs> we also drink an ignorant amount of beer. This is true. No, not beer. Secret from Sevens. I think Mark's, Mike's Hard Lemonades. Yeah. That one kicked too far to the right, so... Big round here for Gore. I believe that's a oh. five spot. Ryan Trader took Mark out of the tournament. Mark Richards done. Is Ryan Trader in C bracket also? I'm not sure. All right, let's take a look at the losers bracket here. Alex Rawls, Stephen Burnisett, Jordan Power. Ryan Trader did take down Mark Richards and there Hunter Thorne. How about that losers bracket? Mm-hmm. Ouchie. So Ryan Trader's plan to win four opens is still by Vegas is still alive. I don't remember Ryan did Ryan Windsor used to step? He went back and forth. He tried it for a little bit. He did uh, not like the result of it. I don't remember seeing that. He is not he, he liked the way that Ryan Trader, Mark Richards, some of these other players were stepping towards the hole and he tried dabbling with it, stepping like back around the red zone and then planting up near the front of the board. I think this is a good hybrid right now. He kind of steps mm. and foot fouled right there. Yeah, so that was a foot foul right yeah, there. Yeah, foot fouled right there. As soon as I was going to talk about how this is a good hybrid of <laughs> him to basically <laughs> plant his foot and keep the other one in step there. All right, let's see. We got some more. We got some more food cam happening. Alan Rawls over there, eat some nachos. We'll get we'll get that on it. Oh yeah, there he's he is. Let's get him. We got to we got to keep we got to keep the food cam going. Food cam <laughs> brought to you by Miller's Ale House. Everybody is wanting to watch cornhole action. They're trying to eat, drink, and stay a while, and we're getting it all to you guys on coverage here. Yeah. You're not safe. You're, You're not, not safe, safe anywhere. If you are in this room, you are not safe from these cameras. They will find you. Leaving. Our tilt on that one. What a roll shot there from Jacob Gore. Able to get over the top on it. Oh, hard push slick side. Nice cleanup. In to give up two. On to give up four. That is going to be the yep. four that he needed to take that one down. 
Let's go to some replays here to check out these great shots. But first, Alan, Alan Rawls over there chopping. some lunch. Come on, Alan, take a bite. You know you want to. <laughs> Look at this roll shot right here from Jacob Gore. Able to get that one to go in. When we come back, chat. More King Scene action heading over to the A bracket. Jeremiah Hector will take on Brayden Wilson whenever we come back. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Nuts. No, no. What platter's nuts is not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Goes the top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and Seagram hits it! What a shot! Welcome back, Cornhole fans. We're here at court number one where we're going to see Jeremiah Hector and Braden Wilson get set and ready to do battle here for the A bracket king seat. Having a good time. I'm by myself. We got uh, Allison. She she gone. She gone. She, she's avoiding the snack cam at all cost. But we are having some good time. I do indeed want an ice bath, but you guys have to pay for it. Ten cents per ice cube. We never clarified how many ice cubes had to be in an ice bath, so I'll allow it. We will find you, Allison. No matter where you are eating, we got you. All right, let's take a look at the brackets and see where we're at. Heading over to the A bracket. Jeremiah Hector and Braden Wilson set and ready to battle right here. We look in the loser's bracket to see who's left alive. Jimmy Humans right now on court four, up 14 to three over Trey Baker. On the other side over here, we have Devin Harbaugh. He is up, oh no, he's down, sorry. Jeremy Shermerhorn, 11 to four right there. B bracket king seat match on deck. Fisher Hamilton will take on Ethan Walker. And then the D bracket king seat, Gavin Cano underway on court 10 against Zach Aiken. We are set and ready to go. We'll move the cameras back down to court number one for the spin. Braden Wilson wins it. Here we go. Jeremiah Hector, Braden Wilson. You guys are terrible. Well, hey, we hey, really hey, do. I can't, I, re I really can't on? get away from the cameras. There's camera everywhere. I don't know. I'm just trying, trying to eat my breakfast that I never got to eat and not on camera. Jeez. Everybody wanted Jeremiah Hector. Here you go. Great run for him here. You guys aren't hearing it, but Corey thinks that that was funny. But I don't think that that was very funny. I know. We can't have we can't have eat, drink, and stay a while if we don't show people eating. There's plenty of other people, all right. 
Look who, like the girl in the background right there who doesn't even know what's going to happen to her in a second? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I knew it was coming. That's why I tried hiding under the table, and you still found me. Let's take a look at this replay. Early 5 nothing start here for Braden Wilson. Up top for the airmail. Hits that first one clean and again fires himself up. By the way, I'm loving the music today. Truck. You hear music? Not currently, no, but when we come in and out of break. Did Windsor beat that kid that foot fouls and listens to Cardi B? <laughs> Are they talking about Gore? <laughs> if that is who you're speaking of, then that would be a no. Let's go through the loser brackets of the other that we've got going on right now. Alex Hicks, court seven down, 11 to seven to Brandon Martinez. Peter's hopping all over the place. Jackson Remick Is waiting that me? for the. Huh? Oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> no, I said my computer's hopping all over the place. It's well, like I'm shaking glitchy. my leg, so normally uh, y'all are yelling at me to stop yeah. it. Connectivity issues, connectivity issues. Gotcha, my bad. But uh, who did I say? Jackson Remick waiting for the winner of that one. Loser side of bracket C, Ryan Windsor, Hunter Thorne, Ryan Trader. Burn is set up 11 to 8 <laughs> over Jordan Power. Hunter Thorne up 6 to 2 over Ryan Trader. Alex Rawls over there as well. D bracket, Damon Dennis waiting for his next opponent, Logan Chamberlain, or Moses Sesueda. That right now is 14 to 12, Chamberlain in the lead there. And that's it, those are all the players that are in it. If you're looking for somebody else, you don't hear their name, they she gone. are gone. Braden Wilson, what a start to this season for this youngster. We knew last year that there was gonna be big things in his future. Hi. Just waving to, waving to the camera mid-match here. <laughs> Having a good time. <laughs> 13 0 here. Braden Wilson just trucking along. Four rounds in, 13 points. Jeremiah Hector playing very, very well to get to this point. A little bit of a stinker here to start. 22 to 16 for him against Dylan Turpin in his first match. 22 to eight over Eric Davis. Wow. 23 to 16 over Jeremy Shermerhorn, and then 24 to 11 over Jimmy Humans. Pretty stacked field to get here. Oh, my breakfast was cold. It's been here, I don't even know what time it is. Been here for about four hours. <laughs> Deb Odom, women's doubles champ for the weekend. Her and Isabella. <laughs> Trying to get the wave going. Look, we, we scared everyone away. Everyone's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not hanging around court one if you can get us chomping on food. Blaine, he's not scared. He's still over there. The his camera bro. ready with his cheetah pants. straight out of one of my dad's 80s films. Right. Talk about Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> Good old VHS days. <laughs> <clears throat> Going up and Big gets the hit. drag. This oh one's got to wow. be in or it's over. Slick side down, able to get that one to go. But man, Jeremiah Hector cannot get started. Braden Wilson, dominant so far. 20 to nothing up top. Bang! Hits it, hmm. knows it. Getting so excited. If 
fires up a blocker. Round number six, 20 to nothing. 11.2 PPR against a 7.2 wow. PPR. 10 on 5, 12 on 9, 12 on 7, 10 on 7, 12 on 8. <laughs> Jeremiah Hector's first match here on the live feed court yet to get started. William's girlfriend in the chat saying they're supposed to be camo. Sorry, they're not. <laughs> they look cheat. Don't they look cheetah print from over here? They, they look cheetah print from here, Leah. He told me he was going to be wearing blue today, last night, so. Switched it up. Awkward knuckles. Game is over. Braden <laughs> you don't even got to throw that man. I already won. Hits the airmail just for <laughs> grins. Well, that is going to do it. Wow. Braden Wilson showing us something this weekend. If you guys are late to the party, you're missing out. When we come back, more king seat action. I believe it's going to be Fisher Hamilton taking on his Pokemon. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Oh, nuts. No, no. What planters nuts is not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because planters nuts are good. Planters nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Goes way up top and hits it! What? He knows it goes up top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and... Welcome back, Cornhole fans. We are here at the Ilario Center in West Wego, Louisiana. Look at that shot right there, Allison. I feel like that's the one thing I didn't get to do this weekend is go on some boat rides and tour the swamps and stuff like that. But beautiful scenery around the West Wego, Louisiana area. Open number 13, winding down, single Sunday action. King seat matches going on here on court number one. And then over there on court number 10 as well. Gavin Cano underway on court number 10, up six to one over Zach Aiken. First here on court number one, Fisher Hamilton squaring off against Ethan Walker. This should be a pretty fun one, Allison. I agree. I think every time they do a roll shot, we should take a swig of some Seagram 7 or some Mike's Heart lemonade. What do you think? Yep. Sounds good to me. There's a good look over there at uh, Gavin Cano. 
On court number 10, taking on Zach Aiken. If only the scoreboards were the other way. Well, that's good. I like the way it's at right now. It's Gavin's got a nice jersey on there. You can take a look at that jersey there from Gavin Cano. <laughs> Team K9 member, just absolute battle between him and Jeremiah Ellis. I feel I feel absolutely terrible for Gavin Cano that he still is unable to get his singles title, but I mean, it was just a great matchup. Fell just a little bit short. Had one or two bags that kind of got away from him. If it weren't for those one or two bags, I think Gavin Cano is your first national champion. I firmly believe he will get his. His pro doubles partner right here, Fisher Hamilton, taking on Ethan Walker. Everything down the middle and in. <coughs> Ethan, a breakout player this year. <laughs> Talking to Ethan yesterday, he got mad at me because Alec was Alec was rocking the logo on his jersey. He came up to me, he's like, "Dude, I had an extra spot." I was like, <laughs> "Dude, you have my number." <laughs> <laughs> like the phone works both ways, man. You can't blame me. You mean you didn't call <laughs> Ethan Walker to see? I was like, Connie's gonna be mad at you. Con I know Connie's in the chat. Connie, where you at? Say hello. She's always watching. Yeah, down to the final few players. If you guys are just tuning in, A Bracket, Braden Wilson in the king seat, Kyle Malone, Jeremiah Hector, Jimmy Humans, Trey Baker, Devin Harbaugh, Jeremy Shermerhorn still left alive. Loser bracket? Yep. B bracket, we got our loser my loser semifinal, it looks like. Uh, on deck, Jackson Remick and Alex Hicks. Hunter Thorne in the lead over Ryan Trader, 13 to nine. Over there on court number nine, Stephen Bernisette, 16 to 13 over Jordan Power. Fisher getting around that bag pretty easily. Ethan trying to take it in. Oh, just missed the hole there. Good oh, clean up for Ethan. Three bags on the final shot to put a couple points <laughs> on the board, and just like that, we are underway. Two nothing. Someone said Ethan's. Oh, it's Jakey Poo. Ethan's city strings are longer than his legs. They're double the size of yours, then, bud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Danny calling for a 30 round game, he says. What'd you say Jake was up to the other day? 45 inches? Yep, when you measured him last? Inches, yeah. Getting up there. Windsor just lost a game. Where's Windsor at? C bracket, waiting for Even his C. opponents. Just lost the king seat match to there Jacob Gore, so he's got a while to wait. He will finish no worse than third in his bracket. Chad says Fisher looks a little leaner. Good job, Fisher. Fisher does. Jake said if he's 45 inches, then you're 44.5. Mm -hmm. Walter. Miss mm -hmm. uh, Kathy, I did get my jersey signs last night by uh, Cooks. That was awesome. Hamilton just going in. Let's see if Ethan can get that back. I'm pretty sure it's still moving. There it goes, falls in. Good collect there from Ethan Walker. Oh, just enough of that one to drip <laughs> back in. Nicely done there by Ethan Walker, putting a couple more on the board. 
making it four to one. Ethan Walker looking for his second title of the season. Winning in Henrico, Virginia. Enrico. Henrico, actually. Henrico. Henrico. Ryan Trader coming back, 14 to 12 now. Hunter Thorne in the lead. Damon Dennis up 6-0 over Logan Chamberlain. Update on the D bracket King seat match. Gavin Cano 15 to 1 over Zach Aiken. Nice rollover right there. And another. Can he get it for four? Nope, only gonna pick up two. Shot here from Fisher in round seven, a little bit too far to the right, not necessarily out of play just yet. Ooh. Good job there, kind of spinning it, making it a harder collect. It's not gonna stop Fisher from going Matt after Mayer. it. Ooh, hard Mayer. tilt at the very Mayer. end, nicely Mayer. done. Can he do that again? This is your two minute warning. Bag landed in the glare on my screen. I don't even know where it's at. Did it go in the <laughs> hole or off the board? It's right in front of the hole. No, the one not Ethan's the one. Oh my goodness, is it moving? It's gonna go. I think it is still moving. It's I can hear go. resin pellets falling. It was definitely still moving. Good shot there from Fisher Hamilton, able to get that one in the back of the red zone. Seven three. No Ellis. We had Jeremiah Ellis on the uh, court here earlier. He's looking for his second singles title, Edward. To clarify, he almost swept the weekend. He did? Out there. Did he? In yeah. Virginia? Yeah, he had Windsor in the blind draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all blend wow, together. that is weird. Slick side down, <laughs> lifted the bag up, then it folded on top like a hamburger. <laughs> Going hard at it. Yikes. This round is falling apart here for Fisher Hamilton. Ethan looking to cut around here for a possible 12 on two. Fisher's final shot right here just to kind of save points this round. Slick side into the pile, gets everything to fall. Nicely done, but missed the push the round before that. Keeps the damage to three points only. Here's a look at Ethan's Relect. Right to left, getting that one. Then Fisher's final shot wow, at the end. A nice that. little three for one. Yes, Jake, I know I was there. Do you know how many cornhole tournaments I've been to this year? They all start to mush together. Fisher looked off balance. We've seen this before. The mannerisms from Fisher Hamilton starting to fall apart. <laughs> it's a hard darn it from Ethan. Too hard on that one. Fisher not happy with it, but he launched that thing. <laughs> nice cut bag there by Fisher. <clears throat> Need that uh, lower third scoreboard there to cover up some lion jams. <laughs> Ethan up 10 to three over Fisher. All right, if we could please have Buddy Hurt to court number 19, please. Let's see if we got some score 19. updates. Looks like Devin Harbaugh finishes off Shermer Horn, so now he would get Kyle Malone on court two. Jimmy Humans finishes off Trey Baker as well. Hunter 
Thorne and Ryan Trader having a battle. 26 rounds now, 18 wow. 14. Hunter Thorne in the lead. Burn is set, finishes off Jordan Power. He will now take on Alex Rawls. And got a little soapy here. This could be a huge round. Can't tell whose back that is on the far right, but fish are in here for a big round. Let's take a look at this again. Oh, that was Ethan's bag off the side. So huge round with the bar of soap right there to boot. Foot stays planted, fist comes pumping. We're tied 10 10. What a great shot that was. I'm going to have to talk to the players to refrain from hitting cool shots in the middle of my bracket breakdown. <laughs> Perfect rollover for Fisher. Ethan with a replace. Another roll for Fisher. Nice cover. Now we got a bar of soap attempt the other way. Six side down into the pile, misses it. Off the board he goes. Plus three Lead for change. Fisher Hamilton. for Fisher is in. Ethan does the same thing. 12 rounds in so far. PPR check. 10.27 for Fisher. Solid 10 for Ethan Walker. 10 total four baggers between the two. Hunter Thorne finishes off Ryan Trader 22 to 16. It's been a while since we've heard anything out of Hunter Thorne. He's kind of quiet, quiet guy. Yeah. Quiet fella. In for two. Ethan starting off the round. Fisher was still getting some water, drying his hands off. Now he's ready. <laughs> Could you imagine Fisher out here throwing in a Speedo? No. Mm -mm. I don't know why you'd want to. Someone says that's what he needs to start doing. Let me guess. You read Adam Deere's comment? Of course. Sounds like something he would say. Of course. I'll leave, I'll leave Adam Deere. I told you not to read Adam Deere's comments. They're kind of funny. They need to sell cornhole pants for people like Fisher that like to show off a little leg, get them a little tighter. No one needs to see that. Just wear tighter pants. I still want to invent my shorts with the one side speedo, one side baggy. One side speedo or one side sp like spandex, like biker same shorts thing. or something. Yeah, same thing. But, but we're going to have like a, a leg on it. It's not going to be yeah, like Yeah, no, it's like a biker short. Like it's okay, there we go. Biker gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> not, like a, not like a diver. <laughs> is that, <laughs> that's is that like, like half no. diaper, half shorts. Yeah, no, different, different <laughs> speedo. Yeah. He needs to wear the Borat suit. <laughs> That's no. Please yeah, chat, no. Chat's cut off. <laughs> chat's cut off. That's a no. Fisher unable to go slick side down to collect that one. 13 to 12, no longer. Ethan's going to get himself a lead change here. 
16 to 13. Going blocked, but Ethan's bag falls anyway. <laughs> Not happy with that bag at all. He said, wow. Fish cutting around, rolling over. Looking to get some points here, possibly. Good rolls. He's going slick side. He's going to try and grab that bag and take both of his in. Oh. Yeah, put a little tilt on it. Doesn't get it to go over. He's not happy with that one. It, That's a wash. He missed his landing spot, though. He hit that pile first. This is the king seat game of bracket B. Winner of this will be sitting pretty, needing to be double dipped. Hanging. In for two for Fisher. And he is able to go in to collect those two. Give you guys a score update over there in bracket D's king seat match. Gavin Cano takes it down 21 to 8. Zach Aiken heading over to the loser's bracket. He's waiting for his next opponent. Right now, Damon Dennis in the lead. 17 to 6 over Logan Chamberlain. In bracket C, Alex Rawls up 5-2 to two over Steven Bernisette. And then over in the A bracket, Kyle Malone 7-6 to six over his pro partner, Devin Harbaugh. Winner of that one will get Jimmy Humans. Good roll there from Fisher. Braden Wilson is sitting in the king seat of bracket A. We had that here on the uh, streaming court a little while back. So he will need to be double dipped. Interesting the way that bag fell in the hole. It's on its edge. We'll see if it affects anything. It will, and this is going to be interesting to how this plays off. I don't believe Fisher's bag is touching. They're going to rake it. What? I believe when they rake it, Fisher's bag is going to be held up there. Here comes Yeti. Yeti will do the raking. Yeti Irwan with the pro committee. Yep, she rakes it and Fisher's bag is held up. It's a great shot we got there going on. There we go. Let's go back to some eating. Nice jersey there on the <laughs> Ryan Trader. <laughs> Everywhere. They really are everywhere. Hey, Zach needs to eat. Leave him alone. Could roll there for Fisher. Our next game will be Jackson Remick and Alex Hicks after this one. Oh, wow, what a pop. Hard to see on this angle, but that is two bags high. Big yeah. shot there from Ethan Walker. And he might be setting himself up in position here for the win. Fisher's got a good opportunity here to get some points. If he can push through this accurately. If he misses, that could be all over.
What will Fisher do? WWFD. <laughs> Catch your bracelets. Looks like side down back is away. That was low. I don't even know what just happened. Two bags went off the back. Two bags went flying. I believe they're both Fishers, and yep. I think that's it. It is going to be great, it. Great, great shot. Ethan's looking at us like, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to figure it out as they enter the scores. <laughs> I believe that is it. That is it. Ethan Walker's going to take that one down. Wow. So there you go. Another king seat has been decided. Ethan Walker takes that one down over Fisher Hamilton. Fisher Hamilton heading to the loser's bracket. So we got our king seat set. Gavin Cano in D bracket. Jacob Gore in C bracket. Bracket B belongs to Ethan Walker. And bracket A belongs to Braden Wilson. Be right back. Life's most memorable moments. They can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planet's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. Cornhole is more than a game. It is a battle of skill and precision. And when the game is on the line, you need a bag you can trust. With Lucky Bags, our Surefire and Pro Sniper bags are designed for all players and those who demand the best. Our lineup of Lucky Bags are made of the finest materials and built to perform with precision and accuracy. Get your Lucky Bags today and experience the bags that champions use. Visit LuckyCornhole.com to order now. Throw like a champion, throw lucky. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planters Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, uh, nuts. Because Planters Nuts are good. Planters Nuts. Ah, nuts. Welcome back, everyone. Coming to you from West Wego, Louisiana. We apologize for the tugboat. We had a child back here, you know, trying to learn the ropes and accidentally pushed a button. But we're going to run that replay for you really quick so you can see what happened. Here it is. All right, here we go. Here's the, f there, there you go. I should go in to check it out. Ethan back there trying to figure out how many points he's going to get. By the way, we're not going to let any more children back here pushing buttons. We're going to keep them off of the, uh, the risers. All right, here's... Here's what you guys didn't see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, the kid is back. He's, everybody's fired. <laughs> I will remind all of you that I'm not touching any of these buttons. 
Let's go down to the courts, please. That kid messed up everything. Sorry, guys. Mm. You know, that's what happens when you don't double check your work, kids. <laughs> Look at this. There you go. See that? See those guys? If you see them anywhere, go ahead and give them a boo. All right, back to the game. You guys will never see that shot ever. Already nine to two here in this game. <laughs> as far as tugboats go, that seemed to be a nice one. <laughs> We're definitely blaming it on the kid. They can't hear you, kid. All right, Alex on block here. Not sure what Jackson was trying to do with that. He's looking over at the cameras, trying to see what's going on with that board, see if he can get any of his bags to fall. And he does, but his bag in hand goes off the back of the board. All right, I'm back. Just got done driving my tugboat. Mm. You, you missed a good one, Walter, let me tell you. Everybody missed a good one. Twice, yeah. We, we did a replay, and we watched <laughs> the whole situation from, you know. <laughs> we even watched Ethan's last bag. We watched the timeout. I let him know, all right, this is what you missed. Mm -hmm. Tugboat, again. <laughs> Another tugboat. So, just goes to show you should always double check your work. Well, that's what happens whenever before you're... Before you turn it into the teacher. <laughs> that's what happens whenever you're out of tires. You switch over to boats. <laughs> it's the only, only way you can travel. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a wash. Truck falling apart. Turned into a barge. Barely floating down the river. There's nothing we can do in the bayou. And I tried tried telling them that that child was back here. They pushed a button. We're, <laughs> we're going to fix it. You could see it now. And then the same thing happened. And I was like, all right, Hanging y'all out to dry. These are the guys that did it. I mean, we were talking about how lame the chat's been. You guys have been quiet today. We had to do <laughs> something to get you guys chirping. <laughs> that, those were probably the best comments I've ever seen in the chat. We're going to have to do that more often. Just go to tugboats <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of big shots. I was talking to Hunter Thorne over there a second ago. Fisher was over behind him. I said, I don't even know what happened on that final <laughs> shot, but I said, if you would have made the most amazing shot in the world and I was still talking through it, like... And chat never got to see it. That would have been awesome. And it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, that. That one might come back. I, I don't know. He it is a mercenary, and its slick side's pretty giving. He popped it up and didn't it even hit I'm his not throwing this. other one hanging. I think, he's, yeah. I think he's calling timeout. I don't think he's giving it up yet. He's taking one right now. Is it worth it for another one? Get first throw. What are you going to do, Alex? Shout out to Jennifer Ingleton and the chat. Well, not really talking, but she's like texting her husband over there. I saw you eating on the live feed. <laughs> he is going to take the one point. <laughs> All right, there we go. Not going to throw that bag. Going to take the one point. That's and shame, first throw. That's a shame. We had a pretty nice tugboat lined up for that shot. <laughs> Never gonna live that one down, Corey. And Chase, both of you. Yeah. 
So that's uh, two weekends in a row that Corey has uh, caused a stink. <laughs> Why does he have his bag in his hand when he took the time out? Because that's what he wanted to do. That is allowed. <clears throat> Electing not oh, to go after that, that bag in front, leaves it there. He's giving Jackson fits right now with a 10-3 lead. Got that hanger too. Taking a look over at the monitor. Bag is a way nice. able to cut that one in nicely done. What a good bag. Good adjustment. But 10 to 5. Let's take a look at this one. Hicks was not too far away from bringing that back bag in. Up top, hits it. Wizard L left hanging there. Could have been a huge round. Jackson Remick has a chance at a college championship. Alex Hicks will never have one. <laughs> New name when you push out the pile, the tugboat. <laughs> Going up. Another air mill. Oh, just hits it a little bit too far. He's got him dialed in. He's just not getting him to fall. No bounce on that one at all. Just hit the board and stuck. All right, bracket update time. A bracket, Braden Wilson in the king seat. Jeremiah Hector waiting for either Jimmy Humans, Kyle Malone, or Devin Harbaugh. Devin Harbaugh in the lead, 20 to 13. Again, last time he was in this building, took down the singles title. Ethan Walker has the king seat. Fisher Hamilton waiting for the winner of this match. C bracket, Jacob Gore in the king seat. Ryan Windsor waiting for the winner of our next match. That's Hunter Thorne or Alex Rawls. And then in D bracket, Gavin Cano in the king seat. His opponent will either be Damon Dennis or Zach Aiken. Ouch, that's going to be four for Alex. That sound in the background. Cards coming in. Merch booth going down. Boards getting picked up. Yeah, this is the uh, the first time this year that we've had the monitors out here where the players can see the other board. So that's uh, what they're looking at. Sometimes it kind of looks like they're mean mugging their opponent, which is kind of funny. Looks side down for that one, pushed into the pile. Hicks bag still sitting there on the rim. Now we're looking for a cover. Ends up on its side. He wanted that more into the pile, so there is still kind of a lane here that Jackson might be able to get both bags. He throws his pushes low. And he is only able to get the one to fall. The one on the left stays there. Next time we're looking at a hard push, we're going to have to switch that camera angle to get that trajectory because it is low. Right there into the pile. Nicely done. A little two-for-one trade. One of the third. It does not move. <laughs> Looks over at the TV like, did it go? Come on. Come on. No love. Yeah, it doesn't change if you look at the TV. Still the same shot. You just get. He got to watch it, though, because they're a little delayed. Oh, they are live? They're live. Just kidding. Got that Wonka vision going on. Ooh, 
real time. Big leagues now, Allison. We're in the big leagues. Yeah. We Kevin are. Harbaugh takes down Kamalu. Okay. Match only went 18 rounds. Neither player really throwing that great. And with 9.06 and 8.44. Finished off with a 10 on five, then a nine on five. <laughs> I was expecting the boat again before the punch. Jake Brandon has some trivia for you guys. Three inches. Jackson Remick finished third in his advanced singles bracket at the 2023 World Championships. Who won that bracket? What was the question? Walter won. Duh. Duh. Um, the Zach Aiken game is... Zero. Yeah. Zero, two, zero. Jackson unable to finish on bag number four again. Still has the lead, though. Ten to nine. Alex Hicks trying to get back into this one. Again, Fisher Hamilton waiting for the winner here. Doesn't get that one up enough and immediately Looks like shows frustration. Jaden Ellis is out of the tournament. Don't see him in any of the brackets anymore. Someone wants to play doubles with you, Walter. New Who Hampshire. Is? No, I don't play. I don't play. He's not a player. He's a commentator. I'll be, yeah, I'll be there live streaming that one. I don't like to, whenever I do these uh, side gigs, I don't like to go and play. I feel like that's not what I'm there for. It's a lot. <clears throat> yeah, it's exhausting too. I'm a one-man show there. I don't know how you do that. I hate all my energy. Gotta go, right? I don't know how that didn't lift up. Oh my goodness. I would like to say they're going, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know at this point. These kids are good, but any chance I could see a top vote? <laughs> Love the comments. Keep them coming. Another 10 10 wash. Blaine switched to the other side of the board, huh? Yeah, that's right, Chris. That's right. Tell the world. It's a secret, actually. I was trying to not let anyone know that I win anymore. <laughs> actually, you know what? I am undefeated this weekend. How many games did you play, too? Started the third, but never finished it. Who are you playing? Gonzalez. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to finish that after the tournament or once we start winding down. Getting that bloop. I had a feeling the answer to that trivia question was Jake Brannon. <laughs> Jake's asking questions in Facebook and answering them in YouTube. 
Now you guys know how I felt whenever I was watching you guys in Canada. You should change your name in YouTube, Jake, so it looks like someone else is asking trivia questions and you're the smart guy answering them. Yeah, I at least changed my name on the YouTube <laughs> chat to not Wally Kassler. <laughs> I don't know any Jacob Brennan trivia. I got one for you. All right, at the 2023 qualifier. Oh, gosh. I was already at home. The no, final kidding. match. Oh, God. Are we going here? Was what? I said I don't know Jake Brennan trivia. I was going to I was gonna give you a pretty good one. We were hard to guess. <laughs> but never mind. If you don't want to play. Ask me a different question. Meanwhile, over here in this game, it is still 10 to 9. There's an opportunity here. If he can get it six side down, it looks like it's going to be another watch. He's just mm, unable no to collect. We'll never forget that one tournament down in Texas. Alex Hicks was taking on Ryan Windsor. At that time, they were partners. Last Alex year. Hicks, yeah. Alex Hicks was going for the... Uh, the three-peat, I believe. He was going for the sweep. Or no, he was going for his third singles title. And uh, Alex Hicks was throwing a bag. And there was an interesting situation on the board. He just walks down the other end. He starts picking bags out of the hole. We're like, what is he doing? He still had a bag to throw. <laughs> it was a championship match. Oh, remember? my gosh. He still had a bag? <laughs> yeah. We thought he was calling a timeout to go look at it. He starts picking bags out of the hole. Windsor's just like, what are you doing? There's a bag here. Oh, my so gosh. He forfeit that final bag. But <laughs> it was funny. Pulled, well, that's better than the there. alternative. Yeah, both players there looking down to make sure they were out of bags. I mean, he's lucky Windsor didn't have a bag. That would have been a terrible situation. Yes, we did broadcast Braden's king seat match. He won that game 21 to nothing. It was a quickie. Speaking of 21 to nothing, Devin Harbaugh's in the lead 6 to 4 over Jimmy Humans. Yeah, that's definitely 21 to nothing. Pretty close. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I'm chilling. Good roll there from Alex. Hunter Thorne makes his way over to the court. Hunter Thorne will take on Alex Rawls next. Are we going to see a bar of soap here? Let's go. Do it. Uh, Come on. Uh, Rolling. Roll. Going for the roll. Good roll. Takes away that left side. He's happy with the way that one looks. We're going to get a timeout here. Break I think it might time. be coin slot time. Get ready, guys. We're about to see a shot that's going to be absolutely corn nuts. <laughs> corn nuts. Crunchy corn kernels. Balls a shot, <laughs> down rolls over, doesn't get it in the spot he wants Here it. Here goes the tugboat, <laughs> says the chat. Me, me. That's what we need. Hey, now that we're on ESPN Plus, can we uh, use images of Lightning McQueen? I don't know. It'd be nice to have him come across the screen right now. Ka-chow. ka, -chow. ka -chow. For some reason, that's like trending on my TikTok algorithm. You ever seen those? Mm -mm. It's like lightning strikes twice in the middle of a baseball game. <laughs> lightning McQueen image going across the screen. Ka chow! Ka chow! <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen that. I haven't been on TikTok in a while. We just need that in Cornhole. The last time I was on TikTok, I was watching Cornhole yesterday. Lightning strikes in the middle of a Cornhole tournament. I like the way Jackson approaches every round. Just the way his little wind up and tight grip, you know. He looks like he's got. He's like, all right, is it folded? It's like, it's like warrior mode. To he's me. like, I'm gonna fold it just right. Okay, now we can throw. Uh, 
PPRs, Jackson throwing a 9.17 and Alex throwing a 9.22. Even though it's a dirty game, they've still got pretty high PPRs. Yeah, these mercenaries are just creating interesting situations here. Hicks with a hard tilt on this one, going for another cover. He's fine with that. He's already got two on the edge and one in the hole, so he's looking at possibly two points, maybe four. Final shot stays two. on the board, nothing falls. And this is one thing we didn't think about, having the monitors next to us, so they're able to look at the board and see how the round is for scoring purposes, too. Yep. It's gonna make it 13 to 10, 20 rounds in. Less timeouts needed. Harbaugh in the lead, 9-6 over humans. Damon Dennis tied 4-4 with Zach Aiken. Brackets see the tougher brackets starting to fall a little bit behind as those matches are going about 20 rounds, 30 rounds each. Yep, that's how it happens. Slick side down push here from Hicks. Gets the one on the right to go, the one on the left stays there. It's moving. I don't know if it's going to fall or not. All right, everybody, we're going to run. It yep. will. It is available. 15 to, to 10. Pay for it under Wallace. It's going to be the one and only. Good push right there. Sets up that final bag falling to make it 15. So if you want to play the sit go and you're not in any other tournaments, go to your ACO wallet and sign up for a sit go never to Going for the block bag there. Alex hitting very low on the board. Oh, Good airmail air drag. Mail. Wow. That's what you got to do to get back into it. Keeping that blocker in place. Rolls over it, retakes center position. I think the same shot here for Hicks, though. Misses his landing spot. Do we get another short airmail or will he go in clean? <coughs> Back, gonna give up another point. Yeah, misses to the left. Was trying to land a little bit short, just like this one here. Catches the corner, flips the bag right in the hole. 16 to 10, though. Hicks goes out of that with one. Mama Hammond on the background, watching nervously. Jackson's not her kid, but pretty much Pretty much her kid. T taking them ever there where they spend a lot of time together. That's why I love the signing of both of them. Jackson and Gavin pretty much partners for life. It's gonna be one of these things if Jackson and Gavin decide to be pro partners with someone else, I'd be shocked, you know? Yeah, definitely. Especially if they're already playing that much together at school. Help but think of that moment I was talking about in Texas every time I see Alex turn around to <laughs> look at the board for bags. Just want to make sure they've all been thrown. They look like they're bored. Just walking very slowly down to pick their bags up. Cut. Yeah, making it look easy. Electing to stay sticky side. He wants to leave that there. Missed the spot. He's 
taking a minute to look at it. See if he can grab either one of those bags with a push or an airmail. Going up, gets it. Nice collect. Can Jackson go in without helping Alex? Unable to get that one out there. Jackson not happy with his decision on that one. Let's take a look at this airmail drag. Just a corner is all you need if your baby goat gets the clip. 18-10. Eight-point lead as we head into round number 24, maybe. Yep. Zach Aiken in the lead, 11-4 over Damon Dennis. Devin Harbaugh takes down Jimmy Humans. He will now take on Jeremiah Hector. Alex is going to step out, try and get around these bags to take both of his. Oh, I don't hate that bag. Yeah, that's not bad. He's sitting on top. This is a long roll for Jackson, but he can't risk going off the back. If anyone can hit it, it's Jackson. He's got one of the best rolls in the country. And he does get over the pile. Kind of pins Alex on the side, but here we are again. Alex with a chance to possibly win. I like the airmail here. I do too. See what he looks to go with. The airmail drag looked really good before that bag of Jackson's. There he goes. Ouch, wrong bag in the hole. And that works for Jackson, not only because it knocks him in, but I think that roll is still there for him. Yeah. He almost hit it last time, just a little bit over, and it would have been in. If he could hit it, it's five. There He's it is. He's able to get that one. Big shot there from Jackson. Rolled over five bags. Hits the corner perfectly. Five big points on the board. Take a look at it again. Good position, good pop. Holds the pose, claps the hands. Nicely done. 18-15, gets first toss. All set up because bag number three's roll got over the pile as well. Hard push for Hicks, oh no. That is not even close to what he wanted. He's off the back of the board. Remick. This game just in. changed very quickly. This could be it, it's gotta be in. And it he is. is, we get five points there. We got ourselves a lead change. Oh my. 20 to 18, Hicks got a little bit too aggressive there. Two rounds and the game has completely flipped on its head. Crabtree in the chat. Rooting on Alex Hicks. The ceramic saying, let's go, Jax. Winthrop Cornhold. Everyone's going crazy. Lead change. Side by side here. Hicks bag is a little bit harder to collect. I think he's got to go after it now. Slick side down, he does go after it. Frees up the front. You sit right here, don't go in. He does go in, this is a difficult collect, but it is possible. Very important shot. Staying sticky side down, going for the airmail instead. Oh, He's man. not gonna do it. Alex Hicks falls in a matter of three rounds to Jackson Remick, wow. I don't like that decision from Hicks a couple rounds ago. I don't, why did he just hit the airman right there? I think he, if he would have done yeah. the slide, he would have been fine. 
We come back, more corner action, unless we go. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's planet's nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. It goes the top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and grabs hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planner's Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because Planner's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Welcome back to West Wego, Louisiana. We are getting ready to bring you Alex Rawls taking on Hunter Thorne right here. This is going to be a loser bracket game. This is a loser bracket final. Ryan Windsor actually is waiting. This is not loser final. Winner of this will go on to play Ryan Windsor. Hi. Just me by myself, no Walter currently. So yeah, this is your bracket C loser game. Hunter and Alex, winner goes on to take Ryan Windsor. And then Jacob Poor sitting in the king seat, gonna have to be double dipped. Up next, we have Jackson Rimmick and Fisher Hamilton on deck. Are we getting a battery for the tablet? All right. The tablet has died on us. She gone. That's good. We needed some time to talk about our sponsors. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. A lot of stuff on that website you can have fun. Those chairs were comfortable. I was thinking about that. Bush's Bean Company, that beautiful bean company. Who doesn't like a saucy sheriff, right, Chase? <laughs> Seagram 7, the number one American blended whiskey. Can't forget corn nuts, those crunchy corn kernels. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Nobody makes lemonade like Mike's. Drink responsibly. There's Gavin Cano with that nice jersey on. Not a sponsor. Can't talk about K9 Unit. We're not allowed to. Not going to even say K9 Unit. Miller's Ale House. Eat, drink, stay a while. All Cornhole. Closing down the booth. Check them at allcornhole.com from your backyard to your pro journey. Allcornhole.com has you covered. And of course, lucky bags. Throw like a champion. Throw lucky. Mike in the background trying to trying to fix the tablet. They're gonna go down and back one more time. Trying to get us up and running again so we can continue to bring you this coverage. Hold on, I feel like I gotta contribute to what to Allison's doing there. 
Get, you got to get under the table so they can't <laughs> see you. Sometimes you just need some sour patch candy. Always. To get you going. That's the best kind, the sour kind. I think it's fair that they to save all the corn nuts for the ESPN stage. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we need some over here at the ESPN Plus stage. I guess we would be here in the crunching in the microphones, but still. <laughs> if we were to eat them, yes. We could have some over here for everyone else to enjoy. It's a long day without snacking, man. We got a snack. What's chat say? Anything important? I don't know. I got brackets up. Bracket C was stacked. Rookie wants us to bring back the boat. Who won the Alex Is the boat this game? year's cone? Alex Hicks lost his game. Who in the chat remembers the cone? I spent $200 to have the best hairstyle possibly, and I get overshadowed by a cone. <laughs> <laughs> Although I got a compliment from Stacy, so I guess it was worth it. That's all that matters. All what right, boss here we go. Man thinks. They got it figured out. We are ready to roll. Hunter Thorne starting things off over here on this side against Alex Rawls to our left. Alex's first shot to begin the game is a blocker that's too far to his lane. On court number two, Devin Harbaugh starting against Jeremiah Hector. They're at zeros. Damon Dennis in the lead, 12 to 11 over Zach Aiken. Jackson Remick and Fisher Hamilton to do battle next. Right here on the live stream, that is what we'll be bringing you next. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? It's holding. It all depends on if that Damon Dennis match finishes. You never know on how long to hold a Damon Dennis match, you know. True, my goodness. Very true. You never hold a Damon Dennis match, ever. He's up 12 to 11 right now over Zach Aiken, so if that uh, finishes before this one does, we'll probably get that championship match here. Oh, yeah, because that other one's a loser game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I'm on the same page with you now. The way Bracket C is a little bit behind, we'll probably be able to get them both. Oh, Ooh, no. Wow. A little bit too excited on that one. Adrenaline fires it right <laughs> off the back of the board. Cannot get excited in moments like that. That is what we call rushing it. Goes in, takes Alex with him. That's a wash. That's a wash. Man, these vendors, I heard they were allowed to tear down at three. They are putting in work. Three o'clock Eastern time, sure. I guess if they didn't specify which time zone. I'm gonna have to reach out to Tide. See if they <laughs> want to sponsor washes. That's a wash brought to you by Tide. If you can't score, you might as well wash. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Yeah, everything down the middle there and in. Cheers, Allison. Seagram Seven Toast. Yes, sir. For uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade Social. See how I mixed everything up there? Very, very good. There was one moment this weekend where I was like, I don't know if Mike's Hard Lemonade is sponsoring the double four bag or not, as I'm holding the four bagger sign <laughs> in my hand. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you're an idiot, Wally. <laughs> 
Look at them over there. They're having fast walking races on the bleachers. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys when I win the lottery, but there's going to be signs. <laughs> and Corey's going to hate every second of it. Oh, uh, yeah? Let's go Rawls. Push into the pile and gets one to go. Three to nothing lead here to start this one off for Hunter Thorne. We are not live on our broadcast anywhere with that game, the bracket A game. Someone is, though. It looks like maybe uh, Jeremiah Hector might be live over there. There's a phone going. Let's see Tornado. So, is it Tornado? Yeah. Where's he at? It's sitting down by the far right. side. Go check out Tornado. I think J-Mo's live also. There you go. A couple get, of options. Give, oh, give, oh give you're talking about the other side. Yeah, give give J-Mo some love. He's having a good day. I think she wants to watch Harbaugh. Yeah. Who's that, Shelby? No. No, she's here, right? Yeah. And again, another push there for Rawls. Just not getting any love. Let's see how this plays out. What do you do here? Try and. I think it's worth a coin slot he's attempt. He's going slick side. Oh, he is going into oh, it. Look at he got a double bar of soap there. Let's see how wow. this round finishes, but able to push them both on the edge. Alex, uh, not sure what he wants I to think, do. I think he can go up here. I think so, too. There he is. Up top. Oh, oh my no. goodness. It just stops like Velcro. And Hunter Thorne's going to get four face. points out of this round. Everybody's jaw drops. Everybody just watching. What a round. Nobody can believe what they just saw. Let's take a look at this again. Two bags sitting in the front. The double bar of soap. Two for one special there for Hunter Thorne. Look at him. Do you see a little smirk afterwards? Like, <laughs> what are you going to do nothing. now? It's funny. Alex off to the left. Hunter looking to pick up some more points. Roll around, not getting it. Bags are not going Alex's way right now. In to just give up four. Alex struggling. It's a few bad breaks, a few missed shots, and a little bit of luck from Hunter right now. 11 nothing lead, eight rounds in. So we sting over to the right-hand side. Little teaser block. Trying to block behind right there. Hits it a little too much. Zach Aiken now takes the lead 15 14, round 22 against Damon Dennis. Arbo up 6 1 over Hector. Where's your Tide commercial at, Molly? That's a wash. I gotta hop on the horn. That's a wash. Joe K is not still in. I don't even remember seeing him today. Let's see. Another miss there for Rawls. Rawls just leaving him hanging right now. And another fourth bag missed, just sitting on the red zone. Giving up 15 big points. to nothing. Wow, Rawls just can't get anything to fall right now.
Side by side action here in round number 10. Hunter pushes his side. Six side down push. Knocks in Hunter and goes off the board. Takes Hunter with him. Well, he's chance to wash out the round. He's got to finish these two final shots though. Nine for Hunter. Nine for Alex. And there it is, Zach Aiken takes down Damon Dennis. So Gavin Connell will take on Zach Aiken for the championship in D bracket. Oh, there's Joe. Found him, of course, in bracket D. Um, he lost to Damon Dennis. And then in the loser bracket. Finally going to get on the board here. Four point swing there for Alex. And then Blaine Rosier took him out of the tournament, so he is no longer in. Took me forever to find him in that loser bracket. I didn't even know you are done. I usually just tell people, download the Fan Zone app, click on the star, follow your favorite player. I was curious myself, though. Yeah. That was the only reason I was looking into it. Normally, I wouldn't. You should download the Fan Zone app. I have the Fan Zone <laughs> app on my phone, Wally. That could have saved you a lot of time. Could have. <laughs> Sheesh. Day 10 vibes. Hunter going with the V block. Bag one. Alex going behind. It's kind of low. I've seen Alex hit that push before, but it's not easy and <laughs> perfect. Replace. That's an interesting little wedge. Even right? shocked Hunter. So Alex, like, all right, fine. I'm done with it. Made my decision easy for me. I'll just go air mails. That's what he was trying to do. Going up again and hits it. Alex just needs to stay there. Right? Just throw all air mails. Air mails are. Ridiculously clean right now. Chance to go in here for four. Oh. That one's going to miss. He's going to get one, but looks frustrated. Both of them visibly frustrated In after that. Interesting little Whoop. sandwich right there. <laughs> he <laughs> said what? Sits perfectly <laughs> in place. <laughs> and then backside air mails for Alex Rawls to get the point, making it 17 to 5. He was just getting in line. Sure, nice replacement at that nine o'clock position. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. Doesn't affect Alex at all. Alex still just looking frustrated. <laughs> like he's ready to go. And uh, somehow everyone avoids that bag. Yeah. It's about 70% in the hole, <laughs> and nobody decides to tap it to for it to fall the rest. So two more there. Jackson Remick and Fisher Hamilton heading to court four. Winner of that match will get to the B bracket finals to take on Ethan Walker. Devin Harbaugh, 15 to five over Jeremiah Hector. Winner of that one gets Braden Wilson. Go 
going hard at the pile and hits right of everything. Hunter gonna block that up so he doesn't have another shot at that. Wouldn't mind seeing Devin Harbaugh against Braden Wilson in the A bracket finals. We haven't seen Harbaugh yet today. I agree. I'm, I'm of course counting Jeremiah Hector out. <laughs> how, how dare I? Oh, He's losing Hunter right now 15 to six. Apart. I think it's looking like we might be able to get three bracket finals here, depending on how the bracket will play off. Gavin Cano and Zach Aiken will be next on the live feeds. Then after that, A bracket final should be ready. And then probably after that, C bracket. And then we can get into the single elimination portion and call it a wrap. Alex set with that bag way too off to the right. Going to step out and go after it. Does a great job pulling it closer. Hunter upset with that bag that went straight into the hole. Keep in mind, this was oh 15 to goodness. nothing at one point. Now it's in for the win. He's going to stop. A little. Is that one off? It's uh, 10 on 6. It's four points. Oh, that was only board. That's all he needed. I'm looking yeah. at the old score before I updated it there. My bad. That is it. Hunter Thorne takes that one down, so he's going to head over to take on Ryan Windsor. When we come back, chat, we are getting ready for bracket finals right after this. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports' biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Oh, nuts. No, no. What planter's nuts is not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, nuts. Because planter's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy. Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Goes way up top and hits it! What? He knows it, goes up top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and... Welcome back, everyone. Alario Center, West Wego, Louisiana. Single Sunday wrapping up. Less than 10 players left alive. Braden Wilson and Devin Harbaugh and Jeremiah Hector trying to take down a bracket. Devin Harbaugh in the lead, 15 to 10. Over Jeremiah Hector right now. As you guys take a nice look at that boat. Court four, Jackson Remick taking on Fisher Hamilton. Winner of that gets Ethan Walker for B bracket. Hunter Thorne and Ryan Windsor trying to get back to Jake Gore for the C bracket. But first, Gavin Cano, Zach Aiken set to do battle right here as we get a nice look at that jersey. That's how champions are made right there. And that man, Gavin Cano, putting in the work, ready to rock and roll. There's the spin. Looks like Zach's going to take down the spin. What a run for him here, trying to be the second amateur of the year, taking down a bracket. <laughs> of 
First one was Jaden Ellis. Kano off to the side, should be able to collect that bag. Absolutely lights out this entire season. Great to see how far this young man has come. Not great to see how far that bag just went flying off the back of the board, missed his landing spot. Able to get the collect there on bag number four, but the one on the ground is going to cost him. Three nothing start there for Zach Aiken. Great run for Damon Dennis. Want to shout him out real quick, finishing third in the bracket. Great to see him back in it. Shame we didn't get a chance to get him on the live feed. We had him in seniors though, but again, Damon Dennis, always good for one of these in, senior, in uh, singles. Zach to the right side, Gavin to the left. Let's see if either one of them gets some love around the rim. Now this is an interesting situation here, that surefire on the rim, that's gonna be kinda hard. The old train checking in the chat, what's going on? What's up, man? There she is. Caitlin Ham, welcome in. Oh, here we time for Kevin Lands on it. Wow. That would have been a nasty backside airmail to collect. If that would have happened, I would have been upset that we didn't have replay for it. Taken off the side. Kano to the right. Kano should be able to collect his. I'm not sure Zach can come across to get his. Oh, he gets help. Kano with a chance now to drive through. Eric Burke, welcome in. Slick side collect. Two bags left for Aiken to go left or right. First bag, no help. Chance to go in here for four. Oh, most able. What was that? What was that? What was that? What? I muted myself that time. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yeah, that was me. <laughs> Three to two. Well, when I put him down and he's still... Who are you talking to? The truck. <laughs> Wheels falling off of the tugboat now. No. No, we're having fun. Just talking to myself. That's what it sounds like. It's okay. All good. All good in the hood. G double O D good. How many rounds do we think this one's going to go, Wally? More than four. Good call. Put a 23 round limit on it. So I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go under. Okay. I would not be Look, opposed. That guy, to that. Did you like see the guy back there agreeing with me? He was like, "Mm-hmm, that sounds right." Shaking his head. Can he pick that bag up? Gonna give up full. Too far to the right. Got a lead change. Gavin taking it over. 6 3. Championship match for A bracket is set. Braden Wilson will take on Devin Harbaugh next. Nice. Here on the live feed courts. Jackson Remick in the lead. 9 to nothing over Fisher Hamilton. 
Hunter Thorne and Ryan Windsor just now getting underway on court eight. Let us know who you want us to see, chat. We might be able to get a third bracket final depending on timing. Do you guys want to put uh, hashtag bracket C for Jacob Gore or hashtag bracket B for Ethan Walker? Let us know. Walker, we got a Walker. Just one walker. I don't see a hashtag there, so it doesn't count. One gore. Nope, hashtag doesn't count. <laughs> the counter only counts if there's a hashtag in front. There's only one person that followed the directions, Tony. Hashtag, <laughs> there we go. Now Seth did. If Kano can collect this. That was a tough one. I don't know how he got it. Hashtag Walker, hashtag Gores. Chat divided. Hashtag tugboat. I'm about to ask you a question that I could answer myself. Gores yes, Joe Neistead is eliminated. He gone. He gone. Just waiting for the, is Jeremiah Ellis still in it questions? <laughs> oh, another four spot for Gavin. It's going to put him on 10. Bag's just getting hung up around the rim here. Ten to three lead to start this one out here for Gavin Cano. Back block is a little bit too low. I'm surprised Zach's not stepping out, though. Yeah, Gavin was not happy with that bag at all. I would have liked to step out there from Zach, try and change that angle. I see a push shot. Where's the tugboat? Ka-chow. Oh. Ka-chow, ka-chow. I think that worked out for him, but Dang. Gavin's got a bag to get the collect. All he's got to do is free up that right side. It gets, gets it to it. fall. I'm going to make it clap, Zach. Will not four get more. anything again on bag number four. Aiken, Kevin having a case of the Alex Rawls luck right now. Rocket right into the pile. Goes underneath it, takes Gavin's bag underneath, and the one on top falls back in. That's a two for one in the wrong direction. 14 to three. Kano off to the left. You gotta kinda talk about the composure from Gavin Cano after battling back and rebounding today after his performance last night. Great composure for him and Braden Wilson. I mean we could Absolutely. get a, we could get a rematch actually. Don't even think about that. Oh Braden wow. Braden Wilson versus yeah. Gavin Cano.
another two points there for Gavin Cano. Score update, Jackson Remick in the lead, 11 to eight over Fisher Hamilton over on court four. Hunter Thorne in the lead, four to two over Ryan Windsor. Still two amateur players left in this tournament. Okay. Trying to join Jaden Ellis for the open singles titles. Oh no, behind the board out of play. Nice, nice replacement. Another block back by Gavin. Zach going to cut around, but he's not going to get it to quite go. I'd like to see an airmail here from Gavin. He's stepping out. Ooh, and he's going slick side down. It's not going to be an airmail. Sitting on nine right now for Gavin. Another fourth bag decision right here, and they will not be able to get it again. Just no love at all for Zach Aiken. Going to give up one. 17-13. There's a look at Braden Wilson. He will be on deck to take on Devin Harbaugh. Stacey Van Glider and company waiting, watching for the finals. Looks like they're over there just playing some type of video game. <laughs> That's one way to stay loose and relax. I'm telling you, the young kids don't know how to lose yet, you know? We're just in a carefree world. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, they're just doing their thing. Okay, set up, set up. That's German for whatever, whatever. Just in case anyone was wondering. I learned that from Gunny this weekend. All right. Yeah. Look at you. A goonie, goonie, my bad. That reminds me, I forgot to sign the jersey. Did you guys sign the jersey yet, truck, Allison? No, sir. Gotta make sure you sign it. It's over on the director's table. <laughs> what? Hashtag tugboat. Hashtag tugboat. Ka-chow, ka -chow. Oh, here we go again. Angel trying to take Gavin out of the tournament from the chat. What he did. Where's he at? He's saying Gavin's going to take it. Just like he said that no one was going to beat him yesterday. Watch this. Five spot coming up. <laughs> Gavin throwing a 10.8 and Zach throwing a 9.2 for your PPR check. Zach might be letting the frustration slip in under his skin, but he's not showing it at all. I like the composure from this kid. Mm -hmm. oh, that could be the game right there. In for the possible win. Got to go up Going top. Up. Does not get the drag. Just some fourth bag unluckiness. Puts Zach Aiken out of the tournament. Gavin Cano picking up right where he left off. Taking down another bracket, Gavin Cano into the final four tournament, single elimination style. But before we get there, Devin Harbaugh will take on Braden Wilson right after this. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, 
or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's Nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planter's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. It goes the top and hits it! What a shot! The ticket to the championship and oh, hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planner's Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, uh, nuts. Because Planner's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Welcome back in. Let's go. Stand up, having a good time. Chilling. The Elario Center, West Weagle, Louisiana, winding down. Single Sunday coming to an end. Devin Harbaugh, Braden Wilson trying to join Gavin Cano in the final four. I'm Wally Kassler from K9 Unit, filled with all the shameless plugs. AKA Kitty Cat Cornhole. This is Allison <laughs> Bag Bunny Baldwin. According to the graphic, I'm just reading the graphics out. Oh my god. Blame the truck. You guys are ridiculous. My husband's going to knock one of you <laughs> on their you know what. That's all chase. What? All right, let's head down to the court. Devin Harbaugh and Brayton Wilson. Brayton Wilson sitting in the king seat. You guys are the worst. You can't trust these guys. Not at all. How much longer are you in the airport soon? You said? Now. You're leaving now? No. Oh. Soon though, yes. Siva out. Brooks heading out. Allison stepped on my cord. <laughs> Trying to rip your head off. <laughs> it almost happened. <laughs> a bag bunny. These guys. Wheels are falling off. Never even seen me single. Is that what that mean? What does a bags bunny mean? I don't know. Someone, a groupie, a cornhole like, groupie or oh, something. I thought it was like Bugs Bunny, like a well-loved cartoon character. No, we, we had a whole conversation about. I was thinking it was Allison, the well-loved cartoon character. Baldwin is what I was going with there. Yeah. I don't even know what time it is. So it's 2.44. You fly at 5? No, I fly out at 6.30. Oh. But I am catching a ride to the airport with Victoria and Trey, who leave at 6. They're leaving here at 6? No, their flight leaves at 6. Oh, I'll say, I was just talking to Keck about covering you. That's why I was asking if you oh, need yeah. covered. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Uber share. Yeah. But Trey said they're leaving in like an hour. We will figure that out when we get there. Before right. then... These bags are live, I believe. That one kind of kicked off to the side. Our ball struggled a little bit yesterday in the super hole. Kind of hard to adjust to those environments and conditions, though. It's always hard to get into competitive spirit and new bags and stuff like that. But 2 nothing start here for Braden Wilson. Give you guys an update in the other brackets. Jackson Remick in the lead 18-12 over Fisher Hamilton. 
Hunter Thorne in the lead, 11 to seven over Ryan Windsor. And if you're just tuning in, Gavin Connell has already punched his ticket. At this point with Gavin, it's just expected. You're like, oh, there's that bracket winner. Gavin's a beast, man on a mission. Facts. And every loss makes him hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. He will get his. Will it be today? I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of wanting that rematch between Braden Wilson and Gavin Connor. It was a great match yesterday. Harbaugh stayed sticky side there, unable to get that one up the board. Four nothing start here. Something funny going on somewhere. I hear the cackling. No cackling during live feeds. No cackling at all. No fun allowed. No fun. Well, they're not paying attention. Backyard.com says, let's have fun. Oh, sorry. You're allowed to cackle. Only in the, only back there behind the backyard.com yep, sign. The backyard. Yep, yep. Yeah. That's where we have our Mike's Hard Lemonade. Everyone over there is enjoying one. Another fourth bag miss from Harbaugh sitting on the back side of the hole. Four is all the way up. Four is all the way up. Look, that guy, he's actually Six sleeping. Up, actually. Six he had up. so many mics. <laughs> uh. Off to the side a little bit. Can Devin bully that out and get something going here? Staying sticky side down, sneaks around with the first shot. I think he's just going to try and put them all in. Braden going slick side, cleans it up. That one drips in. A little bit of a delay, but it still counts. Oh, yeah. Didn't even know. I'm looking down here, waiting for them to throw the bag. Can Devin capitalize? He can. He's going to pick up two, <laughs> making it 6 2. Yeah, and he celebrates to get on the board and get first shot. Now 6 to 2. It's all about the little victories in life, and sometimes just putting a regular bag down the middle of the hole can be it. Throwing bags in the hole. That is a four bagger for Devin. And one for Braden. Well, Seagram seven social. Let's go. Cheers. Number one American blended whiskey. Drink it up. Hooking it up. I assume the Winnebago's gone. I recommend the apple with some cranberry. Very tasty. <laughs> well, ASMR for you guys there. Jake, where you at? What's ASMR stand for? That's my goal by the end of the year is that everybody in the chat know what ASMR stands for. Where's Jake? There where? will be a giveaway at some point. Or where are you at, Jakey? Jakey Poo. Jakey Poo, where you be? He's in Charlotte, North Carolina, currently driving down the interstate. <laughs> Such a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Casey says Devin Harbaugh versus Gavin Cano in the final. Okay, so he's calling for the double dip here. Jackson Remick, 20 to 16 over Fisher Hamilton. Hunter Thorne, 12 to nine over Ryan Windsor. He must not be listening. No comment. 
Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. ASMR. Nice V block. Going cut around, lands on top. Angel Camarena Googled it. He knows the answer. <laughs> Such a good Googler. Yeah, that might, that might be part of the giveaway. Give away some Angel Camarena bags. Ooh, there we go. Hits that airmail for another wash. Got about 50 of them left over from the, from the collab they did. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired, Angel. Just kidding, buddy. Just kidding. I think we should get the corn nuts cannon over here. Let's go. <laughs> That's a great idea. Like if you fall asleep on the court, I boom, wonder if they'll blasted. allow that, because that could be a lot of fun. I know how to shoot it. I did it the other day, outside. <laughs> he says, I did use Google, but just make sure I spelled it right. <laughs> Let's go, Brayden. Amber in the chat. Looks like Devin's starting to get settled in now. Made the adjustments here on the court. Is this his first time on the court today in singles? Devin? Yeah. Yeah. First time uh, all weekend, actually. I don't think I saw Devin. I was in getting ready to say, I don't think Devin I don't. doubles at all. Yeah, I don't think we saw Harbaugh on the loan at all yesterday. Hmm. What? Missing Kyle. Didn't get a chance to see any Kyle. Miss you too, Amber. We left. We left Kyle Malone and didn't put him on the court. <laughs> get it, Malone. So good. Still 6-2 here, round number nine. Good job by Devin driving through, cleaning everything up. So matchup is set. Ethan Walker heading over to court number two. He will take on Jackson Remick for that championship of the B bracket. Next match here on the live feed court will be Jacob Gore against either Hunter Thorne or Ryan Windsor. Ryan Windsor takes the lead over there, 15 to 14 on court eight. Still 6-2 over here, round number two. We had some awkward knuckles I missed. Braden a little off to the right. It's gonna step out and go after that bag. Hits it pretty perfectly. Devin not happy with that at all. This is game one. Devin's gonna pick up two more there, making it 6-4. Braden's still in the lead. Getting fired up too, that's the main thing. Again, if you're just tuning in, Gavin Cano already punched his ticket to the final four. Trying to find who else is gonna join him. The winner of this match here will head there. Devin Harbaugh looking for his second title of the season, also the second title here in West Wego. Braden Wilson trying to get on the winning ways. Yeah, 
everything down the middle and in here. Another wash. 6-4, round 12. Let's do a quick little PPR check, see where we're sitting here in this one. 10.73 for Braden Wilson, 6-4 baggers. Devin Harbaugh, 10.55, six four baggers there as well. 54.55% four bagger percentage. So Jackson's game will not be on here, not this one that he's playing currently. Yeah, they're over on court but two. There is someone over there live. It's uh his mom, maybe? Gavin Hammond's mom. There you go. Go check out Jen her Hammond. Facebook. This game might go more than 40 rounds. Oh, that would be not good. Look at Devin, he's like, I can't believe this. So we mentioned it before, but Devin Harbaugh comes in as the one seed in the A bracket. So that means if Devin Harbaugh was able to pull off the double dip, he would be the number one seed going into the single elimination tournament. Gotcha. I miss hearing Wally roast Jake the whole broadcast. You pick on Jake too like never that? never do that. I always pick on Jake the whole time also. I would never belittle him. He's already belittling on his own. <laughs> <laughs> He's already so tiny. He's already, he already belittle. <laughs> no reason for me to belittle him too. He's way more better though, so. Mm, he probably hears all of it. Six, six, we are now tied, heading into round 14. Jake's not talking to us. He has us muted while he's watching. He'll be watching. He's driving. He needs to be safe. Yeah, last time I was in the car with Jake, he got a ticket. Ooh. Jordan, pick up Jake on the bus when you're on your way. <laughs> Tied 18-18 over there, Hunter Thorne and Ryan Windsor. Good airmail there from Braden. One of each goes in. Harbaugh now fires. Didn't even touch the side at all. Another one. Another one. And another one. And another one. Wow. Big shots. Braden Wilson, Devin Harbaugh, airmail after airmail after airmail. Devin Harbaugh falls. Jacob Gore will have a chance at the two seed. Big shots there, boys. First bag is in for Harbaugh. Keep in mind, this is only game one. Of possibly two. Braden has to be double dipped. He's sitting in the king seat. Six to six, round number 15. <laughs> this is why I don't like singles. This is dumb. So much walking. <laughs> Not a fan of walking. Braden. Braden misses off to the side there, but Landon, somebody yesterday told me, this was late in the day, they could have been drinking quite a bit, but somebody said, Landon Crabtree is the best doubles player that nobody knows about. Who said they that? They might be right. I can't tell you who was drunk. <laughs> but they might be right. I was just shocked he got the dub finally. First I know, because you're a hater. 
Hey, man. I'm his best Crab hater, though. Crabtree hater. I'm his favorite hater. Water sucks. Really, really sucks. Hater. Really. Going up and Big hits hit. it. Firing himself up. Can Harbaugh drag the one in front? One bag left. Try and get it to go. These boys Look are locked in on this right-hand side. Airmail after airmail. How about one Mogan? <laughs> in for two for Wilson. Up and in. Another again. one. Let's go. We have another tie game, eight to eight. Let's take a look at this. Airmail after airmail after airmail. The span over two rounds. You saw that there. 14 now to 16. Another one. One final one there for Wilson. And the final one right there for a couple points. Everything else down the middle and in here. Blockers, and here we go again. More air mills. Keck is here. Keck has arrived. Your possible replacement. He's bothering the truck. That's why we don't have a scoreboard. Yeah, we'll get a scoreboard eventually here. There we go. Eight to eight, hey, hey. round 17. Six side down. What a good bag by Braden. Can't tell who's, I think that's Harbaugh's bag on the back. It is. Wilson's fired up about the placement on that one. I think we might get another airmail here. He's going to take a look at it, see what he's got left. Fired up. So excited. Both of these players have a bag left. Oh, no, Braden just picked up. Uh, Hunter Devin's bag. Thorne advances to take on Jacob Gore. Jacob Gore versus Hunter Thorne next on the live feeds. Pro partners battle it out for bracket C. All right, here we go. What will he do? Slick side down, gets both of his oh, off. Oh, wow. Wash. How does that work? Washing out the round by just tapping it in. It's magical. There's the shot from Wilson. He's happy. Devin got a closer look. Knows he has to free up that corner on the back bag and does just that. <laughs> I see Braden's reaction. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess. You ain't got to make them all to be flashy sometimes. Just tap it in. <laughs> just tap it in. Just give it a little tappy. Hard to see there at the bottom of your screen, but it is still eight to eight. Look at that. It's, is it going? Round 18. Driving with our eyes closed. <laughs> going up. Oh, and that airmail misses four more points for Braden Wilson. Eight to 12. Blocker here. Back block too far to the side. Yeah, Brayden's got that bumper to go over and pick that bag up. He wants to leave it there. Oh, he's going after it, actually. Slick side down. I kind of like, and you know Harbaugh's able to collect that bag. I would just leave that blocker there if I'm Wilson. You think Harbaugh's going to go after that bag? No, I'm saying if he would have freed it up, Harbaugh can oh, collect okay. that. Got you. I would have probably tried to roll there. Ouch. He's not upset with that one at all. As that bag is on slick side. He feels like it'll pull it back in closer. Good job by Wilson there, splitting the gap. He's got two on the rim. Harbaugh took a look at that collect for a second. Slick side clogs it up. That's exactly where he wanted that placement. The only problem is I don't know how he's going to score this round. He might just be fine giving up two points. 
Wilson stepping all the way out. Slick side down, coming right at you, pushing into the pile. He's got a little fist pump of his own. He's fine giving up the, or fine taking the two. Yeah. Hmm. Where's he going with this? Trying to get all those bags on the left? He's going up top. Nothing's going to fall. I think that's two for Wilson. And it is 14 to 8 now, round number 20. PPR check coming after this round. Devin's going to step out, get around this bag. Update on court two. B bracket championship tied 10 10. Ethan Walker, Jackson Remick. That could be two more for Braden. It's going to be at least two. Put Braden on 16, 16 to eight. Game one of this final championship here. Just bleeding twos at this point, slow and steady. 21 rounds in, PPR check coming at you. Devin Harbaugh, 10.19 four baggers. Braden Wilson, 10.59 four baggers also. He said, I'm not even messing with that bag. I'm just going straight up. Back block has been a little off. He's taking the points now. Pushing through. Looked like Wilson was mouthing stupid, Ouch. stupid after that last shot. I think he tried to do something kind of crazy. Harbaugh wanted that to sit. He did not want those to fall. Now Braden can bully that bag out and take his that's in front of the hole. Didn't throw it works. hard enough. There's a roll here. Gonna get another timeout. I like the roll shot here. I do too. I can't tell. Is he throwing Vipers or Viper R's? I think these are R's. Braden on the other end wants to take the shot. Just let me do it. <laughs> it's going slip. upside down. Pushes into it's the pile. Two more points for Harbaugh. Breaks that little run. 16 to 10. It's always a weird part of the scoring. Like 16 to 8 makes you feel like you're getting blown out. Right. And then 16 to 10, you're like, I'm still in it. <laughs> right. It's just because uh -huh. it goes to double digits. Yeah. It looks entirely different. Again, next up here on the main court, Jacob Gore and Hunter Thorne for the C bracket king seat. I'm sorry, championship. Jacob Gore in the king seat over there. Ethan Walker holding down the king seat for bracket B right now, up 18 to 10 over Jackson Remick. <laughs> I love the animation. Going to roll. Ouch, that's not good. Devin could get a possible four here. Nope, he is. Misses the shot, yells fall, hoping it will fall in. Yeah. Just doesn't get it to go. Gonna time out, see if it's worth even throwing. Sometimes you just gotta yell at the bags, fall, fall, and it just doesn't fall, you know? It doesn't always work. Yeah. Dustin Long says it's actually fun to watch. I'm new to this, Ooh. welcome in, brother. Gonna be a wash. 
Raiden got out of that one. <laughs> Lubricon says, I'm <laughs> just here to see Devin Harbaugh smash his AirPods. Oh, man. Why are you bringing up old stuff? He wasn't wearing AirPods. This is a great game, for sure. 23 rounds in. Harbaugh starting to get that look in his eye. Like he is ready to go 40, 50 rounds if need be. See if he can get the back block down. Too far to the mm -hmm. side. Still got a bag left to collect it. What the? Good shot there for Braden. Plus three on one shot. Oh Six my God. Down, able look to get at it that. back to back. Huge pushes. That was ridiculous. And the final shot for a Seagram 7 social. Oh my. Cheers, Look everybody. At this. Sean Latham makes his way up to the booth just to see that huge push from Braden. And then a nasty collect on the other side from Devin. Ridiculous. Keeping the score 16 to 10. Harbaugh is not in the king seat. Braden Wilson is in the king seat. We might might even get to round 30. Might do a round 30 PPR check. I might have to, to pass my headphone off in the middle of the game. A round 30 PPR check would be brought to you by Sean Latham's Good Eye. <laughs> 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 That's my dude. Everything down the middle and in. What's that four bagger oh. percentage at right now? As it's soon as you said 50. that. As soon as you said it. Both of them. 43% four bagger percentage. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. That would have been nasty. Oh, come on. Harbaugh shaking his head. So you got to be kidding me, but that was close. Take that was a look on the at this. opposite side of the board from where Braden's standing. Perfect landing spot on Crazy. it. Gets it to go up the board. Kano in the background biting his nails in excitement. 16 <laughs> to 10. Ethan Walker one point away from taking down bracket B. He's up 20 to 16 right now. This is round 25, Landon. Lock behind. Oh, man. He likes that. He's fired up about it, but there is some stuff I've seen Devin Harbaugh do that this uh, might be happening. Uh -huh. He's not going for it. Not yet, at least. Still got a bag left. He wants Braden to make the first mistake. He just made it a lot harder on himself if that's what he's going for. This is what we call the banana peel. He's trying to get that bag on top, peel it off the top, get in the hole. Looking for a little two-for-one action as we sting down to the right-hand side towards the backyard.com. We're going to have some fun. Whatever happens here. That's a good look right there at what they're looking, looking like from the side. <laughs> Devin's like, get this bag out of here. I don't want to shoot it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Braden Wilson has his answer what he wants. He is indeed going up top for the airmail. Oh, Gets the one man. on top, but not the bag in hand. He's still in good position. Harbaugh now looking for that and one drag. Bag Got is away. It. Gets the and Got one it. and the drip. Big shot for Harbaugh. Possibly the shot of the weekend. Wilson still actually has a chance to score a point if he can get that front bag to go. Slick side down uh, on top of it, no love. Trying to rodeo it in. Only plus one. Yikes. Man, where's the tugboat when you need it? Let's take a look <laughs> at this. Uh. Up top, catches the perfectly, gets the and one and the drip. He didn't even know the bag fell until he looked over at the camera. 11. 
All right, Devin is in. 16, 11, round number 26. Corey, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, Trey's going to want that at the number one shot position. <laughs> He's been dogging you on the show recently for not having the order correct, so I'll help you out there. I got you, buddy. Oh, I meant to write down the shots since we were here <laughs> so that we would glad remember. You, glad you remembered it 10 minutes before we sign off. <laughs> right? Jeez. Wait, we, we still want to get 10 shots left in just this match alone. You know, there's always Colorado. Everything down the middle and in. Stomp it out, as Sean Latham would say. <laughs> it's kind of hard to stomp it out, though, when you're in those high-top chairs. Yeah, that's true. Fall. The only thing for me to stomp was the LEDs, and they would have gotten mad at me. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. What is the name of this game? This is the Wilson Harball game <laughs> of Cornhole. Nice little blocker right here. Some clappy clap behind us. Something's happening. It was 20 to 16. <laughs> Looks like they're picking up the bag, so that tells me Ethan Walker has taken that one down. We got over 2,000 people watching right now, guys. Welcome in. You're just in time. Ethan Walker does take down the B bracket. So here we go. Gavin Cano takes down D bracket. Ethan Walker takes down B bracket. If Braden Wilson can finish this one off, he will take down the A bracket. Jimmy Humans is though. no longer playing. He is out of the tournament. Jimmy Jumans, he gone. All my backup just left. They he, came. He, he's ready whenever. And then they left. It's going to be interesting if this goes to game two. Then uh, we're up the creek without a boat and a paddle. We got a tugboat. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're right. Tugboat and things along. Go oh look my at goodness, that. another <laughs> highlight reel hits the shot. Way too Doesn't clean. Get it to go. Merely missed it. Hardball walking down the other end. Just like, oh, thank God. Braden wanted it so bad. All right, so the way the potential seeding is lining itself up, Devin Harbaugh could be the number one seed. Ethan Walker looks like he's in potential to be the two or three seed. It all comes down to this match, basically, to decide uh, if we can have anything after that. But uh, Hunter Thorne and Gavin, I'm sorry, Jacob Gore, seeding could swing all the matches for the final four players. So Great push up by Braden. We'll either get a break before this match or after this next yeah. match, either way. Harbaugh not too upset with that. I think it gives Braden a little bit of a bumper over there. But he's going up anyway. Gets the drag. Wilson's starting to feel it. I like it. Jeremiah did not play today. He was supposed Harbaugh to hits one. be on the way home. All right, he's stepping out. Going slick side down. It's this a wash. is the bag in hand. Bag on the rim falls. Let's take a look at these again. Replays every round. Wilson puts a bag right there on the edge. Harbaugh back block. Round number 30. I think 
Harbaugh wanted it a little bit higher. I think he's all right with it, though. Let's see if we get a block or a roll. We're going roll. Ends up covering on top, and here we go with another possibility for a bar of soap. Bar of soaps and ones. Airmail drags six airmails in a round. This match has it all. He's going, going airmail up. hits it wow. backside clean. I did not see that coming. Wilson knows what he wants to do without taking a timeout. Steps all the way out on the mat, three feet. Hard push into the oh, pile. No. Two of Harbaugh's. We got ourselves a lead change. 17 16 now. Hard push, but first the airmail over the top. Backside clean. That Forces a difficult shot here from Wilson. That bag was sitting up so high for him to hit it that clean and not drag that bag. Round number 30 PPR check brought to you by Josh Keck. Can't have a PPR check without Josh Keck. 10.03 <laughs> for Braden Wilson, 11 four-baggers. Devin Harbaugh, 10.07, 13 four-baggers. Devin opting for the block behind. He's just hoping Wilson makes a mistake. So far, neither Going one of these up. have really made yep. one. Perfect. Another drag from Wilson. Oh, gosh. And another Perfect. clean airmail from Harbaugh. In for two for Braden. I don't even care about the four-bagger percentage anymore. I want to see the airmail percentage. Yeah, These guys so are good. Hitting. Let's go. Another lead change, 18-17. If you're just joining in, this is a final for one of our brackets here. Braden Wilson is in the king seat. This is game one, so if he takes this, he will take the bracket. If Devin wins, we're going to go to a game two. Braden Wilson feeding off the energy in the crowd. I mean, I absolutely love the Gavin Cano, Jeremiah Ellis, that final that we got, but I feel like the crowd would have been 20 times louder for the Wilson Ellis final just because of the way he fires himself up. There's two different types of players, you know. Some like the peace and quiet, the other people like the excitement. Yep. Uh oh. I haven't seen a missed airmail all game that I can recall. We got a chance here. Might as well do a penguin for the win, right? Sticky side down. Hard tilt on it. Misses the roll. Braden Wilson sitting on 18. Harbaugh's got to at least have one in. Going up. He's going airmail. Hits the front bag. At least one had to go for the wash, and that's what's going to happen. 8-8 eight, eight wash heading into round number 33. We think that Braden is throwing the Buffalo Soldier bags. I think Josh Keck came over here to relieve you in round five. Right? <laughs> we gotta, gotta be getting out of here soon. It's been 84 years. Oh, there could be two for Devin. Misses off to the side, and Harbaugh's able to pick up that collect. Braden takes off his hat because he knows he cannot afford to miss again. In right there to finish off the 10 points right here. In for two, another lead change. 19-18, Harbaugh in the lead. Allison, that round brought to you by Miller's Ale House. Eat, drink, and you might as well stay a while. We don't have you a choice. Ain't going they, anywhere. Right there, making sure that we're going to stay a while. Now Harbaugh off to the side. Eh, kind of. I like that. Harbaugh There's misses the collect. A possible two. Wilson Great. drives through. Wilson yeah. looking to get to 20. Gotta be in. 
Our ball is in with the final shot in here for a couple points. And another. It is another 12 on 10. Lead change, <laughs> 19 Wilson. to 20. Wilson Wilson's in the starting lead. to sweat a little bit. And he's in the lead in great position <laughs> to take this one down. Oh, they're both in great position to take this one down. Good point, 26 total four baggers so far. Round 35. Are you not entertained, Jet? Braden throwing a 10.03. Devin throwing an even 10. Harbaugh happy enough. He says, better than I thought it was. Can't be upset with it. Gets a little bit of the spin there. Let's see if he goes slick side down. He is. Trying to get that stick on stick material. Misses oh, too far to the side. Is. This could be it. To the side, there's a little bit of life here. The problem is Harbaugh still chasing this round. Wilson's bag is in decent position, so Harbaugh can't block. He's got to go in. And now, here comes the Harbaugh finger cross. <laughs> it's all you can do. <laughs> it usually works for him. More often than not, we will see. He's not uncrossing them fingers. Bag is away. Six side down oh for the win. He's got gosh. life. The Harbaugh finger cross works. And now he can go in for the win. Bag is away. He's too oh deep. It's a gosh. wash. We continue. Nothing falling. Eight, eight wash. Hats coming off. Heads getting scratched. Jaws dropping. We continue. Round 36, 20 to 19. Braden Wilson in the lead. He said, I think I was thrown off by you missing. Wilson's first shot in. Where's Braden's mom? I can only imagine she's probably having a heart attack right about now. Every bag right now weighs two and a half pounds. The pressure, the heartbeats. Can't imagine. Leaning that one in closer to the hole. Who's gonna blink first? A short airmail drag from Harbaugh wins it. <laughs> Braden's like, oh, there's nothing I can do. Right. My bag's already gone at this point. Now we're just watching. You can see Nicole Wilson over Harbaugh's left shoulder. Bag is away. And Harbaugh gets, for the, gets win. the drag. We're going to game number two. All right. Well, I'm going to pass this over to Josh because I don't have another hour to stay and hang out. That is it. Let's take a look at this shot one more time before you go, Allison. Harbaugh, short airmail drag. Gets it to go. Nicely done. Allison Baldwin heading out. Huge shot. Great work there in the truck, getting that one to go. We're heading to game number two, but more importantly, this is the moment you guys have all waited for. Josh Keck enters the booth. What's up, Josh? Buckle up. We're going for a ride. We're going for a ride. Hopefully this one only goes six rounds. I think this game goes double. Before we get too deep in this, are we doing a break? We staying here, boys. They're already started. They're I underway. I don't think the truck is paying I think, attention I to think, you. I think we're staying right here. No break. No break. We'll get yelled at later. It's fine. Everything is fine. Don't pay no attention to the flames. The house is on fire. Great, great stuff. Down the middle and in on that airmail drag to win the game to force game number two. Hunter Thorne and Jacob Gore have to wait. This will be the last match on ESPN Plus. Right? And then we'll switch over to all the social platforms. Woo! Josh, how's your weekend been, man? Um, pretty good. Can you hand me that uh, can of Bush's baked beans, please? I got you right there. Go ahead and crack, so go ahead and crack that Bush's beans open, man. Let's hear it. There you go. That's how you open a can of beans. The beautiful bean company. It's so delicious. What you been up to this weekend, Wally? Yeah, nothing. Kind of bored just watching airmails go in like that. Yeah, that's uh, the way that these players are throwing, and the, especially these kids, I'm telling you. 
These kids are insane. Josh, can I get winner? You want to see a quick game? <laughs> I mean, we need one after this. <laughs> What a battle. Wilson off to the side. I think he's still got that adrenaline going from the first game. That's okay. It's only two points, Braden. The game, game just began. Tie game. If I were them, I would have wanted to go take like a 20-minute break. Yeah, No, just I don't know. Like go they're, take a breather. They're firing on all cylinders right now. I'm letting it fly. Again, Devin Harbaugh comes in as your overall number one seed into this tournament. I'll be honest, I have not followed anything this weekend. So you're going to have to falling out. keep me updated as far as what's happening this weekend because I'm in my own little world right now. Two words, Bourbon Street. Okay. I mean, I did. we did go there, what, what was that, Wednesday night after setup? That's pretty much no, exactly how this cornhole weekend has gone. Some good. Some bad, some stinky. Possibly a few homeless sprinkled in there, who knows? But a lot of fun and a lot of excitement. Devin just gets two more here. Some dancing. I did set the two broadcast start. last night. I saw you, man. Did you get your new shoes? Did not. John Latham didn't actually take the collection, so. Oh, I saw him do it. <laughs> he just, he well, just kept it for himself. Straight in his pocket. <laughs> straight into the pocket. So those of you that donated, <laughs> sorry. You gone. I won't show you the new shoes. You didn't pay for new shoes. Back off to the side there. Spins it more than bullies it. See if Wilson even wants to go after it. Puts another bag right there, center lane. Perfect blocker for Harbaugh. There's a miss. Daniel didn't see too much of that happening in the first game. And another one. Harbaugh hitting himself on the head, telling him he's calm down and play smart. Airmail here from Braden Wilson. Too far to the right. Four. I think that is a seven on three. Let's check the score bug. Athena, what you got? Yep, that is it. Four points. Eight to two now, round five. You know this is how gonna go. You know this is how. What? Yep. I Welcome can't. into the booth. We've had a lot of that going on too. It's day seventeen here on this three-day weekend. You know how this is going to go, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Devin's gonna take a commanding lead. Braden's gonna slowly chip away. Braden's gonna take the lead. Devin's gonna take the lead. Braden's gonna take the lead. And then we'll have a winner sometime after that. Harbaugh missing his bag on the airmail drag again. I think we're all winners here. I know you are. Harbaugh again for the airmail, trying to get the track. Keeps on dragging the wrong one. Wilson has to finish here to wash out the round. And he will. 10-10 wash. Let's take a look at this again. First one drags Braden's bag. Braden puts it right back into place. This is a different shot, trust me. Same exact result. Back to live now. First bag in there for Harbaugh. Great work in the truck by our replay crew. Yeah, they're doing pretty good back there. They're amazing. They're the best we've got. Nothing against Corey, but I think Chase is better. Texas paid me to say that, though. <laughs> Harbaugh perfectly fine with the placement on that one. Wilson's bag is on slick side on the left side of the hole. He's going for a roll here. Oh, wait, up. Oh. Landed on Harbaugh's bag, takes him in. 10-2 start for Harbaugh. Braden Wilson. Great matchup with him and Gavin Cano over on the broadcast court. Had to come over here and play his doubles finale. Ended up getting double dipped with the emotion running high. This kid is right on the cusp of stardom. So who's all in the final four here? Gavin Cano has already punched his ticket. Ethan Walker has advanced as well. 
the winner of this match here, and then the winner of our next matchup between Jacob Gore and Hunter Thorne. Oh, so you're going for another double dip after this one, huh? I mean, if uh, I can have more Canon players in the final, I'm all about it. I don't even know who's king seed in that one, but I know it's going to a double dip. <laughs> Jacob Gore, yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm gonna have to root for uh, Kana though. He's actually wearing the jersey. Sorry, Hunter. We gotta get there first. We're about 40 rounds away. Winning West we go. I mean, isn't this what happened last game? Braden took a, a lead at the beginning. Devin cut it back. See, it's, it's gonna happen again. Round eight. It, it, we got 37 more rounds in this game. So I think the crowd is all kind of quiet right now. They know we don't have to get excited until round 27. Hey, uh, uh, fellas in the truck, are you able to zoom in on uh, guy stage left Marina. above the bushes sign with the blue shirt on? M Maureen uh, says hello to Josh Keck. Blue shirt, blue hat. I would love to show the crowd that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Another airmail there for Wilson, gets a short plus, collect. Plus, plus five right now. Harbaugh's got one on the ground, slick side, misses it. Dark blue shirt, please. Another airmail coming here, or are we going uh, board for plus three? What are we doing? Braden, you got to you call your shot. Go for it, go call for your it, shot. plus five, go up, up, He is up. indeed going backside, stays on the board. But he still gets plus three. Rimmed around. Let's take a look at this again. Jeff Quick just in time to see Braden Wilson get another short airmail drag. There he is. There we go, there we go. Favorite shirt of the weekend. I mean, it was Josh Keck. I don't know what you expected <laughs> for that there. 10 to five, Harbaugh in the lead, round number nine. Would you rather know how many rounds are left in the game or you just want to see it played out? You know what I mean? Would, like if I were to tell you this is round nine of 32. I would rather know how many rounds are left because it's kind of like watching football or basketball. You know, there's four quarters and then I just go watch the end of the game. That's all that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Harbaugh trying to get that in there. Nicely done. My attention span for sports isn't all there like normal people. Do what? Yeah. 13 to five, Harbaugh in the lead. I could sit and watch a whole hockey game though. That's good, hockey. Playoffs is your, is your hockey team in it? Nashville Predators, they play tonight at 9 p.m. Is it playoffs yet? To game one, yep. No, we're, yeah. We're, we're out, we've been out for Yesterday a while. Yesterday <laughs> started the playoffs. Blues are out. I have moved on to the, uh, was the NFL draft next? Oh, I, Detroit, I, I, I can't watch the draft, football, basketball draft. I can't do that. Uh oh, no, landed short. Go plus five. See, what did I say, Wally? Josh Kett trying to read the script ahead of time. Plus five. 13 10. Crowd getting into it because of airmails like these. Braden Wilson up top in for five, 13 to 10. Here we go. We're halfway through with the score to 21, but we're not halfway through with the game. Unless you're talking about Braden's score, which is a little under halfway, but it is what it is. Pretty much. Jake Braden, math, hard at work here, no matter who I get in this chair. Been doing a lot of averaging this weekend. Again, if you guys are watching on ESPN Plus, definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. We still have some more coverage after this, but this will be the conclusion for that stream. We'll continue on our other socials. Whoa. The, the, the way that these kids and a lot of these Cornwall players can manipulate the bag and their throws and everything, it's, it blows my mind. 
Nice transition there into Harbaugh. Going up top, I like that angle. Following him all the way down, that's pretty cool. Seeing Brayden Wilson's expression in the background. Truck absolutely killing it today. I have a question for you though. Brayden Wilson got called on the broadcast yesterday for a foot foul, correct? The warning. Well, yes, foot yes. foul warning. So yes. in his situation, he got called for the foul because he stepped out of the side without having a foot planted, correct? Honestly, I didn't see it. I w basically, when I'm at the broadcast, I'm watching the board that they're throwing at Okay, so I'm following the, the, the yeah. scoring. Yeah, so where Harbaugh stepped out there three feet to the side, he's got one toe in, but if he lifts that right foot, is that a violation since he's off to the left? Uh, no. no, 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 no. So you can go outside to the box, you just can't go in front of the line? Correct. Okay. If, you, if you take one step in front of the line after you throw, your foot behind the line needs to be planted. Okay. So the front line is the main one that we're worried about Correct. here. So technically he went around the line there. Does that count? <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Two for, oh, he's got another bag left. This is like the NFL. We're going to have to start drawing imaginary lines all the way around the world. Well, the truck has the, the score bug right in the way here. There's a reason for that nice collect there Four for Harbaugh. Four points for Harbaugh. Braden Wilson looking for one thing to get it going. Harbaugh with a nice collect right there to get that one to go in. The Wilson family in the background trying to see. If you step out of the box to the side, as long as you didn't go over the line, it, it's perfectly fine. You can do that all day long. You can run 20 feet to the left or 20 feet to the right. It doesn't matter as long as you don't go past that line. Nice roll bag. Wow, that is a nasty it's right to left cut there. It hit the, the black line on the right side <laughs> and then Still jumped went. over. <laughs> that one went into the three o'clock position like it was <laughs> missing its turn, hydro playing and in. Again, another one. That any vibration to that board and that bag is falling back in. I kind of feel like it's moving already. I think moving. it is moving. Yep. It's in. Now you guys get to see it fall right there as Wilson walks down to the other end. He's going to take a look at it. Harbaugh getting fired up right now. Jacob Gore in the background like, come on, dude. I would like to play my game. I saw him in the hallway earlier. He's talking to his mom. And he goes, I should probably go practice. And mom's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think at this stage they don't need it. We Wilson. always need practice, Wally. One has to be in. He's going to knock one and stay on the board, so that's two more. But the game continues. 19 to 10. He can't make another mistake, though. Look at this. Barely right above the L. <laughs> Making a quick left turn towards the hole. First bag blocker on the edge. Trying to force two points to end this one. That might be it. He's going to bully this one off to the right. Brayden's going to go chasing. Oh, or not. But he's got to go chase anyway. Good job bringing it up. Two bags left to collect it the rest of the way. That's all but in. Now side by side, Harbaugh stepping out. He's going to try and push this beyond the hole. Stick, sorry, slick side down into the pile. Gets them to go. Wilson's got to do his own collecting. And he does indeed collect for another 12 on 12. Mike's Heart Lemonade, double four bagger. Look at this shot, Harbaugh. Left to right on the board, gets the drip on the back side of the ACL red zone. Braden Wilson on the front. All bags down the middle and in. We continue here 19 to 10. I like watching the reactions of the players as they hit good shots or their opponent hits good shots, something like that. The last one I just saw here, Devin got really excited for you know, pushing that in. And Braden was just like, ah, okay, here's a fist pump. A 
guess when you're 12 years old? I guess, I mean, I would get really excited at 12 years old if I did something like that. Regular for him at this point. Look at this that. This is insane. Computer over here is smoking with all these replays on fire. Uh -oh. On for two. Backside air mail for four. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes bored to take That's the why two. He's in that position <laughs> and you're in this position. I would have shot it. Plenty of room. Shot of the year right there. What's the bonus for shot of the year? Nice little talk. Got to at least be a couple, a couple cans of Bush's baked beans, right? Maybe a, a little saucy sheriff for the champ. A meal at Miller's Ale House. Well, if you're Braden Wilson, you can't go there. I mean, I guess you can eat. Nineteen twelve takes away center line. Trey Ryder out. I think Trey's going to take my spot here. <laughs> Doesn't want me on the live stream. Push through there for Harbaugh. Wilson's got to collect this or it's over. Devin could make a mistake, though. That's Devin over. Harbaugh. He brings it in a little bit there. He doesn't make a mistake. Does he go air mount? Does he go push? Or roll. Roll, yeah. Maybe make Devin a mistake here. Our tilt going for the roll does not get it to go. And now we got an air mail from Harbaugh for the win. It's got to be a no drag, though. Air mail drag without taking anything for the win. He tried to roll it instead, and it's going to stop short. Dang it, ruined my call, Devin. That would have been a perfect highlight moment to make fun of Trey forever. <laughs> you could still make fun of Trey forever. Good point, good point. Oh, there's a mistake. Keeping it alive. Braden brings that corner back in, though. It, it's possibly draggable. There's life. It's bringing it a little more. It is Devin going to go for it or just concede those two points. Oh, this is he, game he, two. He could go for it and win right here. Off Three. the back. Three for Braden. Round 18 of 34, what'd I say? <laughs> 37. <laughs> Jeez, here we go again. 19-15. I told you to buckle up. I don't think we got seatbelts in this bus. It's all right. We got that uh, the bar to hold on to, right? The handle. It's kind of like buckling up. And another one off to the side. Good morning, Keegan. Welcome in. Welcome in. Tuning in just in time. Checking in from Australia. Monday morning already. That's why you said good morning. I was looking at you like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Keegan B, rise and shine, man. Get you some cornhole coffee. We got some finals getting ready to come, buddy. Gavin Cano already punched his ticket. Ethan Walker in as well, the winner of this match. And we have a chance to go in here for four to tie this at 19. Hard push into the pile. Gets, gets three to fall. Two, two points. If Devin goes in. Bag is in. Huge shot there for Wilson. That's a big two. Next matchup, Jacob Gorn, Hunter Thorne. Huge push. Braden Wilson feeding off the crowd's energy right now. Do you think Devin hears the crowd? Huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. These are some new year buds. I'm not sure. Something happened to his last ones. Dropped him, I think. All right, so far, perfect round. Halfway done with this round. Half 
halfway done with the game. Four bagger, Brayden. Four bagger, Devin. Another Seagram Seven Social, Josh. Cheers, buddy. That is the a first hit. one here. Double of the day. Four bagger. Take a sip of my Bush's can. Nineteen seventeen, round twenty. PPR check coming after this. So we'll have two more PPR checks after this one. Think so? Yep. I know so. It's going to be stuck at 19-19 for 16 rounds. Canoe says you need to stick to playing Call of Duty. But not no, not <laughs> <laughs> Mobile. Timeout, court number one, brought to say. you by Miller's Ale House. House Eat. Drink. Stay a while. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. I'll let, let you, I'll let you talk. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Miss you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Braden shot is a way hard oh, cut around. Oh, a little oh, two for one trade. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, I, you only get four timeouts. Is it four timeouts in singles? I don't even know anymore. Yeah, it's four. It's four. Doesn't matter if it goes to game like no. this, 39 minutes in. Wow. Rainbow from Harbaugh, that was risky. Right, but I thought that was like a seven timeout, but this is game two, so it starts over. Back away here for Wilson, gets another short collect. Yeah, but. Crowd in the background goes crazy. Devin's just going to push this one. In. Harbaugh's got to at least get one back in. It's going to stop a little bit that short on the red zone. No. That is game. Braden Wilson, be careful walking down there. They might fall. You better pick him up, Braden. <laughs> <laughs> they do not fall. Oh, my goodness. A four point round there for Braden Wilson. 21 to 19. Oh my goodness, how close can you get? What a battle between these two gentlemen. Huge short airmail here from Braden Wilson. Look at the crowd's reaction in the background. Big shot up top, gets the collect. Devin Harbaugh over on the other side with a push. Stops just on the edge. Justin Burton Jr. can't believe it. Jacob Gore, Hunter Thorne, when we come back, seeing a view. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports' biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planter's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the 7 and 7. If this is your cocktail, Seagram 7 is your whiskey. Way up top and hits it! What? He knows it, goes up top and hits it! What a shot! Ticket to the championship and oh, hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planner's Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, uh, nuts. Because Planner's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts, 
Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Bush's baked beans have always been the official bean of making burgers taste better. And now, they're the official beans of the SEC. And the official bean of whatever that is. Hey, it's tailgate fashion. Now this guy gets it. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planet's nuts are good. Planter's nuts. Ah, nuts. Cornhole is more than a game. It is a battle of skill and precision. And when the game is on the line, you need a bag you can trust. With Lucky Bags, our Surefire and Pro Sniper bags are designed for all players and those who demand the best. Our lineup of Lucky Bags are made of the finest materials and built to perform with precision and accuracy. Get your Lucky Bags today and experience the bags that champions use. Visit LuckyCornhole.com to order now. Throw like a champion. Throw lucky. Roll that beautiful bean footage. You've got the force field, the moat, the saucy sheriff. No matter your cookout plate strategy, Bush's baked beans make burgers taste better. I love me a saucy sheriff. Oh, nuts. No, no. With planters nuts, it's not ah, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because planters nuts are good. Planters nuts. Ah, nuts. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Woo! We are here at the Alario Center, single Sunday. What action down the stretch we have here. I gotta say, amazing camera work by the truck, amazing replays. Amazing commentary, amazing tug potes, amazing cornhole action there from Braden Wilson and Devin Harbaugh. Josh, are we going to game two here? Hunter Thorne versus Jacob Gore. We will be. We will be going to a double dip here. Right. Hunter Thorne's airmail almost drags that one back in. Who's king seed here? Jacob Gore down the middle and in pro partners at least for now. We'll see what happens after this match. So Jacob's king seed. Unfortunately, Hunter is going to win the first game. They're going to go to a double dip, and then one of them will win game two. I guarantee one of them will win. <laughs> Question is, will it be game one or two? Pretty good at predicting the future, though. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say the truck will mess something up during this game. Oh, is he going to go that for it? That is my prediction. They're in, my, I mean, they're in my headset heckling me after I've done an amazing job. You don't really need to predict that. It's just going to happen. It's, given. It's, just like, it's like game twos, man. They just happen. <laughs> that one off the back. I don't know if Hunter keeps missing air mails like that and Gore keeps hitting his. We do not have a game two. That one sticks. And one. Three missed air mails for Hunter so far in this game. Sticks right on the back. I Wash. believe that is. Five, five. Wash. Five, five which is a wash. Not brought to you by Tide, but if you're out there listening, just know I'm waiting for that call. Round three and there is no score, Wally. No.
Appreciate the truck there showing uh, the belly. <laughs> it was. That's always nice. <laughs> He's just, uh, it's called payback, Wally. Oh, roll bags that they do. It was like a line drive roll. That's insane. How about that roll? That nice wasn't to too much of a line drive, but it worked. And that was an explosion. Okay, well. I believe it's a two-for-one trade, but he's off the back of the board, so Hunter should be able to get on the board here. Plus and three. we are started. Hey, so Wally, two weeks, where are you going to be? I will be in Windsor, Colorado. And what you got going on on the live stream in Windsor, Colorado? I'll be watching Cornhole as Jake does all the talking. You got some uh, special exclusive content on ESPN Plus while you're going to be there. Yep, I'll be watching it. I'm doing everything I can, Wally. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to not get fired, and here you are. <laughs> You've already been fired twice this year. What's the third time? <laughs> it's like side so push right into the pile, two sitting right there. But what Josh is trying to get me to say, which is what I should say, and this is the truth, chat, you guys need to get ESPN+. Plus. There will be exclusive content as we have two courts of action. One court will be on all the social media pages. And I see a lot of you guys always asking there in the chat, where can I watch this match? Where can I watch this match? You got to get signed up for ESPN+, Plus for all that exclusive content. Plus, when we go to broadcast, those will be where you watch the lives. Otherwise, you have to read it on the Internet. I got my ESPN Plus ESPN Plus uh, subscription here. I th correct me if I'm wrong. Hopefully, somebody in the truck knows this. If you have a Disney subscription, do you also have ESPN Plus subscription? I believe so. I Sometimes believe so. the Disney bundle gets you ESPN Plus. Okay, so I think that's how I have it. So I will be watching because I don't believe I will be going to Windsor, Colorado. Yeah, I'll try and get all that information. I'll put it on the K9 unit page on Facebook. So if you guys want to head over there, you should be able to see what you need to do to not miss out on any of this exclusive content. Wally's left arm is going to be hurting by the end of today. Four to two, Hunter Thorne in the lead here, round number six. Kathy Rockwell in chat says, yes, Disney does. That is how she has it. So there you go. Sweet. What chat are you watching? I'm looking at Facebook, and it's just not... I don't, I'm not seeing any chat. Out one of our areas. So if you want to make a little bit of money, you're here waiting I got all the chats. Oh, now it did. I refreshed. Okay, there it is. Hulu has it too. I don't have Hulu. Gore should be able to pick up a couple points here to try and tie it. Not just tie it, but he takes the lead. Absolutely no love from Chase in the truck showing my belly like that. He's lucky I don't tell his wife that she had he had M and M's this weekend. <gasps> Whoa! If, if, if she's watching, he's, he's working on getting a belly just like Was me. Was it the peanut M and M's? Because those kind of like best. healthiness. Those are those are the best ones. Comes four more for Jacob. Penny in the chat says, let's go, Jacob. Ooh. Jay Scott Collins saying, what's up to you, Josh, and myself? Hey, what's up? You know. Boom. Two more, Jacob. 8-4, round number eight. We have. That's a nasty collect. Able to come across the board left or right to grab that one. I'll say we have 18 more rounds to go this game. 18 round. What are we in right now? Eight. Round eight. You sure it's round eight? I can't see the score bug at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I don't know. There the truck is. messed up on that one. So round 26, you're calling it? be cool if we could make it automated, take the person out of it. Chase said he's looking for a snack in our headset. He, I, I heard that he was looking for a snack to steal from somebody, like like a little kid, like... Stealing ice cream or candy from a kid, you know. Katie's got Dippin' Dots over there. You can go over I there and get her Dippin' like Dots. I feel like she 
would fight. <laughs> she would she would fight Chase as he tries to take him from her. <laughs> All right, anybody here that's watching on chat on on the socials here, come grab some money from me and go get some M and M's. I want to eat them right in front of Chase. Airmail there from Gore. Game number one after this match, we head into the single elimination portion. Here are your potential seeds. If Jacob Gore wins this one, Jacob Gore will be the number one seed. Let's take a look at this shot first though. Jacob Gore up top with the airmail. Nice shot. And then a roll there from Hunter. A blocker to start this one. So, yeah, Jacob Gore wins this one. He is your one seed. Ethan Walker will be your two seed. Gavin Kano will be your three seed. Braden Wilson will be the four. If Hunter Thorne wins this one, Ethan Walker will be the one seed. Gavin Kano will be the two seed. Hunter Thorne will be the three seed. And Braden Wilson will be the four. That's too much thinking for me. I think I'm just going to wait till it actually happens and then I'll find out. All right. I'll be here to give you all the information that you need, bud. Thank you. I appreciate you, Wally. I don't know why my my chat is not refreshing. I have to back it out and then go back into the stream just for it to refresh. Big shot up here from Hunter Thorne, only collecting his bag on the right. For all you Ellies out there wondering, Ellis has made his flight on time. He's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> nice level one and a half blocker by Jake. <laughs> Nasty sneak in there from the nine o'clock <laughs> position. Maureen on Facebook says, I'm currently rocking my new K9 unit hoodie and T-shirt. So soft. A new logo with the old in the background is amazing. Let's go. I'm right by that, the Maureen. mute button, Chase. You want me to hit it? Appreciate you guys all tuning in. <laughs> Justin says, come on, Jake. It's another wash. Always appreciate Maureen tuning in. What's the score? 10-4? Good, buddy. There we go. I had to... Teach Shout Sean Latham that. Shout out to Bernie. Over the last couple of days broadcast, whenever he said 10-4. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't see it. <laughs> Gotta hold the phone to his right ear for him to see it. <laughs> Round 12. Question from Brian in the chat. Have you had any more contact with the kid from Taco Bell that you raised money for? Um, I talked to him about two, three weeks ago. Um, he says he's doing good. He was trying to find um, a new car because he couldn't get his car fixed. Um, but then I reached out to my buddy, Randy Wilson, a um, little grade, grade school, high school buddy. Uh, who owns a couple of car shops around the area. He was going to help him either try to fix it or, you know, find a new car. I got to get an update, so I'll let you guys know. Seen him rolling around that new Rolls Royce. <laughs> like Chase. Josh Chase out here Hunter. doing God's work, man. I love it. I, it's uh -oh. fun Hunter. to do that. Hunter sent off the back of the board. Gore continuing to sneak around there. We might not be headed to game two. Able to correct it on the second push attempt, looking to limit the damage to three. Another four bagger there for Gore. Hunter does the same with his final shot going in. Jake Brandon in the chat. Just glad there aren't any loud kids in the background that I need to yell at, right, Josh? <laughs> correct. Jake Brandon not afraid. What does he say? Somebody doesn't shift that team to four. <laughs> Gavin kind of warming up over there on court eight. Yeah, but he didn't finish the sentence though. <laughs> Just 
Let's take a look at these PPRs if we can. 10.83 for Jacob Gore. 9.54 for Hunter Thorne. Opportunity here for Hunter. Nicely done. That's why these guys make a good team, man. One's able to sneak around on the right, the other one on the left. That one's going in. It's only two points for Hunter. I'll let the chat decide what we uh, want to watch next. Do you guys want to see, I guess, what would be Gore and Wilson? Or do you guys want to see uh, Walker and Kano? Walker and Kano, or the winner of this one and Braden? No, not necessarily. If if Gore wins this, I'm oh, Gore that's and right. It's too confusing for me. Let <laughs> me, me explain it again. <laughs> I'm already confused. Don't even try. <laughs> A lot of Walker and Kano, a lot of Walker and Kano. Gordon Wilson there from Casey. Or we could just get them all, you know. What do you guys think? You want to watch them all, chat? What's the truck think? Hey, truck. I hit him in his arm for you. He <laughs> 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 didn't, didn't even say Gavin's going live. lands a little bit deeper than he wanted to, plus three more for Thorne. That is, of course, unless we go to game two, then we got no choice but to watch this. I picked the wrong day to eat a light breakfast. I feel a little woozy here. Well, that's okay, though, because we're going out to... In that movie. I don't like it when you cut me off. Scream. Did you find out what time they're open till? No, I got sidetracked. What's it called? Mickey just wants to watch the tugboat. Oh. Ah, I found it. <laughs> the truck is fine with that. <laughs> they close at nine. If you take all three games, we're not gonna get there on time. I know it's not about There's us, a Nice though. look there at Gavin Cano. Okay, Chase Hunter, one of the dudes in the truck. He needs to leave uh, pretty soon here. So the, the, the truck just, just gave us word that uh, we will do one of the semi-final games and then the final game and then we'll be done for the day, done for the weekend, the good done news is for the we week. We just throw everything in one giant hefty bag and throw it in the truck since we're just going to unravel it there. Nice job sneaking around. Please, no, Jake. Jake Brandon, please, no. Please, no. I don't know what I'm saying no to, <laughs> but I'm saying please, no. Denny's is amazing, I'm just saying. Oh, I see what he's talking about now. Denny's is like a high-class Waffle House. If somebody doesn't shut that kid Waffle up. House is better. <laughs> Missed block there, but I think he's in good position. Not going to be able to collect his bag. Can he stop Hunter? At least not yet. Mill there from Gore. Hunter with another roll attempt, sitting on the side. Air mill there for Gore. He knows how to leave that bag on the side from an air mill. Two points. Uh, let's take a look at this shot again. Gore, how many times have we seen him shoot an air mill and leave a bag on the edge of the red zone? Somebody, somebody in the chat will get that reference. Hey, did you know that Jake and I are, Jake Gore and I are going to run it together in Canton? 
Let's go. Ask him if he was prepared to lose in tier four. Ask Hunter if he's prepared to lose here with an and one. Oh. That would be cool. <laughs> that that would have. I would have thought. I would have thought. Oh. Okay. Oh. In for the win. Unless Hunter can get this. Never mind. It's already. He can still penguin. Rodeo. No, he's got to drag them both. It's just over. He doesn't want to do it. It's just over. All right, we're set for our final four. We will be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with the semi of the final. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere on sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com, let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's Nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because Planet's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram Seven is your whiskey. It goes the top and hits it! What a shot! A ticket to the championship and Graham hits it! What a shot! Oh, nuts. No, no. With Planner's Nuts, it's not, ah, nuts. It's, ah, uh, nuts. Because Planner's Nuts are good. Planter's Nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Alario Center here in West Wego, Louisiana. This is going to be a final four for the ages. And by ages, I mean all different ages. Braden Wilson set to do battle against Jacob Gore. Ethan Walker set to do battle against Gavin Cano. We're going to bring you guys coverage here between Braden Wilson and Jacob Gore on court number one. If you guys are still tuning in for ACL TV, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching, make sure you guys take into consideration signing up for ESPN Plus. In two weeks, we'll be in Windsor, Colorado for the 
Cornhole Mania Tournament number one. Exclusive content will be on court number one. Court number two will be the socials, but you will not want to miss out on any of the action. Brought to you here by the truck. Yeah, hit all the subscribes and the likes and everything that you need. And Josh Keckle will Welcome probably back, be there, Wally. not helping us commentate, but doing other things around the area. Welcome back, Wally. What's up, buddy? Semi-final. Yep. The two kids. Always going to be fun when you get down to this single elimination portion. Appreciate you sticking around and helping commentate and tear things down. Josh, means a lot to have your support. You will always have my support, Wally. So uh, what's your prediction in this one? Well, Jacob Gore is running that smack talk pretty heavily during this break to me. I think Brady can take it, though. <laughs> I was going to say. He's got some thick skin. I asked him, I said, I said, what'd you do my hunter? Or what'd you do hunter like that, my sponsored player? And he said, I'm going to do it to all your players. They're all garbage. And I said, Gavin Cano has got something to say about it. Actually, he didn't say they're all garbage, but he said, he said, you picked the wrong one, basically, inferring that I picked Jackson Gore. But Braden Wilson's going to do my dirty work for him. I'm going with Braden Wilson in this one. And we're going to get that Braden Wilson Gavin Cano rematch in the finals. Calling it now. Put it on the board. That was a good uh, good game last night. Yeah, absolutely. Are they live? No, they're not live yet. One more. One Brady. more. Hey, you take your time, man. I'm here for you. Brady is making the decisions here. Let's hear what the chat wants to say, though. YouTube poll coming up shortly. Corey is going to create that YouTube poll, and then on YouTube, you can choose the options of the poll question. Here's a good look at that overhead board for no reason. I know Corey appreciates me. Corey, Corey in the truck. Who's in I the truck you. putting that overhead board there? What's it's wrong with you guys? It sucks that they, their AC cut out in the truck, go. so Jeez. they're all sweating, sweating really bad right now. All right, we got the back coming up of the down and back. Where's Gavin going? Ooh, there's Michael. He's yelling follow at people. That, follow that canine jersey. You'll, you'll see him right there. He is. Court Ooh. 11. Ooh. Michael's out there uh, officiating that game, it looks like. Why they, Why would they put it on court 11? Yeah, he's off to the side. Because they're running all the comp and advanced stuff here. Sit and goes, it looks like. These are sit and goes. They need to flip that board over on court 10 and get that guy out of there. Athena. Gotta love that right there from Braden Wilson. Says, whoever wins has to win it all. The truck was asking me if I need to go flip that board right now. Nope, that's not my job anymore. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Mike. Michael and Athena can handle all this. Hashtag bag bunny. Hired, hired five people to take over my job. Sorry, Allison. Chase told me to say that. All right, we are live here, Wally. I'm alive. Did, did you say that already? Nope. Time to throw. Here we go. How many roll bags? How many air mails? I think we should do a, a like six different YouTube polls um, at the same time. You can do however many polls you want, buddy. We All got right. you. Truck, make it happen. So is the YouTube poll live yet? Truck, do you have the poll up? What is the poll? Who will win this match? Who will win this match? That's the poll, or the final four. The, the match that we're the match that we're okay. watching right, right now, right. or the match right. off live stream. Let me get the truck mic'd up. Braden Wilson, Jacob Gore, who's going to win this game match set? YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that poll button. Make your decision. Make your prediction. If you're not watching on YouTube, make sure you use your other smart device or a laptop or a computer and pull up that stream while you're watching the Facebook live stream on your other device so you can vote on that YouTube poll of who's going to win this match. 
You're welcome, Corey. All the votes are going to... This is going to be the highest voted poll because I am here now. Wally, you can just go. I got this. You got the truck now doing everything that you used to do. Remember when you had everything all in front of you? I remember those days. You had... You had what is this thing called? The the roadcaster, and then you had the the stream deck, and everything all in front of you, and then now you just sit back and you talk, and you let other people talk, and you don't even say anything anymore. I got this. All right, so ooh, we got a bag sitting on top of another bag. We are looking at a a two two round right now. Halfway done with the bags. Ooh, he's go. Okay, one goes in. Four to two, sitting. Jake could uh, pick up a... Okay. <laughs> Nailing it, bro. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm here as the sidekick, not the actual commentating. Uh, I think those are going to drip in. Yep, there they go. Wash. Nine, nine, wash. It is two... Oh, oh, oh man, I didn't... Which way? We'll go. I didn't do my hair today. You guys in the truck, you got to give me a warning I'm trying, when I'm you trying do something like that. Big shoe aficionado, that's a <laughs> lot of spelling. Show, the, that, show these clown shoes. Oh, I'm going to fall backwards. That's fine. Oh, I just pulled them. Trying to off. see if anybody's going live on K9 Units page for Gavin. Can we get the score button? Thanks, truck. Sorry, I saw a shameless plug there. I felt like I had to. Looks like Bella is live right now, so there you go. It's going to be one dirty game here. Um, so, I, guys in the truck, you need to calm down here, okay? Stop yelling at the commentators. It does not help the situation. This job nice is stressful enough that we do not need you yelling. And an airmail there from Gore to get one out of it. Two to one. Let's take a look at the shot again. First one here from Wilson, able to cut around and go in. And Gore finishes it up with an airmail over the top. Oof. Big hits. Can we get the score bug truck, please? Thank you. We are in round number five of many. <laughs> Sam, I wasn't turning my belly. I was trying to see who was live for Gavin's match because Carson was asking in the chat where he could watch Gavin and Ethan. Well, we saw the, the front view of the belly. We needed to see the side view. There is no side view. <laughs> Straight down, man. <laughs> Six ripples. Right. Will you let me know um, if you get yelled at for having me as a commentator? You're fine. Please? You're fine. I, I, if I they I haven't gotten rid of you before, it's <laughs> not going to happen now. I want honest feedback. Ask the chat. They'll be honest with you. Hey, I was on my good Everyone except for here. Adam Deere and Angel Camarena. What do you guys <laughs> think about Josh Keck in the <laughs> in the chat? Let me know. Three to two here. Braden Wilson. Angel likes me. In the lead. Adam doesn't like me too much. Angel said, Keck, your head almost blinded me. So it doesn't sound like he likes me. Every time I have played against Adam Deere, I have beaten him. I'm undefeated against the former pro. And I don't know how. I think he's just scared of me. Or Bobby says get rid of him. Uh-oh. Joel Karnick loves Keck. There you go. Everybody in Wisconsin loves me except for Adam Deer. And Tim Guy. He doesn't like me. And that BOH group that we got going on. There's my shameless plug. BOH. Bah. What the heck? I'm with Keck. Yes, you are. All right, let me get that uh, scoreboard up for court 11. Give me a second. Four to three here. Gore takes the lead. He's looking at me like he's asking me for guidance. <laughs> Gore always, his eyes just always wander around. I, I hate it because, like, I'm watching the players, then we make awkward eye contact mid-round, and I feel like I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> All right, so Gore is underway over there on court 11. He's up two to nothing. That's next what I said, Kano. Next time you uh, make contact with one of them, give them, like, the opposite advice that they're looking for. 
Well, he's never it. <laughs> oh, pushes into the pile, nothing falls. There is a backside opportunity here for Wilson. Let's see if he wants to go, he does yeah. not. He just goes board for the wash. Gore wanted him to shoot it. Almost hit that push. 4-3, round eight, here we go. Uh-oh, what's that score over there? There's a live look in. Does he Two not nothing. know that we're watching him? Why would he bend over like that? So have the boards gotten stickier or slickier throughout this day? Um, throughout the day, I don't know. I think somebody said they were playing fast, but there's two different rooms here in this venue, so. I'm talking about this, this set. The other, right, the other side where we're, I guess, tearing down now. Those boards were playing faster, and over here on this side, they were playing stickier, so. I imagine they're a little bit on the stickier side, but I feel like they're playing pretty honest. Yeah, that other room has the AC units blowing right into it, so I can see how they're slickier. Is that a word? I'll allow it. It is now. Somebody put that in Wikipedia, slickier. I didn't bring you in because of your wordology. Why did you bring me in? It's for your looks. Mm. Yes. Seven, three. 42 years, almost 43 years, and somebody finally realized it. Braden Wilson looking for some way to get started. Looks like he's turning the bag over and going slick side only. That might answer your question. See so if the boards have slowed down or not. Gore, though, on the other side, continues to throw sticky side down. Sticky side into hand tells me he's going up. He is, and he lands on the bag, rims out. That's going to be four. To three. Well, Jacob's halfway there. Is this going to be another game where Braden's going to start coming back and then, you know, it's going to take forever? Ethan Walker up six to two over Gavin Connell over there on court 11. What's the YouTube poll numbers looking like here? We're supposed to be on top of this truck. Let's go. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, a tight to battle, so to say. The truck can't even keep up with it. Fifty-one percent Gore, forty-eight Wilson. That does not equal one hundred percent. So there's a one percent that's missing out there somewhere. <laughs> we need that one more voter to place a vote. That is on the YouTube poll, so you need to be watching on the YouTube channel, American Cornhole League on YouTube. Thirteen to three, Wilson, unable to get anything going just yet. I just made that contact again with Jake. It is very awkward. <laughs> Well, like everyone else, like stays focused on the board except for him. <laughs> well, I take that back. Not everyone else. Ethan Walker, Tony Smith, they all kind of do it. Jimmy McGuffin was another one. I'm just gonna stop looking at Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so Wally, um, well, it's a double four bagger here. Mike's hard lemonade double four bagger wash. So uh, Canton, Ohio, in July. It's open number sixteen. That is the final chase. It's going to be final chase two in Canton, right? Guess what that weekend is? Your birthday. My birthday. 52 already. So those of you that are going to Canton, let's have a little birthday celebration sometime throughout the weekend. It is right. on, the ni on the 19th is my technical birthday, so I don't know if that's Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure. But uh, those of you who aren't going... You need to go to come celebrate my birthday with me. How's that? All out. Shameless plug for Make the, the trip. Registration is open through the player app, so go ahead and register for the tournament. My oh, birthday. wow. Almost got that bag to fall in. Gore's already got one on the ground. This could be a big round. 
This could be what he needs to get five points and get right back into it. Bag is away. Bag is in. Bag is collected. 13 to 8 after the big hit five point round. This is what I was talking about. Cut that lead. Braden Wilson half. feeding off of the energy from the crowd. Huge hit right he there. He just got some mad air on that jump there. Big ups. Could have jumped over Jake Brandon with that. 9.92 <laughs> PPR so far for Jake Gore. 9.5 for Braden Wilson. Update over there on court number 11. Gavin Cano takes the lead, 7 to 6 over Ethan Walker. I was going to say something about that Jake Brandon joke, but I held back. Uh oh, that might be a little more difficult to get, especially with that bag sitting there now. You're going to get all bunched up. Misses it, but gets the tap in. Gore to collect for two. He does. He does not look over here. Because he knows he stepped over that line. Oh, I can't <laughs> see that with the table in the way. He thinks you're still an official. <laughs> Technically, I am. <laughs> right. If somebody asked me to do it, I would do it. If Michael, Athena, and everybody else is busy, I'll, I'll jump in. I was the first one to take the official's test. The application test. <laughs> I hope you pass. I got a hundred percent. Yeah, a boy. Setting that bar. There is no crap. curve on that test. Sorry, dude. I almost just fell that into the entire time. table somehow. My foot did not move. That would have been absolutely terrible. <laughs> Scared oh, me. Oh, Jake's got <laughs> another one off the back. Could be three more for uh, Braden here. Oh my gosh, can you imagine this whole table oh, just falling over on Jake the Versa court off the stage? 16 8. I'm glad you didn't fall, Wally, because I didn't really want to have to call 911 today. I don't think we would, because the cops are, you know, walking around, so they could just easily radio it in. But, uh, I mean, I was kind of cold before that. Now I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't know how hard I would have laughed, though. Oh, I, man. I probably would have been brutal. For laughing. It would have been brutal. 16 to 8. Yeah, I better have had a replay of that. If that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one of the 27 cameras. I mean, if I'm going to get fired, this is the reason why. Eight truck, that's that's camera seven, by the way. 16 to eight, Wilson pushing into the pile right now. This is going to be interesting. Another dirty board. I, it's, I know it's camera seven. You don't have to tell me that I'm right. I'm always right. Who are you talking to? The truck. They're they yelling at the me in my ear again. I know they can't. Oh, no, off the board. And this could potentially be in for the win. He elects not to go for the air mill, goes for the push instead. He's taking his three. But this one still has to be in here from Wilson. It is going to go, and we continue. How about we, can we check in on that other game? Oh, here, here comes a replay, Big Wally. push right push here from in. Jacob Gore. That's where he got three points 19 on that. 19 to 8. What's that other game looking like? Ethan Walker in the lead, 8 to 7, round 11 over there. Looks like we might have some dead air, some uh, time to wow. just chat and maybe tell some jokes. How about new? Let's uh, get the truck uh, excited about that. Riker Wells checking in. What up, Riker? Good stuff this weekend. Airmail now from Braden, trying to get fired up. Oh. Gore with the roll. In for the win. Off the back, he had a chance. I would normally say he rushed it, but these kids fire so fast anyway. Airmail here, free bag. He's going to take it. Actually, that wasn't a free bag. They both had one off. Yeah, and that he was risky. That to go in. If it would, oh, he, yeah, if he would have went on, Jake would have won. He needed he it to go expected in. Expected the roll there, though. Nice airmail, though. Stays alive. Almost got that peel, too. We're starting thing off. That bag is over on Braden's side. Not necessarily out of play just yet. Trying to fire a blocker to slow Gore down a little bit. That relect right there gets it to go. I don't think you can slow him down, though. 
And that one off to the side could be it. Gore in for the win, 17 rounds. The determinant winner, Jacob Gore is that guy. How about that? Braden Wilson wins his bracket, finishes tied for third. Let's take a look at this shot one more time here. The Relect bounces and collects, gets it to go in. Score update over there on court 14. Ethan Walker in the lead, eight to seven. Rolect, I get what you mean though. Oh, roll, collect, you don't like it? No, I do. Drake is, Trey is, Trey like, is a no-go. He doesn't oh, like it at all. I like it, I, and I get it though. Who actually got that? <laughs> Everybody, I hope I'm just talking to myself here. Oh man. Wait to hear from the truck if we're gonna take a quick break before we head over there to court number 11 to update you guys. Looks like we will get that score bug set up. We'll be back here in just a little bit, chat. Again, make sure that you guys look into subscribing to ESPN Plus. You got some time to do so. Exclusive content coming up in two weeks. Colorado, not gonna wanna miss it. That's two Gavin on that round. Could've had four. Could've had all these matches as fast as these young guns started throwing. Hey, that door back there is not an exit, just so you know. I guess we're going to stay here then. <laughs> they, said, they said we were going to break. I, I, can only, I can only send us to break. I can't actually push the button. That's Chase's job. We're, they told us to be quiet. All right, we're going we're gonna to stay here. Josh and I will be back in a little bit. You guys can follow along there on the screen. See you guys in just a little bit.
Welcome back in, guys. Going to go ahead and kind of tap into this game if we can. Get the scoreboard graphic up in a little bit. You just don't want to cover up that hole right now. 19 to 15. Gavin Cano in the lead. We'll take that away so we can see the hole. Just take the camera away. We are stealing this feed from Bella's phone. So thank you, Bella, for uh, providing this feed. Really appreciate it. I know she can't hear me right now, but I thank you. We all thank you. Yep. All the viewers thank you. So thank you. This is live on the K9 unit page. Bella went over there and filmed it for us, so we don't miss out on any of the action. If we knew the Gore-Wilson uh, match would have went this quickly, we probably could have gotten all three in. See Gavin trying to finish it out right here. There's a back block from Ethan. There's a slight delay, so there's a chance you might hear what happens before we see what happens, but good roll there from Gavin. These guys are doing a phenomenal job of cutting around that 3 o'clock position. This would be Replay City. That one's a little bit short. This could be it right here. We're going to get a timeout. Ethan is not happy. I'm going to kind of turn around and see if I can watch this live so I'm not too far behind on it. Gavin's timeout to look at it. Got his answer. He's walking back down now. He's going to get his throw. 19-15 game possibly on the line here. Bella's going to zoom in for us. Apologize the shakiness. It is what it is at this point. Better than nothing. Jacob Gore there. You can see watch and roll over the temp. That might be working. That might be working its way back in. That's a perfect cover on the back side. Ethan is going to have to collect that bag in the front. If he doesn't collect that bag, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure Gavin's bag is going to fall, so he needs both of them. Bag is a way that's not going to do it. Gavin Cano heading to another championship. Gavin Cano, Jacob Gore is set. Gore makes his way over here. Gavin Cano will gather his stuff. He'll come over here in a little bit. Chat, we will see you guys in just a little bit. Keck and K9 on the call to close it out. We'll see you guys in a few. Life's most memorable moments, they can happen anywhere. On sports biggest stage, or even in your own backyard. For those moments, seek a world beyond home. Find furniture, decor, grills, play sets, yard games, and yep, even cornhole. Backyard.com has everything you need to make your backyard summer ready all year long. Backyard.com. Let's have fun. Ah, nuts. No, no. What's Planet's Nuts? It's not ah, uh, nuts. It's ah, uh, nuts. Because planters nuts are good. Planters nuts. Ah, nuts. You can dash, zest, mist, and infuse. But may we recommend the just make the damn drink method. Behold, the seven and seven. If this is your cocktail, Seagram seven is your whiskey.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it all comes down to this. The Alario Center, West Wego, Louisiana, open number 13 ends right here after this match. Gavin Cano, Jacob Gore on court number one. Appreciate Chase letting us get into his secret stash. Hitting these M&Ms up like they ain't nobody's business. The one final match of the evening. Proof that Chase ate these. Proof. Chase eating them. They're gone. Josh Keck, Chase's best friend. That's the only way we would get to try some of those M&Ms. I don't do any shameless plugs, but let's go ahead and head down to the court right now. These bags are live. Gavin Cano in his nice canine jersey. Yelling to himself to finish. 2 nothing start right there for Gavin Cano. You know, I think it's really cool. Look at Braden Wilson in the background. Hanging around to watch, even though he's out. You know, that that, that just impresses me. And we got to get Braden Wilson on the munching cam. He's, he's chewing for sure, but that's what we like to see, man. People the enjoying Doritos. He's the cornhole when they're done playing. Cheetos on the ground next to him. Big shout out to Bella there filming that last match so we can have some type of coverage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very robot sounding audio. Let's go. Terrible audio in the final match of the evening. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, 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 truck guys. Let's get this going. But let's fix this. You want to yell at us? I'm going to yell at you. Do what you got to do to fix this. Where's Cat Halbert when you need her? Must be cleaned up in a second. Big airman right there from Kano. Could get two more trying points. to do the same thing. He goes in clean. Kano feeling it right now. Jacob hit that just to only give up two. <laughs> There's Braden Wilson <laughs> pretending he has it. We already got you. <laughs> we already got you. Sound is terrible. Audio, yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. We'll get it there, guys. Just enjoy the content. I'm going to keep talking. I think it's the truck guys chewing their M&Ms in the background. Maybe if we put the score bug up, it'll fix the audio. We'll try that. I wonder if it's because you almost fell and you knocked over this table. Is it your fault, Wally? No, we're good. I don't want to be messing with any of these cords either. A little bit better. Is that better? Hello, hello. Testing, testing. One, two, seven. Round number three. Good run for Ethan Walker and Braden Wilson. Big airmail right there. Nice hop. Nice, nice hit. It was a drag. It's a nice hot. That's a combination of hit and shot because I was in between both words. You need to separate <coughs> them next time. Still the same. Do you got the, uh, do you by chance still have the internet up on the other page? So, should we have another YouTube poll on this game? Who's taking this one down? Or is the truck too busy working on, on the sound? They said the sound should be back up and working, so, uh, I know my voice is, um, well, we very see what they say. If they say it's okay, we'll keep talking. If not, I'll just kind of stay quiet and watch. Wally's voice is pretty bad, though, so. There we go. Fixed better now. Sounds better. Thank you, guys. All right, let's get into it. So, for those that did not hear me, this is the final match of the weekend. Gavin Cano, Jacob Gore, one and done. Nice job sneaking around right there. Open number 13 concludes right here after this one. Jacob just cut the lead in half by scoring those two points. Four to two. I like his fortitude getting back into this one. Round number four, two. <laughs> uh, this is fun. Connor takes away center lane. Gore should still be able to sneak around the side here. He does, oh. but that one's off the back. We might be looking at three here. Let's see how Gore... Rebounds after that shot and how Kano wants to handle this. Slick side down, sneaks around. It's all but in. So I think the truck is working on another YouTube poll. Who's going to take this I game like down? I like a back block here from Kano. Gore's kind of frustrated. I want to force him to shoot an airmail. He just goes in. He's fine with a three. This bag in hand is points. 
if it's in the hole and run board. Okay, it is in the hole for three more. Cotto feeling it right now, up seven to two, a third of the way there. What do I know? Huh. Open number 13. Four, 14? Sure, 15, whatever you want. Oh wait, there's 16 total, so this is open number 13. Because we got 13, 14 is Vegas, 15 is Milwaukee, 16 is Canton, Ohio. If only there were a little piece of paper right here to remind us. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't know that that paper <laughs> existed. That's why I've said it 15 times, the open number 13 ends, right? whatever. Moving on, seven to two. Did you? I, I don't <laughs> listen to you. I can tell. Still cutting out, uh, Rams for Life says. I don't believe you, Cersei. In for a double four bagger. Mike's Hard Lemonade, double four bagger. Wash. So we are at seven to two, round number eight. Gavin Connor does have a shootout championship. He's looking for his first open title. Round seven, sorry. Both these players at the top of their games right now. They are at the top of the, the leaderboard here. The last two remaining in the tournament, so they are playing the, the, the top players right now. I wonder if Wally will ever punch me. Not just a truck driver, folks. Multi-talented individual. Slick side down here for Gavin. He's coming across the board to grab it. And he does. Huge shot right there. Plus three on the round. Again, Gore just trying to limit the damage. And for at least three it is in. Gore's final shot in as well. Ten to two now. Interesting to see Kano go without the earbuds right now. Last night with the uh, earbuds on the broadcast. Yeah, he couldn't hear me at all. I tried to get his attention before the game started to, you know, let him know not to pick up the bags, you know, make sure he looks over and gives a thumbs up and everything, and he couldn't hear me. Like, hey, you got to be able to hear someone. ACL Pro Tommy No Love Slyker says, if I'm Jake, I'm taking media timeout right now. Well, there wouldn't be a slow him media down. timeout. It would be one of his remaining timeouts. I mean, that media timeout didn't exactly work for Jacob against Devin, though, so fair playing field right now. That one's off to the side a little bit. Let's see if Gavin can sneak in without bringing that back bag closer to the hole. I think he did. Gore goes in with Does the third bag. Jake chase it on his last. YouTube poll, it's only quick. only 10 to 2. Truck, quick, put it up. He does not look like he's going after. He's going to be fine with a 10-10 wash. I mean, they, if anybody watched the Masters through the Masters app, they always had these quick polls. You know, is, is Tiger Woods or anybody in Tiger Woods' group going to score a birdie on 16? You know, like, you get these in, instant polls. You know, watching the Masters, and you know, come on, we got to get to that level. Truck. Fred, we need more employees. Bigger budget for the live stream. Nice job cutting around right to left there from Kano. Gore cleans it up. Everybody trying to remain focused right here. The final match, every bag matters. Winding things down with some fun. Nervous for both these players. I don't what? think Gore has any singles titles yet, does he? To your knowledge, at the open level? Uh, I believe he does. I mean, he's got a lot of juniors titles. I don't know if he has any singles titles. Uh, I believe he does. Hmm. Hmm. Truck, can you find out? <laughs> I need mods. Oh, man. I feel like he does. Or he's so. come close multiple times. He's come close. I don't think he has. 
That's okay. Him and I are going to take down doubles in Canton. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. I'll probably team up with Gavin then. Jake's back is stronger than Gavin's back, so you would lose. Dwayne says he has at least one. I don't know what that singles title would be. I know Gavin Connell has the shootout singles title. No open titles. I think Jake has an open title. Um, a singles title? Yeah. I don't know. I Hard push into the pile. That one drips. Where's Trey? He, he'll know. Off the top On the side. plane. Go, we're able to hop over that nicely done, making it 10-4. Good, buddy. One last shout out to the sponsors. Appreciate you guys all supporting the live feeds. Backyard.com. Bush's Best Beans, Seagram 7, Corn Nuts, Mike's Hard Lemonade, Miller's Ale House, All Cornhole, and Lucky Bags. Thank you guys all for the support and making these live feeds possible. That one left hanging. Gore's bag is out of play. Let's see if Kano's drips back in. Looks like it's moving. I'm going to look up the And answer. it does fall right there. Bag number three here for Kano. Looking at two points this round. And he is able to finish the final shot. That gets him to 12 now. More than halfway there, Josh. Oh, I know how to make this easier to look at. What are you looking at? I was looking at the website. I have a different way, though. Are you looking for titles? Yeah. I got it right here. Are you serious? This is where you cover me while I look Control at this. Control F <laughs> Gore. Type in Gore. Control F. Stop looking at Type in else. Gore. <laughs> you do your job. I do mine. I, I, I Gavin Connor with shot. five yes. open doubles titles so far in his young career. Again, we talked about it earlier how many different partners he's had just this season. I believe three doubles titles so far. I'm going to guess Jake has two open singles titles. You would be wrong. Jacob Gore has one open doubles title, and that is it. Not a singles? One That's single title. That was a Mike's Hard Lemonade double four bagger wash right there. there Remains 12 4 going around 13. 20 21 22, open number five. Where was that? Come on. I'm thinking here. You can't show me on camera. Here, I'm going to shine it out. Shine you guys out. Oh, large child. <laughs> Blind the audience. Large tiles that are over here not being professional either. I mean, we're saying we're doing, we're doing our job. 12 to 4. So, what's the poll Round looking 13. like? What are the numbers in the poll? Gavin Cano is 67% to win this game. Jacob Gore, 32%. Still 1% missing, just off in digi di digi land. Good job pushing through that there for Kano. Oh. Gore skips right over the hole, just flipped on the slick side. Could be four more. Gore still has a bag left to collect the one in front, but I think the bag on the back is gone. Oh, no, it's possible. Oh, Get that's even all. better than in. Get them all. Gore drives through, leaves that one on the back, plus two more, 14 to four. Crowd holding on with anticipation, waiting to see if Kano can get his first open singles title. Gore looking for his first open singles title as well. Both these players deserving of the award. Can Gore start a run and get back into this one? He's going to because we have it on our stream. Okay. I feel like if this one could, it would go to a double dip. You know what? It's going to go to a double dip no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I think you're wrong there. <laughs> but who has to 
and double dip who? Gore really isn't that far off. It's just kind of his lights out right now. Nine four-baggers so far for him in 14 rounds. 13, actually. They're still throwing this one. Stepping out of the mat. Sticky side down. Center lane. He wanted that a little bit higher. Gore still got to drive through. Only able to get one to go. That's two more. 16-4. Going to be around 15, but... Oh, the headphones come off for Jake. Headphones are off. PPRs so far in this one. 14 rounds in, Gavin Cano throwing 11.14, Jacob Gore with a 10.29, 14 total four baggers in this match so far. Cano's first shot is in. Do you think the headphones off are going to affect him? He's uh, going to throw way better now? I don't know. That first blocker is a little bit off to the side. With him being left-handed, that is a difficult collect, but not impossible. Let's we'll see if Cano helps him out. Not for the moment. First one in. I mean, it's not like he's, he's throwing spinning it bad. He's throwing a 10 2 9. He's throwing great. Just kind of lights out. He's not happy with that one, but I think it's pretty much in. Uh, and Gore skips the hole. Bag is right in the same exact place, trying to force that same miss. Kano's. Bag goes in, Gore's as well. One more point from taking this one down. Jacob Gore getting absolutely no love around the red zone right now. Skips over that. Unfortunate break. One more point to finish it out. 20 to 4, round number 16. It all starts with one point, though. Gore's got to get started. Did you know that Gavin will win this game if he scores one more point? Fun fact. Very, very fun. It's true, too. <laughs> have to do a fact check on that. Don't want to get kicked off of Facebook. Side-by-side <laughs> -side block right there. Interesting round. Yeah, but Gore's more towards the middle. Ooh, that could be the first mistake that Jake needs. Side like push misses to the side. I think Gore wanted the points right there. Yeah, you should have gone slick side, I would say slick side there to get Gavin's bag out of play. Talk about a bunch of bags. Gore sets it down. He's going to push this pile hard. Rock it right oh, at it. No it love. Nothing move. moved at all. <laughs> <laughs> Bell in the background offering advice. She just realized that Gavin can see her. <laughs> so hey, she stops doing it. Hey, do I have the uh, little red red touch or yellow touch thingy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I Drop. wish I did. T Telestrator thingy? There's a little bit of that hole open. You could. I just want, if you're Gavin, that tap. Shoot it. Oh, I'm not shooting it. I'm just trying to tap that bag on the left. I'm shooting it. Even if you sacrifice the bag in hand, that's fine. I'm shooting it. Well, yeah, you can sacrifice the bag in his hand by shooting it. Uh, he just needs to get the clip. We'll see. All the way out on the mat, three feet. Takes one last look at it before the bag is away. Slick side down, push, gets the tap. One of each falls, but he's still in good position here. Gore, I think, just needs to go board. Mm, he, no. might, he might push, be trying something. Push through. Push through. He might be trying something. Slick side he down. He going. is going for it. And it's oh, going to two. fall. He gets two points out of that. He will have first throw the rest of the game. 20 to 6. Big shots by both those gentlemen. I was right down on that the one, stretch. I, I was, was right. That was not an airmail, but okay. I didn't call for an airmail. You said he could. He could, but I didn't call for it. 20 to 6, round 17 now. Gore has got to pretty much be perfect from here on out. The first mistake he leaves Cotto could be the end. I don't think we've had any replays lately. Why? Truck, what's up with that? Side by side there. Cotto pushing into the pile. Creating some situations here. He's wanting Gore to take the shot. He's not going to do it yet. He, and Gore's shaking his head. Uh-uh. Not making me do it. That roll misses, but that's fine. This is interesting. I don't think you can push through all of that. Gore's roll covers perfectly. There is a small possibility here for an airmail drag for the win. 
I don't like mm, it personally. Not with that bag sitting up like that. The one sitting up is going to fall in. The That's one what I'm saying. I, I don't like the shot, in. but, I mean, it's there. He's going for the roll. It's going to stay on the board. That's going to be a six on four round, 20 to eight. Cano trying to close it out. Gore trying to crawl back into this one. The last couple rounds are really messing with their PPRs. <laughs> I don't think any one of them care about the PPR no. right now. They want that wood. Who will take home that trophy? Everything in here to start. I missed you, Wally. <laughs> missed you too, bud. Not the time, though. We got things to discuss here. Oh, we got a leaner. Oh, that's coming in. We got a leaner. That's dripping back in. Watch. See, it moved closer. Cano's not going to do it for him. Plaque on the line. Yep, that moved even closer. It didn't go. Oh, that's his last bag. This could be it. In for the win. Gavin Cano's bag is away. It goes in clean. He's going to do it. Finally, Gavin Cano breaks the second place curse and gets his first open title. What a run for Jacob Gore, but falls just a little bit short. Gavin Cano taking home the plaque. Oh my goodness, what a day, what a weekend we have had. Everyone, again, make sure that you guys check out ESPN Plus if you want that exclusive content. You do not want to miss out. Different emotions going through his head today. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for K9 and Keck. Chase and Corey in the truck. Hope you guys have had a great time again. Thank you to all the sponsors. Seagram 7, Bush's Best Beans, Corn Nuts, Mike's Hard Lemonade, Lucky Bags, All Cornhole, Backyard.com, and Miller's Ale House. From everybody here at the ACL, hope you guys have enjoyed the content. We are going to go ahead and head out. Gavin Cano, your open number 13 singles champion. I love you guys. <laughs>